You guys want me to suffer so bad. Just so bad. You want me to suffer so bad it makes you look silly. You want me to suffer and you want my tear stained cards so bad because you guys <laughs> want me to be sad and you want my tears so bad you can't help it, huh? Hey! <laughs> oh, no, I'm so sleepy. <sighs> How is everyone doing today? Ugh. You had big food? Maybe, yeah. I think I had big food and now I'm like... <sighs> tired. Where did we leave off? We left off... We just finished the... Kaneshiro Palace. So, now it's like the... We have like 15 days before he... <laughs> Before the due date, so I, I, it's about to just be 15 days worth of daily life content. <laughs> so, yeah, I have to do 15 days of just school life. <laughs> ASMR? Oh, okay, thank you for the super chat. Welcome to today's stream. Where we will be Daily lives of the beefcakes What the hell? <laughs> Thank you for the super chat Welcome member Sheesh, Thank you! Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back 18 months of Sheesh into this dragon <laughs> Sheesh! Thank you! My tears have healing properties What the hell? Am I a phoenix? <laughs> I thought I was a dragon. I can't believe Petra forgot I was a dragon. She's so fake. We love seeing you suffer, but we love... Wow. Welcome back to Member Sheesh. Thank you. Both of you. Thank you. Just smiley. Just smiley. True, true. Daily lives of high school boys. I'd watch that anime instead. No, you should watch both of them. Because daily lives of high school boys is awesome. Daily Lives of High School Boys is awesome. That was my inspiration for today's stream title, if you noticed. Dan, um, beefcakes, no Nichi Joe. <laughs> my favorite comedy. How does that song start again? Can I see ya? Doa. Dictatorba. I am Such a good Such a good anime <laughs> Cause it Oh no, not the wind is blowing My Oshi Jack appears <laughs> Oh my god, thank you for the super chat! Thank you! Can't stay too long because of work. No, no, no problem. Hope you have a great stream. Oh, thank you! Good time with the beefcakes. Thank you! Thank you for the super chat! I appreciate it! Thank you! <laughs> thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Welcome back to Memberships. Thank you. I'm looking kind of cute today. You think? <laughs> Welcome back to Member Sheesh. Thank you, both of you. Thank you. <sighs> Welcome back to Member Sheesh. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ugh. You always look cute. Really? Oh my god, my nose is so congested. I don't, my throat is like acting up. I don't know what's going on. Am I getting sick? I hope not. Please! Please, no! 
<clears throat> no sick. Allergies? No, I don't know. I think I'm just silly. <laughs> That's it. I'm just silly. Uh, I don't know. I think also I've been yelling so much. I think finally after all the yelling I did during our last stream of Vesperia is catching up to me. I screamed so damn much last time we played Vesperia that I think my throat is finally like it was so I don't know how I lived after the weekend. But I think it's all finally catching up. And now my throat is like, all right. Fuck you <laughs> to me. And I'm like, God damn. Don't fail me now. <gasps> thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for buying the voice pack. I think it's until today. Yesterday. Well, if the Valentine's voice packs are still out, you have a limited time <laughs> left to pick them up if you're interested. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday. Fuck. Um, it's like you snooze, you lose, everybody. That means no more embarrassment for me. Let's fucking go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, hope your throat gets better. Thank you. Yeah, I'll probably drink tea. I'll probably drink tea tonight. Or after stream or whatever. Something, 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 something. People are still gonna talk about them? I'm gonna look away. I haven't heard you scream like that since. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like. I, I don't know what happened to me. Oh my god. The shulk? The shulk? Oh my god. And Melly. I don't know what came over me. That scream, whenever I like. That clip comes up so often on my feed. Because it's like so many people's favorite clip of me and it's so embarrassing. But every time I watch it back, I'm like, how did I even produce this scream? I feel like that was the most genuine scream of my life, probably. <laughs> it was just so... Oh my god. That's just, that's just who I am, okay? Like, I can't have normal reactions to things. My reactions to things are just yelling. <laughs> I just scream. Because <laughs> I don't know how else to convey my emotions if I'm not just fucking loud as hell. I'm just silent when I talk. And then I yell really loud when, when the time, when it's needed. Yeah. <sighs> Fuck, man. <laughs> oh, the white day gives up until tomorrow, though. Yeah. There's like a white day campaign if you go on the official website. Where you can, you can do a little white day surprise. I think with me... Petra... Rainbow... Couple people. Are you a... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this Pokemon's name because... Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I, I don't know how to pronounce this uh, this Pokemon's name ever. Cricket tune. Oh, that's so easy because he's a cricket and he has a tune. What the hell? It's so iconic. It's a nice tune. It's so silly. <laughs> Our daily dose of beef. Oh my god. Please. I. Oh my god. I should have unpacked. I haven't unpacked like the. I've unpacked my clothes in my suitcase, but I haven't. I have like a suitcase dedicated to everything that I bought because I bought so much damn shit while I was in Japan. But I haven't unpacked like the merch bag. I've only unpacked the clothes bag. <laughs> And then I should unpack the merch bag because that's where my that's where my plush that Nina gifted me of ground beef is waiting for me. But the only thing that I have on my desk plush related is Petra's puppet and a plush of Bachira that I got. 
in a claw game for like a hundred yen. So instead of having ground beef, the persona character next to me, I have Bachida. So Bachida is watching over the stream. I haven't even finished Blue Lock, but Bachida is sit ah! Thank you for the Akasuba. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Genuine jump scare. Sorry. That was a loud scream. Oh my god. Thank you for the Akasuba. Thank you. Oh, thank you. It's payday. Please. No. Oh my god. Love your content. Oh, thank you. Promotion contract. <gasps> Congratulations. Wait, that's so awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> no. I can reset your voice packs. What? Are you serious? Just like heat train because he got the heat. Oh my god, welcome back to member sheesh. No, wait, that's a super chat. <laughs> the colors are messing up my eyes. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you for the Anka Simba. Thank you. But congrats on your promotion, though. That's fucking awesome. You work so hard. A lot of you work so hard in here. All you medical workers <laughs> in the chat. I see you and I appreciate the work you do. But why are you guys? Why are there so many of you here? Why do medical workers love VTubers? <laughs> why do medical workers watch me? <laughs> of all people! Thank you for this super chat. Thank you, thank you. Who could have a beef with ground? Wait. Who could have... Oh, who could have beef with ground? A lot of people, apparently. Because you're healing? Oh my god! Because I talk in such a smooth and nice voice and I never yell and I never raise my voice and I never do anything and I just give you a soothing and relaxing experience through all of the games because I always play the games perfectly so that all of you always have a relaxing experience. I always 100% every game that I play. I always make say so nice commentary. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What? LOL with the period, all lowercase. All right, I fucking see what you're saying to me, bitch, okay? Just because you have the wrench doesn't mean you have to say that you have to speak the loudest. Because LOL, lowercase with the period is the loudest. LMAO with the period, shut the hell up, I see you. Oh my god, you guys are so mean. <laughs> I'll, uh, stop! Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. I, I, I can't stop. Do not. Oh my god, my throat. Ow. <laughs> do not speak to Ow. Do not. <laughs> do not speak to me about Xenoblade Three's ending. Okay, it's not. Everyone, I can't wait for the DLC for Wave to come out. Okay. That's all I have to say. You good? Am I ever good? Welcome to Member Sheesh. Thank you. Thank you for joining. Thank you. And welcome back to Member Sheesh. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Both of you. Thank you. Okay. Am I ever right? Am I ever sane? Am I ever anything? No. But you know what? It's almost been two years of this bullshit. So you guys better be used to it by now. Because... <laughs> Because, you know what? I'm insane, and that's okay. Ow, my throat. <laughs> I gotta stop yelling. But I can't! It's a part of me! The game... <laughs> Ow. The game hasn't started. You're hurting your voice from screaming. Oh, no. Don't worry. It'll be fine. Wow! Thank you for the 20 gifted memberships! Thank you! Welcome back to memberships. Thank you. We're mean to you lovingly. I know. And I like it. <laughs> because the M... Because M doesn't actually stand for Mishima. It stands for Malira. <laughs> thank you for... Welcome back to Member Sheets. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Chad Rex cannot hurt me because he is not real. He's real. Am I a turtle? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna finish reading that. But thank you for the super chat. I'll take the money. <laughs> All the screaming? Yes. It's been a long time of screaming. Please help me. Why do I scream so much? Handling a man's turtle? Could never. He's so precious. 
Always. Oh, welcome back to my machines. Thank you, both of you. So sweet. Thank you. Not the Senna with the period after. <laughs> Wow, I save so much. You know, considering for how much I save, it's kind of embarrassing that I fucking died. <laughs> considering how much I save and how many save slots I use, it's kind of embarrassing that I fucking died and had to redo a whole part of the palace last time. Like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> Almost done. Medicine's nearly complete. There's something I really want to test out. Could you come to my clinic, my little guinea pig? Ah! Well, it's time to use the ultimate power of Riz to date women. What are we doing today? I just can't sit around. I'm shopping at the underground mall in Shibuya right now. I'm still in Shibuya for a little while. Let me know if anything comes up. Wait, fuck, I keep pressing B. I'm so dumb. Oh, okay, wait. This was the fact that... Uh, the principal... Oh yeah, they're gonna stay on guard. I don't know what to do first! Oh my god! I can't date two women. I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get in trouble. I'm gonna get in trouble if I have two girls. Well, technically, they don't have. No, I'm not that type of man. I'm not that type of man. You have two hands. What does your heart say? Okay, when I played this the first time, aka less than I have already, I really wanted to romance the doctor. So for me, like, what how, what year did this game come out? Like, eight years ago? Holy shit, no way. Wait, actually? How long ago did this game come out, the original one? Six years ago. Okay. Me, six years ago, when I played this, wanted to romance the doctor. So honestly, I think, and our bond is gonna grow. I gotta go, you know! I suppose. Alright, that's it for today. Oh, are you going home already? If you have some time, why don't you stay and enjoy an apple? It's a gift from one of my elderly patients. She gave me a lot. Hello, Dr. Takemi. Oh, shit! Chief Oyamada. There was a medical conference nearby, so I thought I'd check up on you. Who's this? He doesn't look like a patient. Oh. He's a part-time staffer. I'm having him handle some miscellaneous tasks for me. So, do you have some business with me? I hear you stole one of my patients. A girl with bronchitis. She came here with her father. <sighs> bronchitis, you say? Well, I had no intention of taking her from you. I certainly didn't encourage her to visit my clinic. Now there's talk that <laughs> now there's talk that care at the university hospital is inferior to that of a general practitioner. Original medicine, ha! What you're doing here is simply absurd. You're right. I would have turned a blind eye if you had just rotted away out here in this little town. But this is your final warning. Shut this place down and resign your medical license. <laughs> Ah, she's a great doctor. This is harassment. Please shut the hell up. Mm. Oh! What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Hm. You seem to be quite fond of her. Perhaps I should reveal this woman's true identity. She's a monster who tortured a patient with her unregulated medicine. Terrible, isn't it? She was such a brave girl, always smiling. 
What does this mean? Was? She passed away. Oh, <gasps> what? Perhaps you'll suffer the same fate, hmm? Ha ha ha, she is the playing after all. <sighs> Don't lie to me. She should still have some time. She was slowly recovering. Her condition couldn't have deteriorated that quickly. But it did. You must have misjudged. Now back to the reason why I'm here. Don't ever take a patient away from me ever again. You don't want to make me angry. Your chance dead? No. No, no, no. But she's all I've been working towards all this time. Carrying her was my only... There's no way. Oh my god, I've never called you that before to your face. I hope that's okay. I call you P.O. <laughs> I only do it in my brain. Um, hi, no P.O. <laughs> <laughs> Don't lose hope. Let's ask for details. Dot, no, this is not a dot dot. That's okay. I like it. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> P.O. was his name. Oh. Oh my god, we gotta find out more! <laughs> what have I been doing all this time? What was even the point? I can't. Ah! Is there anything that I can do to help you, baby girl? Um, baby girl, just take a break. Ah. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, I feel better now. Thanks for your help, my little guinea pig. <laughs> All right. Increases the price for all items sold at the clinic. I've never bought from her once this whole game. I don't know what to say. <sighs> I wish I hadn't shown you that side of me. Ah! Wait, I'm. I don't want you to. Oh no, it's okay. I don't want you to show me. But no, but like that sucks. I don't want is this. I know you're having a bad day, Takemi, but I really need that discount. <laughs> okay, I don't want to say this because the reason why that she was showing that side of us is because she thinks that the patient that she... <laughs> you're right. I guess it's fine once in a while. Go on home for today. We'll continue this another time. Take care. Oh, I will. <laughs> ah, you're back. Yes, I'm back. Innate. No. Waiting for you in front of our door. Do I have to go? But it's Saturday! Oh my god. Oh. Hey, did you see the article? What kind of article? Interview with some kid from the school. Boy M tells all. Boy M tells all. Rampant abuse in the Kamoshida case. That's what it says. It's mostly about the physical punishment. You think this boy M is Mishima? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> M? Does M stand for Mishima? Guess it might be him after all. I mean, that fan site thing's been pretty huge help, too. Probably fine to leave him be. He isn't doing us any harm. See you later. That article. Do you, Do think, you think the reporter oh. we met at Crossroads could have written it? Oh, 
right. I totally forgot that we hooked him up with that. And then he was like, you told me the girl was interested in me. Not that she was interested in doing an article about me. And then we were like, well. Just as I thought, the author is listed as Ichigo Oya. I see. This article might end up being useful for us. How so? If the palace ruler sees it and his cognition of the phantom thieves changes... Hey, we'd be missing out if we didn't use this to our advantage. If we have her paint us in a positive light, public opinion of us will change for the better. You should go try and get her to write some more articles about the phantom thieves. Isn't it better? How do I have so many... What? Why does everyone want to hang out? What's happening? Everybody wants to hang out with me. I realize this invitation is rather last minute, so you're free to decline, but I'm thinking of going to play. Oh no! Would you care to join me? It'd be a nice chance to talk, if nothing else. Um, wait. Aft, uh, I have a report as your strategic image management representative. Just thought of a new way to help you. I really want to tell you about it. Do you have time today? Oh my god. The twins want me to go and see them in the square? The Tensai Ikemen detective wants to hang out. Mishima wants to talk. And it's Saturday, so I can call ah, for a maid to come over. What is happening? Everybody is so. There's nothing inside. Will it all me? I feel like I should talk to Akechi, though, because I haven't done it yet. <laughs> attention in my life in the DMs. I don't know how to handle this. I'm gonna talk to him. Yeah, let's go see him. Thanks. Placing Shoji will send you the directions. Don't worry. I know. I'm gonna find something to occupy my time. That is good to hear. Found myself with some free time, so I was hoping to find someone to play against. Oh my god. I don't know if I should roast him. Do you have no friends? As in people I'd actively choose to see in my free time? If that's what you mean, then no. I suppose I don't have many. Holy shit! He deserves the roast? Roast him? Emotional damage? I can't tell if you... Is this, is this guy... Is this guy like... Do you do people who like him like to like diss him? Is this is this how it is? Is he one of those guys where people are like, God, I love his ugly, stupid ass so much. Fuck this guy. I love him. My favorite character. He's so ugly and I hate him. Like, is that how people who if this is your favorite persona character, is that how you treat him? <laughs> yes, a little bit. Now let's play a game. You've played pool before, correct? Yeah, I have. I feel like we're missing a few balls there. <laughs> what the fuck? What is wrong with this guy? Oh, my apologies. A break ace. How does that happen? <laughs> Not bad. It was just a coincidence. Of course, this game won't count. Let's start over. Hmm. Oh, bad move on my part. If you get the next one, I'm in trouble. Don't tell me I have to actually do it. Do it, beef! Yeah! Not bad. Everything's riding on this next shot, though. How will you handle this? 
Okay, guys, how do I win so I can drag his face in the mud? Tell me. Don't look at chat. Don't be reckless, bitch. Okay, beef, shoot it carefully. You have to show him who's boss. Let's see your skills. There wasn't enough force. I didn't even reach the pocket. Beef! I win. That was a close one, though. I suppose it would have been embarrassing to lose as your senior, huh? <laughs> something seems off. Sense something in you that's quite different from other people. I guess you can call it my detective's intuition. Haha, <laughs> kidding, of course. Break ace. What's off? Is something the matter? Wow, Beef, you are so smart and so you can see everything. Aren't you left-handed? Huh. He's gonna pull out the... Actually, I'm so perfect that I'm ambidextrous. That's not bad. I'm honestly impressed you noticed. That's right. This one's my dominant hand. I switch hands during the game. It's not anything against you. Calling out, out against my junior just seems a bit... Gosh. I confess you surprised me. Rather... Dexterous with my right hand. I can even use chopsticks with it. Frankly, I didn't expect you to see through it. Maybe I'll be a detective. No holding back next time. I see a lot of things. Sounds lovely. Interesting. It's a nice idea. I like to try a match where I don't have to hold anything back. In any case, you truly are interesting. You never cease to intrigue me. I can sense his appreciation. This is so weird. This is like the weirdest conversation I've had in the game yet. Chance to reveal one enemy's affinity at the start of battle. All right. If you ever manage to win against me using my right hand, then I will face you with everything that I have. You have my word. Goodbye then. Well, see you. This guy's weird. Is he gonna call me? Hey, thanks for coming along today. Little game turned out to be more interesting than I expected. Rarely anyone notices when I don't use my dominant hand. I can only commend your powers of observation. I think you'd be an interesting influence on me. If you're so inclined, we could go out again sometime. <laughs> I gotta say it. Sorry, everybody. Oh, whatever works for you. As long as I can spend some time with you, I think, think of it as you please. Well, I suppose I'll reach out to you next time something comes up. See you. He has no friends! He's worse than me! Well then. That reminds me, home shopping program. True. Dark power set. The black robe. <laughs> Comes with a black robe and. Oh, rock! <laughs> I was gonna say it comes with a black robe and a black robe! It's that fucking rock. I'm so stupid. Five inch nails and a straw doll. That sounds terrifying. Which one is more expensive? Hey, hey! Oh my god! What? You're rich? <laughs> yeah, I am. Sold out, let's Whoa. go. What should I do? Oh, so everybody was texting me yesterday, but now nobody wants to text me today? 
I don't have anything to do. I'm keeping an eye on you right now. Hey, the Phantom Thief sent out a calling card to the Mafia. What do you think of all of this? It's exciting. I can see why you'd... Uh, I can see why they resonate with you. Young people tend to gravitate towards romantic ideas. Allow me to impart some advice. Only intellectuals can find success in life. I don't mean the crude excess of wealth or status. Look at me and see true success personified. If you wish to achieve such true success in your life, then it would be my pleasure to guide you. I'm going home. What a fucking idiot. <laughs> Ew. Nice. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Mega <Michael. laughs> Um. <clears throat> what should I do? Wait, so on the map? Oh god. Oh, do they only want to talk at night? Makes sense. I signed up for any jobs? Nope. I got so much money that I don't have to. Ha ha ha. Working? Hell no. Jobs give stats? Okay, which job? Oh wait, which job gives um charm? How do I sign up for a job? <laughs> the flower shop? The convenience store. Soothing like? soba. I love karaoke. <gasps> Restores 20 HP to one ally. Wait. <clears throat> this is better. Have you finished your bread? No. What do you want to do? your time what do you want to do i didn't finish my bread <laughs> i don't think at least how many do i have left i only have 56 left oh wait it has 20 hp oh my god <clears throat> so if i go to the subway station i can get a job Walkway? Okay. Eh? Hmm. All we have to do now is wait. What a nerve wracking time. Meanwhile, I'm here to observe the public and attempt to refresh my mind. Do you need something? He's just here! Does this mean we're gonna hang out? I came to see you. <laughs> Must have wealth of free time if that's your decision. Yeah, I, get I would like to speak with you. You have time. Wait, I can just hang out? I don't even think I've ever hang out hung out with him before. Yes. How I mentioned my need to understand the heart. I'm having a hard time grasping it. How will I be able to reach the truth of pure beauty? What should I paint to capture the contents of the heart? Oh, I see mementos. Desire that emanates the, from the palace is the root of humanity. Incredible. You honestly have a unique perspective okay. on things. With that destination in mind, let us make haste. What? Oh. Oh, we're going. Distorted realm, teeming with shadows, physical embodiment of the desires of the human heart. 
Same thing which brought forth the beauty of the Sayuri can also create such morbid fabrications. I actually find that aspect to be quite fascinating. Part is akin to an abyss. Now regarding the source of my slump, I actually have an idea. In that other dimension, I saw the preservation of Mother Rama's heart. The moment the art realm I had so much faith in what in was distorted by greed and unchecked desires. That's when the true ugliness of the world became clear to me. And from that point forward, my brush has been stayed by my brush has been stayed by crippling hesitation. <sighs> Does pure beauty truly exist? And if so, can hands tainted by Madarama's uh, depravity capture it? Considering such intense questions only serve to distance me from reality, doubt filled my mind. I struggled to find reason to move my brush again. And honestly, I still have yet to discover a suitable answer. What is the matter? What's the matter? Have you been overcome by an urge to paint? Give me your brush. What's that? Please do not rush me. I only need a little more time. <laughs> Give me your phone. Lingering uncertainty present in this place seems to be sharpening my senses. I feel a revelation approaching. <laughs> yes. Inspiration has struck. <laughs> that must be it. Such brilliant <laughs> composition. Oh, my heart races. <laughs> Jesus. How? Oh my god. How inelegant. You wish to carry out your distorted will, foolish shadow? Let's go. I shall cut you down for interrupting my work? What? There's so many of them! <coughs> Persona! I am Bop thou. Bop a doo a doo a Oh shit, I meant to use the one that would hit all of them. Persona. Oh wait. You're mine. <coughs> well. well. You never see it coming. I do, I, I do, I do have, I do have a persona that I thought that the wind attack that I used just then was actually going to be the one that hits all of them, but then it wasn't. But because I did a week, I can't switch my persona after that because I'm locked in the same one. So I had to keep going. It seems I've become too passionate. I'm glad you were here. You have my thanks. You're like Theo. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? No, I'm my own person. You caught me! <laughs> um, what are you talking about? I was referring to Van Gogh's brother, Theo. Van Gogh did not achieve fame in his lifetime, but found an admirer and supporter in his brother. Thanks! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What does this mean? Um, are we bros? We're bros now? Thanks. Well, there aren't many who are willing to deal with my eccentricity. By the way, what's in your hand? A card? A blank card, shadow drop. Hmm. Whenever I see blank paper, I have the urge to draw something on it. May I? Possible. Good. What? Hmm. What? A satisfactory result. Well, what do you think? Not bad, wouldn't you say? Soon enough, my slump will be a thing of. What is going on? Oh, 
became an item. My picture turned into a real skill card? That's amazing power. Oh my god, he's like Sai from Naruto! Indeed. Would you mind helping me further? If I can overcome this slump, I should be able to aid our group like earlier. Uh, perhaps even more so. I know. Why don't we act as the thieves we are and strike a deal? It's a deal. Great. I promise your returns will be well worth your cooperation. I guess it says use case trusted me. What? All of this? Multiple cards were discovered among your belongings. Replicas of the same design. Is this a is this from Royal? I don't have a clue how these cards were used, but someone proficient in the arts was close to you. What were you having this no? person do? I am thou. Wait! Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that break it. I, Yusuke and I didn't have a link before With the this. Birth of the Emperor persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. No. You've ignored him. <laughs> All right. Get to use this duplication ability to make you copies of skill cards. Copy a skill card, give you a blank card, and the card you want to copy. Both cards will be available for you to pick up the next day. Blank card will be transformed to create a new skill card. You will return both the new and original cards to you. Blank cards can be obtained by search jobs and mementos. We've done enough for today. I've completed a rough sketch. I'll finish this back at the dorm. I'll contact you once it's done. go and talk to him I thought that he would come to me I'm in your debt thank you for all your assistance today you helped me discover some truly wonderful inspiration I must say I never expected my art skills would ever prove useful for the Phantom Thieves I have to hold up my end of the deal so I'll perform the best of my ability you need only ask Be the, I should be the one thanking you. Without your help, I could not have finished today's pace. Now we should be heading back. I have to apply the finishing touches as soon as possible. <laughs> For the first time in a long while, my brush will dance again. Oh my See god. You. I've been keeping him locked up in an art block this whole time! I'm sorry! Someone my friend knows got blackmailed. Someone really get kidnapped? Seriously, that's horrible. Apparently, you can never shake them off. That's what they said. That some I, I can't. They really get aggressive. What? Reading. Ah, you're back. You know, I've been curious. Let's go say like, is it filled with guys like you, Skit? <laughs> Imagine there are a lot of different people there. Now that you mention it, I have one very interesting classmate. Female shogi player, and seemingly quite the skilled one at that. Here you're talking about Hifumi Togo. I remember hearing she's a student at Kosei. They say she's the most beautiful shogi player around right now. Dude, that sounds too good to be true. Give me some more info. I do not know much about her. She's not the kind of person to let others close to her. Sounds like she only focuses on her shogi pursuits. After all, it's said that she is a lone genius. However, I have heard that she is overly seen at the church over in Kanda. For real? We gotta go. I think it's struck down by a bolt of lightning if you're going for that ulterior motive. That isn't it. This is for the Phantom Thieves. I mean, Shogi is a kind of battle, right? She's gotta know all sorts of insane strategies and stuff. Uh, it's quite the stretch. 
Churches are supposed to be holy. Don't do this, Ryuji. You guys are gonna pay for this one day. Ground, you go spy on her for me. Find out she really is as cute as they say she is. <laughs> Let's ignore that idiot. Anyway, a shogi expert, huh? Striking an enemy with but a moment's inspiration? Skillfully strategizing toward victory? Those might actually be good tactics to know Why for is he work so the fucking dumb? He said she's at the church in Kondo, right? Him. We should check it out when you have the time. Do we even get to go to Kanda? Oh. Well, there we go. All right. We can go to Kanda. Awesome. <gasps> My lady. We finally have some time to relax, but I don't know. I don't want to get too lazy, you know? It'd be nice to go someplace. Or I still be moving around a lot. Any ideas? We could go together, maybe? Oh, 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 Wait. Um, do I even own such a place? Oh. Um, 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 um. Shogi? Wait, now? Oh, I thought I had to do that in the day. Oh, I can just go now. Welcome, lost lamb. Lambs who strayed far from their path and lost sight of their goals in this life are welcome here. Simply put, I offer solace advice to those worries or wish to reflect on their past. Hmm. hmm. A convenient place to wait did he say reflect on their past calling friends into <laughs> calling friends into confessional will cause time to pass but they'll be able to recover a forgotten skill wow. damn make sure you don't offend him or make him angry by brushing off his advice come at a good time today currently accepting small donations People who wish to support our church and its work. If you donate, you'll receive an item suitable for the amount of Welcome. your donation. What? There's so many things. Wine. Fully restores the HP of all allies. Oh my god. Cures all non-special elements from allies. Oh my god. Baptismal water. Just like my grandma always wanted me to have. Oh, I have two. Removes all stat buffs for all foes. Purified holy water. Removes all the debuffs for all allies. I'm gonna get this one. Why not? <laughs> this one's good? Okay. You know what? I'll buy everything. Make my grandma proud. Oh, I can't buy everything from here. Done a good deed. God be with you, my son. Thank you. Oh, okay. I guess this is the girl? Hey, hey. That girl's playing shogi. Maybe she's Hifumi Togo, the one Yusuke mentioned. Why don't you go ask her? <laughs> oh my god! That is so creepy! Beef! Beef? You can't say that to somebody you don't know. That is so fucking creepy. <sighs> yeah, the wrong person. Mm. She's the only weirdo who plays shogi at church. She's a famous shogi player, so maybe you need a certain level of charm to interest her. No! I knew it. I'm undesirable. That's it. Um, um, um. That's it. Oh. What do you want to do? Your charm is that low? Yeah. It's like the only one that I haven't upped. <laughs> Wow, that looks so relaxing. Oh. Came out of there looking really refreshed. Medical baths must be. 
I can't. I don't know what he said. I'm sorry, Mona. What? Even now? Wanna head back? I gotta keep leveling up my charm. I made it on time. I suppose I'm still safe if you're here. I can't be late today, too. You're late to school? Not a morning person? No. I was up very early shooting a news show. Oh. I have much more work in television because of the Phantom Thieves. I have permission from my school, but it's still tough to do both. Uh, I can't keep complaining. Well, let's both do our best today. I see. I see. So sorry. It's so gross and humid, even though it's the end of June. Oh yeah, in Japan, when the rainy season ends, we say that it opens. English, it's more common to hear people say the rainy season comes to a close. Be careful! Expressions for the weather are totally different depending on what country you're in. Now then, Mr. Beef. Oh no! How about you? Which of these animals is involved in an English idiom about weather? <gasps> dogs! This it's raining it. cats and dogs! Good! I love speaking English! Raining cats and dogs means it's pouring rain! Strongest theory for its origin is the sound of rain resembles that of dogs and cats fighting. Oh my god, I'm a five head. Some other European languages describe bad weather as dog's weather too. <laughs> How did you get that question? I wasn't even close. Maybe he's actually is smart. I'm kind of surprised. Oh shoot, the teacher's glaring at us. Nice going. Yeah, I am smart. What can I say, everybody? Ego totemo josu desu ne watashi! Additionally, in Norwegian they say it's raining witches, and in Polish they say it's raining frogs. Every country has its own way of describing heavy rain. <laughs> and it's its own metaphorical substitute falling from the sky. Mm. Oh yeah, over here they say when a cat washes its face it rains. I wash my face every day because I like being clean. And that's not true at all! Oh, uh, but I'm not a cat, of course. Hmm. Okay, it's raining, so my charm will go up today. I wish I could consult you with you about what I sketched in Mementos. Do you have time today? I wish to come by LeBlanc with this painting. What? He wants to hang out. Wait! Oh my god. No! Everyone wants to hang out, but I haven't talked to Marduki in so long! To the point where I don't even remember where his office is anymore. Or should I wait for him to message me? Usually he's just standing there, but he's not. The other building. If he doesn't message you, then you can't hang out. Oh, really? Might not be able to get me recommendation because of volleyball team scandal. Volleyball team, they're also looking at all shooting within skepticism now. That can't be right. Still, that honor student that does gymnastics, isn't there? Working just as hard, but she's the one that gets the. Uh, preferential treatment. It's just mm -hmm. so unfair. You're probably story locked. Oh, probably. You can check the map to see who's available. See you later. <laughs> oh my god, you scared me, D. Oh, he's right there, and he he's free to hang out. Pressure's been dropping. So, ah, yes. Thanks, the research has been going well. So great I'm beef sorry. Good. Deal might have to wait for now. Definitely want to talk later when there's more free time. Oh. 
Ah, yes. I'm sorry. He's not okay. I guess after these 12 days are up, then we can talk. I can't keep this up. I'm a shapeshifter at Post Masquerade. Subway map shows who's available. Wait, like this one? X for city. Oh! Makoto? I should go visit her, actually. I haven't visited her yet. Because she told me I could go to the student council room whenever I wanted, but... I haven't talked to her yet. She's grayed out so you can't? Oh, really? Oh god, I keep pressing the wrong one. Oh. Wait, but it's black. It's not gray. Is that the same thing? I'm somewhat interested. Try anyways. Okay. Hey. All you need is leave for a kind of change of heart become clear to us. Do you need something on the third floor? Have you done studying the library? I came to see Do you. you. Have a minute. Seems your studies have paid off. Have you been working hard? <laughs> I have enough. <gasps> There's something I want to ask you. If it doesn't get in the way of your studies, that is. I can lend an ear. Thank you very much. Now then, let's find somewhere better to talk. What I should do. Because I'm smart. I'd like to talk to you about something. Do you have a moment? Yes. Up until now... I've been the quintessential honor student. I believe I've been handling my position as student council president with ease as well. A and I don't mean that in a boasting way, that's simply how I've thought about it. But in the end, I was unable to make any kind of impact with either Suzui-san or Kanashiro. Turns out there's no use for a rule-abiding honor student when things get rough. Now that I'm a member of this team, I want to do everything I can to help you all. Aww. All my studying up to this point has kept me quite narrow-minded. I think I, I will need to broaden my horizon somewhat. Way to go, advisor! <laughs> what do you plan on doing? My first step will be to learn more about the other students. I, I struggle with that. There seems to be a disparity between my tastes and those of my peers. Beef. Um. Beef. That's not true. Honesty, but does she? Does she really? I feel like she just isn't able to. Well. <laughs> I feel like she just isn't able to talk to people because people are so mean. I knew it. I don't even know where people like to go for fun. Oh. It would be nice to have a grasp of such concepts. She is silly. Plus, the student council must be responsible for understanding the student body they serve, right? I don't mean that in a surveillance way. I just want to know them as people. Aww. I may be a phantom thief, but that's no excuse for me to start ignoring my presidential duties. Now, back to the topic at hand. Where do people usually go for fun? <laughs> <laughs> Karaoke! Oh, for me at least. Karaoke, hmm? My friends have taken me there a few times. She has friends! If possible, I'd like to go somewhere I'm a little less familiar with. How about an arcade? I've never actually been to one. What? Do you think you could take me? 
I'm not sure if it'll broaden my horizons per se, but simply studying won't get me anywhere. Let's go now. Thank goodness. I think I would have been totally lost in there had I gone by myself. Well, let's get going. She's a gamer. So this is where everyone comes to enjoy themselves. Yup. There are more girls here than I expected. Hey, over there. Are we gonna take a pretty crowd together? You play by aiming the gun at the screen, right? That actually seems somewhat realistic. <gasps> hmm. Wanna try? I if it's okay with you, do you think you could teach me? Oh yeah. I did it! <gasps> no way! Aww. Her loud play is garnering quite a bit of attention. It seems to be too engrossed in the game to even notice, though. Oh, so this is how it is. You're a real gamer! Of course, that was just a game. But I wonder if I could apply some of the techniques I learned here during battle. That might just work. Perhaps going somewhere I don't normally frequent is what helped me come up with that idea. You know, it may only be a little bit, but I think I'm starting to understand how people pass time. Oh my god. Interesting. I would have never even thought about coming here before. You really stood out. You still have much to learn. That was a new side of you. Hmm. You still have much to learn. I... Hey, do you think you could help me out again later? I might be able to give the team more ideas if I can gain increased knowledge outside of my studies. Um, yes! I look forward to it! I need to live up to your expectations now that I've taken up your time. Perhaps it won't be immediately, but I'm sure I can be of use. Uh. Your sister. There must have been people who obstructed your actions as the Phantom Thieves. You managed to overcome them because you had someone who specialized in analyzing enemies. <laughs> Maybe. Isn't that right? Your own sister, perhaps? I can't path. believe I didn't have her. Well, I guess hers makes sense because I probably could only just unlock it. But she just told me about the visiting her at the persona, student council room. I but you scared all this time. I was leaving freedom, this guy on red. All right. Using personas of the high priestess Arcan Arcana will now grant yes yes shadow calculus. He's used to it. <laughs> By the way, you went to the red light district when you were chasing after Kanashiro, right? Oh yeah, Kabukicho loved that place. I'd like to go there as well. <gasps> no, no, not for my own purposes. To tell you the truth. I recently got a report that one of our students was spotted there. I'm skeptical, but I'd like to confirm firsthand for myself. Well, it's getting late. Let's go home. Are we going? Another time? Thank you. Thanks for setting aside time for me today. It's always hard for me to come to places like this on my own, so you've been a big help. All lot kinds of new experiences today and even been a little fun. Let's go again sometimes. It's a new you. The red light district next. Let's go again sometime. Yes. Good idea. After all, there's clearly plenty more I can learn there. For that, we should go to the red light district like we discussed before. Oh. I didn't mean to keep you. Careful on your way home. I'll call you later. I thought all she right meant... Then. In, I, thought, I thought he meant in general, not let's go back to the arcade. <laughs> See you. Bye.
rain, huh? So sick of how few customers I get during the rainy season. Hey! Uh, drunk journalist is drinking the night away in Shinjuku again. Yo! Another box came for you. Hey! My black oh. robe and my black rock shooter. I need to raise my charm, man. Hey! Close, somewhat close to improving my knowledge. Somewhat close to improving my charm. No idea how far. Like, I feel like I'm getting somewhat close to improving my guts. No far. No far? No clue. <laughs> There's bonus now that it's raining. Mm. Seems pretty intense. What do you want to do? <laughs> it's a bit too hot. Get out before I get lightheaded. Mm hmm. What's up? <laughs> Pushing yourself that much is kind of impressive. Thanks. Hey, hey. Oh. My charm. Hey, there's this um, article making the rounds online. It's called Confession of Boy M. A tell all on the Kamoshida abuse scandal. It's gotta be Mishima, right? I read it. It all sounds so horrible. No wonder they considered the Phantom Thieves heroes. Kinda hard to bag on the Phantom Thieves after reading that. You're right. In fact, you might call them superheroes. Hmm. Journalist article sure are making a big splash. Might be the perfect way to get the Phantom Thieves names out there. We should take advantage of this. Get our names out there? Man. I want the Phantom Thieves to be famous for more than just my own selfish reasons. Reasons. The bigger our name is, the more our targets will hear talk of us. Remember that reporter? If we give her the right intel, the articles could make a real difference for us in the metaverse. Okay. Let's go back to that bar in Shinjuku and get her to write more stuff about us. Good morning. <gasps> Good morning, Beef Senpai. It's nice the rain stopped. It would be nicer if the sky would clear, though. Hi, Kasumi. Oh, who's texting me today? Makoto! Question regarding the red light district issue. Remember how I told you I wanted to go there? Well, how does today sound? Unfamiliar with this area, so I was hoping you'd be able to guide me around. Can you make time for it? Oh my god. One sec. Now that I know that I can do this... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Three women. Oh, no. Three girls. texted me so and i want to know what happens here too so i will probably thank you for the super chat thank you thank you vr oh god i'll consider it thank you for the super chat thank you but she texted me so Let's meet up in Shinjuku. Make sure you come dressed in normal clothes, okay? Guess we can take a walk around the station while you're doing stuff. Damn, Mona is like... I thought Mona would... Hmm. Come too, but... 
actually he's able to read the room. So many people here. I guess this really is the biggest red light district in Asia, huh? Apparently this place was hotbed for criminals and illegal immigrants before they installed surveillance cameras. And there were quite a few brothels as well. <gasps> Beef! Uh, I have to say it. Is it really that dangerous? My heart is racing. Regardless, it's become far safer now than it used to be. Surveillance cameras played a substantial role in that. Mainly thanks to the police efforts the, to clean up an area. <laughs> Even so, there's no way to eradicate crime entirely. Seems the operation nowadays are only better hidden. Shall we go? Seeing is believing, yes, come on. Let's have a look around. That was zero riz? What? Makoto requests that we walk separately through Shinjuku. Countless men tried to start conversations with her. <gasps> Did we lose him? That guy was so persistent. Oh my. He must, uh, he must have been a scout for a hostess club. He mentioned how his girls get paid a lot to wear cute dresses. All I wanted was to ask if any Shijin students worked there, but he nearly dragged me inside with him. He hadn't been there to rescue me, I... Oh my god! Beep! No. Not usually, but it was a little hard to follow what he was saying. I mean, he kept going on about how this is the top job for young girls and how they have such a clean workplace. Oh god. I guess that's how they do it. I've learned something new today. Thank you very much. Oh, and thanks again. It seems you have a knack for helping me out. I hope I can do the same for you someday. Beef. Beef. All right. Hmm. That aside, even though this is a shopping district, there are absolutely no students around here. Definitely no Shijin students. Though I guess they wouldn't come in uniform either, anyways. Well done. Hmm. Was. Did you notice this? I used to be in the same class as her. But why is she here? After school salon? Um. What kind of place is that? Hmm. I'm not sure, but it seems suspicious. I'll have to ask her about it. I'd like you to be there too as my witness. Would that be okay? Spend quite a bit of time here. Let's head back to the station. All right then. Thank you for today. Oh man, oh man. Hey, um, I wanted to thank you again for tagging along today. That was the first time I'd ever had to deal with a uh, Barker. I don't know they could be that persistent. Today was exhausting, but I also learned a lot. I guess nothing beats practical experience. Couldn't agree more. Honestly, I realized I can't solve these problems on my own. It took what happened today to make that clear. Also plan on looking into that Shujin student we saw there. Great if you can help me with that sometime for now. See you later. Call him a barker? Because you see pretty girl and he go... Hey, Ojo-chan! Kochi-koi! Hey, Ima-hima! Fortune teller must be this uh, horrible misfortune for Ryuji, right? <laughs> but am I, I have to raise my charm! I have to raise my charm first! Why are you sitting on the ground? What do you want to do? <sighs> Feels nice to relax in a large bath. Oh. Really, we're 
refresh yourself. More handsome now. Really? You lied to me. Wanna head back? You lied to me, Mona! You said I look more handsome now, and I really thought that maybe it meant that I was gonna raise my charm just then. <sighs> thought I was gonna be late. Customers were bickering in the convenience store this morning. A young woman wearing all brand clothing and an older man with gold accessories were arguing. Both were on their high horse. Even though they dressed so fancy, Belle Nouveau Rich. Speaking of, Japanese words for high horse and nouveau riche both originated as shogi terms. A lot of people aren't familiar with shogi, but it's good to know a little bit about it. Have you seen this piece before? Do you know the answer? Everybody, I want you to know that, um... Um, I actually learned how to play shogi before. I, I knew how to play shogi. I took shogi classes before, actually, because I thought it'd be interesting. And I actually did take one class before in my life. Um, and I will also tell you that um, I don't remember a damn thing about shogi. So I'm just gonna... Hmm. That's incorrect. Man, I don't even know which one I picked. Kanji for gold on it. Darn. <laughs> Les and the Silver Jenner also have the kanji for gold on the back. By the way, it said that the toll on the back of the gold pawn piece... What? For Shogi, you can choose to promote your pieces under certain conditions. If a knight crosses into enemy territory, for instance, they can promote becoming as mobile as a gold general. Wing piece like a pawn can become gold if you get into the enemy's camp and- Oh my god, I- my brain. I knew he wouldn't get it right! Duh, I mean he's- Oh crap, the teacher's looking. I'm never showing you guys my notes ever again. If you ever come over to me and you ask me for my notes because I get a question right, I'm just gonna say, suck it, sucks to suck, you guys are stupid. Go open a book, read, touch grass, get the hell away from me. By the way, no <laughs> sounds like wear expensive clothes because of the desire to be acknowledged. Once humans fulfill their basic needs of clothing, food, and shelter, our next design is recog our desire is recognition. That's why people try to make themselves seem bigger by flaunting their power through money. Hmm. Making yourself seem bigger reminds me of a frilled lizard. My body needs sweets. I really want to eat something sweet right about now. Feel bad doing it alone. My heart is conflicted. How about it? Want to be my accomplice? Aren't you in the mood for some sugar? You should come right now. But... But... Greetings, Senpai. I wanted... I, I was just thinking of inviting you out. Do you have time right now? Maybe we can meet up in Kichijoji. Oh, no! Oh no. Man! But like, Kasumi, I don't get to see her often. I can talk to Anne whenever I want, but Kasumi, I don't really get to talk to her ever, so... Thanks so much, I'll be waiting. Okay, I'm on my way, girl! Hello! It's gotten so hot lately, hasn't it? But I've got a meet coming up, so I can't lose steam now. If you have time, would you like to go do some stretches with me? Dancing. Whoa. Wait. I feel like dancing. Fade. I don't 
don't know if I should... Hmm. Yeah. Well, what do you want to do? Is there something you'd like to do? Let's hang out. Yes. Be great. I think I'll help us both de-stress a little. Is the game asking me to pick where to go? Oh, thank God. It's only the park. There's a big lake there. Want to go? Let's go. I love that place. <gasps> it's just like I imagined. The view from the boat is amazing. I thought we were stretching. Sorry for dragging you out. Sorry for dragging you out on one of these. I was just so curious about what it'd be like. I don't mind. It's a nice view. As long as you're happy. This is so lame. It's a nice view. Wink. Really is. Wind feels great too. It's so refreshing out here. Oh, I actually have a favor to ask. When we have to leave, can I be the one to row us back? After watching you roll the way here, I just got this urge to try it. <laughs> My first time rowing a boat. I'm so excited. Girl, don't be excited. Rowing well, a boat sucks. Today was so fun. Thank you for taking me out. Don't be excited, girl. Rowing a uh, boat fucking sucks. Back. Oh no. That moment you said he's gonna go drinking at that Monja restaurant. You'll go with me to help investigate undercover, right? <gasps> The delivery maid, the maid's cooking option includes together with a maid. It's on sale with the request fee is only 5,000 yen. Bros before maids. Bros before hoes. Oh, Monja. All right. Teacher who's with him has shit on me too. Sorry, but I'm gonna stay holed up in the bathroom. Please! Just leave your phone on so I can hear what they're saying. Wow, you can really hold your liquor, Yamauchi. Mmm, I've had some experience. Back in my college days, we'd rent a yacht over the weekend and have massive parties. I must say though, sake's been tasting particularly sweet lately. No surprise there, things have been much calmer without Kamoshida. Those are some real dark times for Shujin, though, huh? But now that he's gone, you finally get the chance you deserve, Yamauchi. Don't flatter me. Ha ha. He had his strength, sure. But because of him, our volleyball team will be forever scarred. The only real option now is to abandon it completely. It's been a way to bring Shujin back into the limelight, though. That's where I come in. You mean with the track team, right? Students who went through so much hardship under Kamoshida's rise... Again, with the caring new advisor. It'll be the rebirth of a team that found themselves in the depths of despair. The public will love it. By my lack of track and field knowledge, I'll form a tight bond with the students. It'll be... I'll be the protagonist of my very own tearjerker. And of course, all of the praise will be for reviving the team will go to me. Their incredible, loving advisor. I'll have to hire a great coach if I want to pull this off, though. You're gonna pretend to coach them while someone else does all the legal- all the legwork? Amazing, Yamauchi. Such stunning achievement will look so great when it's time to hand out bonuses. I'm not gonna stop there either. I'll publish books, give motivational speeches. What about all the troublemakers on the team? I heard that Nakaoka kid is especially bad. Nakaoka? Oh, you mean the one who asked them to bring the pre kamoshida coach back? Don't worry, I've already taken care of him. There's this other boy on the team, Takeshi. Doesn't really excel in much of anything. Well, I said I'd make him the new captain if he could get rid of that troublemaker. 
Might have mentioned something about how Nakaoka was working with Kamoshida too. Subtly, of course. What ended up happening? Apparently, Takeshi chased him away. The plan worked perfectly! And the best part is, not only are Takeshi's parents loaded, but his mother's the president of the, t of the PTA. I see, he'd make a great pawn. Perhaps, nothing like him could ever captain a successful champion winning team. He may have, he may have to have an unfortunate accident at practice one day, but until then, he can show the others the value of obedience. You're incredible! Damn it! That fucking asshole! We don't do something quick, Gamochi's gonna get rid of Takeshi too. God damn it! Should we change his heart? Let's talk to Takeishi. Oh god, I don't think we should change his heart. Let's talk. Yeah, this isn't our problem. It's a track team, so they're just gonna have to decide on their own. You guys should have hey. recorded that. Track isn't a team sport. At least Spirit wasn't. You got teammates, sure, but you're really just looking out for your... So I, I can't read. <laughs> That's why I never thought about asking people to help or trying to solve problems together. But I can't ignore the stuff they're going through now. I mean, even though we had our own goals and shit... We're still running together. They suffered with me, gritting their teeth with me. Honestly, I think it was only because of them I was able to run at all. <laughs> so I can't just go and turn my back on him now, right? I know that ain't the coolest thing to say, but it's how I feel. I think it's cool, Ryuji! E yeah. Huh? For real? Thanks, man. I think you're cool! Right. My bro! Wait. Anyways, I'm starving. Let's eat some monja while we're here. So far, I've seen this place is... Wait, all I've seen of this place is the goddamn toilet. <laughs> Yummy monja! Thank you for hanging out with me, man. No problem, bro. <gasps> Good work today, man! Thanks for sticking around so late. God damn it, Yamauchi. That dick! Just thinking about it pisses me off. At this rate, the track team's screwed. Yamauchi's just gonna take advantage of them. But I also don't want to make a huge scene. I can't let myself- I can't let myself mess up their chance to start the team again. Besides, I doubt those guys are gonna listen to anything I say. <laughs> we'll have to use force. <laughs> you never know until you try. That's true. I gotta have faith in them. Anyhow, at least we know the truth about him. We just gotta figure out our next move. That bastard Yamauchi munching on Monja like he's got us all figured out. He won't get away with this. Any case, thanks again for your help today. Seriously saved me. Bye! <gasps> Bye! Don't make me use lethal force. It's so hot. It's so hot and humid. I wish the rainy season would end soon. By the way, June's almost over. We defeated Kaneshiro so we can rest easy for a while, I guess. What do you want to do today? Maybe something like a trip to Mementos? Why would we go there? I want to rest. Hmm. I mean, breaks are important. But we have those requests on the message board, so don't forget to answer them. I Wait, I thought I did them all! Oh my god. Mm. Raining. Weather very well the same effects on mementos as it has on humans. I thought I finished all of them. Oh no. F Yusuke? <laughs> hey, come on. Makoto Yusuke. Come on. Hmm. Well, let's say what they. Honestly, I'm kind of invested in Makoto's story about what's going on right now. 
identify the student from the red flag red flag <laughs> red light district third year eiko takao i'm thinking of speaking with her directly about this can you sit in on it too i'm watching people in shibuya right now thought it might I thought I might get the creative juices flowing. I must say though, I doubt I'll be able to calm down until the results are made clear to us. Plan to continue people watching in Shibuya. Let me know if you need anything. Um, Makoto, here I come! Thanks, it feels good to hear that from you, Ground. I'll call her to the student council room. Excuse me. Eiko Takao-san! You've been spending time in the red light district lately, haven't you? Both myself and ground Kun saw you there. Based on what... You, she's just on her phone. She doesn't even care. Based on where you were heading, we assume you were working at a store called the After School Salon. How is it, working there? What do you mean? It's just a normal cafe. You make me wear a cute costume and stuff, but that's it. Oh, and I don't have to do anything weird. If you know what I mean. It's all totally legal. <sighs> so you're sure nothing strange is going on? Yup, yup. The worst I get is some weird old guys gawking at me. I see. I see. Beyond that, though, why are you working there? How's your financial situation? Uh, fine? I mean, I can just ask my parents for cash whenever I want. Uh, oh, I see. <sighs> well, they're totally... But they totally bug me about what I'm buying if I did that. That's why I work at the salon. Get some good spending money. Plus the guys who come in there, like, mega pamper me. Hmm. Mega pamper? It's nice having people treat you like you're special, you know? I'm sure a super honest student like you gets it all the time, though. Anyways, are you gonna tell on me? You even, bought, you even brought a witness today. Hold up. Doesn't that mean you two were in Shinjuku together? What's up with that, Miss Prez? <laughs> so what if we were together? It's none of your business. Yeah, the wrong idea. So what? Aww. Hey, don't say things that could be taken the wrong way. It was simply an errand I asked him to accompany him on. That's all. Anyway, I don't mind him. As for you, I don't plan on telling anyone. Oh, I get it. So we're like protecting each other's secrets? Oh crap, I just realized your boyfriend's that rumored criminal. You're a real badass, Miss Prez. Well, I told uh... you, that's not how it is. I was just worried that you were getting wrapped up in some shady business, so I asked him there for support. Uh-huh. Uh, whatever. By the way, I was wondering... Is that a Buchimaru-kun pencil case? Hmm? Hmm? You know Buchimaru-kun? I had, like, tons of Buji stuff back when I was a kid. What a blast from the past. Wait, why is it so beat up? Well, it was given to me when I was still in elementary school. I'd like to buy a new one, but they stopped selling Buchimaru-kun merchandise. OMG, that is too hilarious. The student council president has an adorable pencil case? My image of you has done like a complete 360 today. Um, isn't that a full circle? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just real surprised. You like don't really look like that kind of stuff. You don't like really don't look like the kind of person who'd be like into that kind of stuff. I mean, like I always thought you were kind of like a robot, but I guess I just had to get you. I just had to get to know you better. Hey, like, why don't we trade phone numbers? I, like, really want to talk to you more about Bujimaru-kun and, like, your boyfriend. Uh, oh, um... Oh, um, okay. Wait, he's not my boyfriend. And saved. Oh, crap. It's, like, already this late? I gotta go to work. I'll, see you t I'll send you tons of pick of my Bujimaru collection later, though. Bye-bye! She was all over the place. Honestly, though, I'm in shock. She thought I was a robot. <laughs> oh my god, Beef. You piece of shit. Aww. Don't tease me! <sighs> you know, I believe what the Kao-san said about me. So others think as well. Thought I had changed after the incident with Kaneshiro, but perhaps it wasn't enough. That aside, it was almost inspiring to meet someone so distinct from myself. I'm gonna try to look into things a little differently from now on. Well? And well, I think that'll help me break out of my shell. Hope you're ready. I'm gonna show you how useful an honor student can really be. Wow, she's so cute! 
Negotiation with the martial arts using shadow fails. You can try again. All right. Good. She's gonna point her gun at them and be like, try that again. I'll be interested to speak with Takao-san some more now that I have her contact information. Perhaps I can correct her misconceptions about you. And as always, I'll let you know if anything important happens. I'll see you later. Bye! <laughs> Hello? Thanks for sitting in with me today. It really did help. Got a message from Takao-san earlier. She turned out to be quite the fan of Buchimaru-kun. It's crazy to see a picture of her entire collection. She even has a bunch of Buchimaru-kun's emoticons. Aww! Sounds like the two of you get along. Oh, huh? well, I guess you're right. I didn't expect a bond over something like this, though. I'm pretty shocked, to be honest. Well, I'm still a little worried about the store she works at. I'll try a little harder to get through to her about it. I'll come to you for more advice later. For now, I'll let you go. Talk to you later. <laughs> She's so cute! <laughs> and she has a friend now! Ah, you're back. At school. Even though she, well, she said that she had friends earlier, but like... Fuck! Who in the heck is Iwai? Oh, that's the gun guy. <laughs> no way! Mishima! Inform the public. Something of honor. Dog command. Sit. Stand. <laughs> Wait, stand? How to spell it. To make sure there was enough ease. <laughs> is brought together to hear a report on some kind of information being made public. They can be planned or assembled last minute. Press conferences are held. Different entrances and exits are usually established. Speakers won't be bombarded by the press after they make their leave. All right. I see. Oh wow! Even I couldn't figure that one nice. out. Come on. What was the dog command? Bark, obviously. <laughs> It was the third letter. Speak. Alone, 
I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. Oh my god, there's so many different people. I do want to see the fortune teller. I'm a ship Goodbye, Mishima. Maybe one day. Oh! Greetings. Oh, hello. Please take a seat. Hello. Hello there. This is your first time here, yes? Not often that I get young men stopping by my stand. Anyways, my name is Chihaya Mifune. I will be reading your fortune today. Um... You can begin by telling me your name. I'm ground beef. Ah, ground beef son. I see. Your name is quite lucky. I think she's a liar. <laughs> I think she's a liar. I already don't trust her. That aside, what type of uh, consultation can I interest you in today? Give me the full package. Very well. I suppose the life of all high schoolers is difficult after all. Let's start with an internal reading to test the waters of your faith. Here we go. Oh, divine power. Bring forth this boy's fortune. First card is... Hmm, I see. As for the second, the next is... Hmm? What's this? Seen everything. Stream of light obscuring the sun, like an arrow tearing through the sky. Here it is. Seems to be a new wealth in your future. Financial fortune is looking good today. Wealth of which I speak will come from your house. Head home without detour. Precisely 5,000 yen will await you there. I'll do just that then. Yes. As you should. Fate is absolute. Um... But what is it? How strange. Beef son, the general flow of your future seems to indicate... Ruin? What? Inmate locked away in a lonely cell. Seem to be a good person, Beef Sun. Are you perhaps mixed up in the wrong crowd? Hmm? Beyond that, my... Seems continuing with your current path will lead you to your death. Oh! I'm gonna die! How can I avoid dying? I can't offer advice in that end. It's impossible. Divination is coming to me this clearly. The truth of it is simply undeniable. Oh. <gasps> Although, now that I think about it, there may be a way you can attempt to counteract your destiny. <laughs> All you need is my special spiritual object, the Holy Stone. Power you control, you can avoid even the most unfortunate of futures. Probably. I typically only recommend this to my more experienced customers, but your situation is too dire to ignore. See, the stone itself is imbued with aura of joy that will sap away all of the horrible energy surrounding you. All you need to do is keep it wrapped in cloth and be sure to recharge its powers in moonlight every three days. But what do you say? As for the cost, it's only 100,000 yen. Oh! It's not bad for an, an item that can change your very future? This seems suspicious. It's legitimate, I promise! So, you really don't want it? So? Well, come to me again if you change your mind. I really can help you. I really can help you if you'd like. Ah, you're home. Back. I've been waiting for you. Oh! Chief seems strangely happy. I wonder what's going on. How has your pocket money situation been looking? <laughs> You're hopeless. Fine. I have so much money. Here. For real? 5,000 yen? Want some money from the lotto, so I don't mind sharing my winnings. How much did you win? <laughs> don't worry about the details. 5,000 yen not enough for you? The rest is on Anyways, you. make sure you close up the shop like always. Hey. The fortune teller was right. That's kind of scary. That's incredible. She got even the amount spot on. Maybe that Chihaya lady can seriously read the future. Wait, this is bad. Didn't she say you're gonna die? Come on, we need to go talk to her again and figure out what to do. Maybe I can have her read my compatibility fortune with. 
no. Uh, never mind. Wow. She can actually see the future. Holy stone. She said it cost 100,000 yen. I have 100,000 yen. Oh, I forgot to... Alright, made boost charm. Where are you? <gasps> the art of hooking up? The ABCs of picking up ladies. Mm. This picture of the author. The smug grin just irritates me. How far did you get? You still have some pages left. Continue another time. <laughs> Skip breakfast and now I'm hungry. I want something filling, but with summer coming up, I'm worried about having too many calories. Why don't we get tea? Then it should be a serves fruity. <laughs> Smells good. It's great for your skin and it totally increases your charm. <gasps> Fruity! What a cute name! Sounds yummy. Being stylish starts from the inside out after all. Guess I'll try some. Wow! I need fruit tea! Sounds like a hip drink that's really popular with the ladies. Do you want to try some? Sounds delicious. Nice! No rule against dudes drinking it. If it tastes good and makes you more stylish, might as well, right? Might be a good idea to boost your time by drinking fruit tea whenever you're at the diner. Good morning. Oh, good morning, ground coon. What are you looking at? Let's get going. We're gonna be late if we don't hurry. Well, shall we begin? My eyes are closing. <laughs> Today we'll be talking about Three Kingdoms period. Variety of heroes battling for dominance, truly an epic time. Sorry, I had to stretch. Charismatic rulers and warlords with the command of a thousand men may have their own appeal. Personally, I think that the strategies who support them can't strategists who support them can't be ignored. Thief Kun Uh oh. FGO? This is it. Very good. Oh shit! Thank you, random. I appreciate it, random. <laughs> One region's barbarians would use a person's head as an offering. What? Bowsy in the shape of a head. What? No I feel so smart now. Nice going. Must be really smart to be able to answer a question like that. Yeah. Can't wait for the exams where I get destroyed. <sighs> These days, you can find Bowser with the cute faces on them. Think about their origin, it's not too off the mark. Yep. Never knew strategists came up with cooking. It's not just strategies. Akoto's our strategist. Wanna see what she can cook up? Let her cook. No one's texting me. Everyone hates me. <laughs> Dun, 
It's July the 1st. <sighs> Wait, I have to go to the library first. I have to return my book. Canada Day? Exactly. Would you like? I'd like to return a book. Thank you. What would you like? I'd like to borrow a book. Oh. Oh, I can. What? Speed reader? Easy to learn speed reading technique. Here. Hmm. Cool. Thanks. Now I can read faster. So sleepy. I should visit An. I've been ignoring her. I've been playing hard to get with her. Oops. Leaving her on red? Yeah, I have been. <laughs> Wait. Oh, no, she's not on the main street. She's here. No. Um, this one. We'll just have to wait for yes, now. now we wait. The suspense is seriously killing me. I really want to eat something sweet right now. You're in the same boat as me, right? Right? Um. All right. In that case, let's go get crepes with a ton of extra toppings. Looks like they're not doing their famous double chocolate crepe today. I have the worst luck. Work again? Oh, an email. Mm hmm? Looks like it's from the agency. I wonder what they could want. Huh? Mika? At Skytree? Where is that? Um. They want me to head over for a shoot now. Feels pretty familiar, doesn't it? Basically, this men's magazine is running a Mika special to try and capitalize on, the mo on her recent popularity. Apparently, she asked for me specifically to star alongside her for the shoot. wonder why. It's a trap. For real? Then should I say no? Oh, but I already agreed. Well, I guess I won't know what she wants unless I head hey. over. Have you ever been to the sky tree before? How do you get there? Let's go! Oh, and can you come with me? Actually, I've already decided for you. You're going. Come on. It's a sky tree? All right. We can go to Asakusa now. Crazy. Mmm. Asakusa means ninjo yaki. My favorite. So yummy. <sighs> All right, we made it. Wait, where is Mika? Oh, so you came from my special. You asked for me, right? Wow, I barely recognized mm -hmm. you. Did you lose weight or maybe change your makeup? The theme for today's shoot was the elegance of women. So I conditioned my body to be more elegant. What? W what? What do you mean? Controlling what you eat, how to move, that's all. It may sound easy, but it's pretty tough. You have to write down everything you eat, make sure to check the nutritional, and... I oh my god. Even hired a professional trainer to take special note of my diet and oversee my exercise regimen. Wow. Oh my god. That's amazing. Does that mean you don't get to eat double chocolate crepes? Of course I don't! I get fat from just one bite of that stuff. Not to mention the other stuff I do. Take herbal medication, wear warming socks, do Pilates and yoga, day after day. How many squats do you think I do in a week? Ugh, a natural beauty like you could never understand how much work I put into my modeling. <laughs> you know, it's kind of embarrassing getting complimented like that. <laughs> Sorry, did I say natural beauty? What I meant was natural airhead. What did you say? Who are you calling an airhead? Senpai, stop it! You're scaring me! Mika-chan, are you okay? Man, catfights are scary. Ah! 
This time, Mika chan, yeah, that's perfect. That's exactly the expression I'm looking for. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. I see now. This is a test. Well, I'm not gonna lose. <laughs> um, Anchan, could you try to be a little sexier? I mean, like this? Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, wait! But Mika, why are you doing this? I thought you looked up to me. You should have known that that was a lie. But I guess you're just as naive as you look. Anyways, stupid amateurs like you really pissed me off. Better not drag me down, okay? Oh, you're amazing, Mika-chan. Oh, you know the president of that fancy car company? Introduce me, please. <laughs> the owner even invited me to dinner. You know, working with all of you just makes me so happy. Um, um, I'm heading home. We arrive back in Shibuya. Hmm. Why did Mika ask for me? So she could show you up because you're a natural beauty. I see. Then she was just trying to be mean. If that's the case, I probably deserved everything she did. Ah! Please don't cry. I'm... I'm so pissed off! Mika had to work super hard every day to get where she is now. She worked out, washed her diet, made friends with everyone. She couldn't rely on connections like I did. She didn't become a model just for the heck of it. Her resolve, her knowledge, her fashion sense, they're all on a totally different level from me. Mika's amazing. Mika is... Mika is strong, but me? I'm nothing! Uh, just thinking about that makes me so angry. I feel like I could explode! This whole time I've just been pretending to model. It was like the clothes were wearing me. I mean, that's what I always thought being a model meant. That was totally wrong. A real model draws out the beauty of the clothes they wear. Casts a stunning magic on them. A real model is flexible, beautiful, and strong. Well, I've had enough pretending. I don't want to... I want to be a real model! Oh! Oh, shit! She's gonna be... She's... She's gonna go crazy. Right. I'll give it my all. Yes! I'm gonna take the world by storm. Just you watch, ground. Sends a heightened motivation from on. Yeah, she just said go get him Panther. All right. No way I reached rank seven with Ryuji before her. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm so mad. This is the perfect time for sweets, but no, I won't eat them. I mean, I will, but not today. You eat some for me, ground. Ground, it's me. I've been pissed since I left. I can't help it. Well, I'll say it again. I'm taking the modeling world by storm, and I don't care what I have to do to get there. Obviously, that means dieting, cutting back on food, and no matter how tough it is, I'll do any workout. Don't strain yourself. I can't ease up now. I'll never get to Mika's level if I don't go full throttle on this. This is the first for me. Actually, this is the first for me, actually, feeling this pissed off, I mean. Usually, even if I have a crappy day, I can just get over it by having snacks, watching TV, and sleeping it off. <laughs> but this time, it's different. I want to change. Tomorrow, I want to be better than I am today. Okay, gotta start my stretching session. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye! She's crazy. I don't even... Ah, you're back. Hey, hey! Over at the laundromat. Oh, yeah. <gasps> I do all kinds of chores? If you have time, request me by phone. Okay, I'm still at work. I'll talk to you later. Oh. I am picking up the phone and I am calling the Hi. services. Thank you for your call. I'm all your... Oh, it's just you. You know, I've been hearing Shibuya is getting more dangerous lately. Sure, you pass by that area on your commute to school, but don't make too many detours, okay? Um, Master? Are you hungry at all? 
Now we're offering special services like maids cooking and together with a maid? Require all, with the request to be included, it's only cost you 5,000 yen? It's a steal? Hey! Call her over! What? What? Seriously? I, I mean, thank you for requesting me! Then please wait for me, Master. I hope you have a big appetite. Master! <laughs> Not the fucking cup noodle. <laughs> well, did you enjoy the maid's cooking and together with the maid service I provided today? The high-end cup noodle really do make a difference, don't they? Um... <sighs> Man, I'm scammed. What? I can cast a magic spell that makes it extra delicious. Or would you prefer the homemade cooking next time? Although that would be an additional cost. I make the best egg rice with soy sauce. <laughs> Don't request me if you're going to complain. Besides, I thought I warned you already. Why would you request me again? B -b 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 hmm. Are you sure that's really the reason? Well, I guess I'm in no position to complain since I'm making money from it. Ugh. Oh, I'm so tired. I had a faculty meeting just the other day. Why do they have to last so long? Jeez. Thanks to the Phantom Thieves, the students have been really restless lately. Teachers can't agree on what to do about them or the Phantom Thieves. I wish they talked more about our bonus instead. <laughs> I heard they might even cut the teacher's salaries. I'm so sick of it. Your sister's bills, right? Huh? Oh, yeah, you have a good memory. <laughs> Impressive. <sighs> I'm gonna be in trouble if I don't pick up more shifts. Hmm? H Hello? What? What? How much? I can't... Yes, but... Th that's true. Sure. Yes. Yes, I understand. Yes, it's my responsibility after all. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> I'm a little behind on my sister's medical bills. Are they that expensive? Apparently it's some crazy incurable disease, so there's a lot of fees and extra charges. So I'd really help if you could request me more. Oh, never mind. You're my student. I can't keep relying on you. Ugh, what am I gonna do? Anyways, it's time for me to go! Hey, feel free to call me to do housework. It doesn't have to be through the maid service. I live close by, so I can stop over whenever you need me? I'm worried that you can't cook or do laundry because you don't have your parents? What? Oh, and if your friends suddenly come over, I can always leave out the back way. What? Now she'll just come over whenever I want? Allows you to request call coming to brew coffee or do laundry for you? All right. You can now hire her to help out at home by brewing coffee or doing laundry. She'll help you save time. What does that mean? Save time? <sighs> this isn't how it was supposed to go. In any case, I need to talk to my boss about giving me more shifts. I need to get requested more. Good night. Laundry is good. Oh, okay. Oh, is this Master? Thank you for using our service today. Wasn't my meal so delicious? Could you taste all the love I put into it? But you can't just eat cup noodles, right? You need a balanced nutri you need balanced nutrients. Maybe next time you can try some of my homemade cooking instead. Seriously though, you're still pretty young, so you need to eat properly. <laughs> Thanks. You can thank me once you start making actual improvements. Um, I mean, you're so very welcome. Um, I know this is kind of silly, but you really do need to eat healthy, okay? I mean, considering how much you spend on requesting me, you can probably afford some good food. Well, I hope you request me again sometime. Bye bye! She's so cute. Okay, quiet down. 
changing my lesson for today. Instead of regular class, we'll be reviewing last week's materials. I suggest you listen carefully. But I don't think you can slack off, okay? Absolutely won't allow it. No slacking off. Hmm. Where hmm. is she's going totally against the curriculum? All that stuff about slacking off is a little odd, too. Is this what she meant by ditch class? I thought she'd let you leave the room or something, but I guess you can't really complain. With their help, you'll be able to slack off in class on certain days, using this free time to do various things such as reading or crafting tools. <gasps> you will gain knowledge by choosing to study instead. Please keep this trade-off in mind. Kind enough to give us this free time, we better put it to what good What do you want to do? What? Speed read? Oh! Like the most classic, putting your notebook up so that the teacher can see your desk moment I've ever seen. Handling your eyes and brain separately, your efficiency. Mm. Pretty scientific approach. At least the illustrations make it easier to understand. Oh. Finish reading speed reader. Start flipping pages much faster towards the middle, so I thought you were skipping parts. I can already see you're able to read with more efficiency now. All right. Yay! Hmm. Thanks, Sensei. <sighs> Nobody wants to talk to me. Nobody wants to text me. No one wants to hang out. Nobody loves me. Makoto Yusuke, the doctor. Go see Takemi then. Can't believe my charm is still not good. Wait, how do I, how do I buy? Tea. I need to buy a tea. The fruity. On Central Street, okay. Cause time to pass, improve your knowledge. Addition, if you eat, you'll be able to improve your guts as well. Bad weather, you'll be able to increase. Hmm. I want the fruity. Studying. Oh, where is the fruity? Order it. Oh, I see. Yep. May I take your order? Or would you like to try our popular surprise sandal and nostalgic steak? Recommend our new July edition, the fruity. <laughs> Can I get food and a drink? Man. Wow. Oh. Your skin's looking healthier and moisturized? Don't tell me the fruit tea's working. Mm. Looks like you're able to get some studying done. Too much noise. Agreed. Wanna head back? Ah. 
back. My ch charm. That scared me. Hey. My charm. people in the bath yawn oh. <sighs> oh my god still One head back oh <sighs> what could that be at this hour somewhere tomorrow we've been busy lately so i want to be able to at least relax on sunday where would be a good place to go i want to try going to a fishing pond in ichigaya spawn right away to a confidence invitation without putting it on hold your relationship will deepen immediately respond to a message wait if you immediately respond to a message your schedule for that day will be filled and you will be unable to do anything else that day be sure to consider an invitation before you commit to it I want to go. Oh, I got a bite. Hope this other fish will bite this easily. That's me and Shinjuku tomorrow then. Good night. Ah! All right. You can also invite people who may enjoy fishing to hang out with you there. Furthermore, you can go yourself and try your hand at fishing if you choose. So I was thinking about the future with you as a leader, me as your right hand man. <laughs> hey, doesn't meeting in a place like this look like we're talking some shady business? I like it. You think so? Jeez, you got no energy as usual. Can't you play along? I'm starting to feel sorry for myself. Like, I'm usually a boring high school student, but when I take off my glasses, right? Come on! <laughs> Man, the fish ain't biting. The float hasn't moved at all. If only there was a master fisher around. We could steal their ideas. Whoa! You know what's crazy? Is that I think I know exactly where this this fishing pond is. Like this one that they're fishing at right now. I think I remember this one exactly. Because the yellow train in the background is the JR Sobu line and I like used to take that train so often to go to work so like <laughs> I would always I remember standing on the Sobu line the yellow one where I would just like look out the window and I would always look at this fishing place and be like I hope I hope I see men fishing today every day when I pass by for some reason I'd be like can't I hope there's people fishing and I don't know why but every time I would like look out the window at the fishing place I'd be like all right people fishing today yes or nah and like there was usually not that many people but it's cool it's cool that the fishing place that I looked at every single day <laughs> going to work <laughs> Is in the game. <laughs> She's coming this way. Jeez. Two boys at the fishing pond on a Sunday, huh? Why are you sitting around like old men? Why don't you go out and do something more exciting? Well, look who's talking. <sighs> Adults need time to themselves to unwind and clear their thoughts. You'll understand soon enough when you start working in the real world. Wow. Sounded real old there, Kawakami. 
That's Miss Kawakami to you. For real? Holy crap! Kawakami could be our master fisher ground. Looking, she's hooking fish like crazy. It's easy. Just clear your mind and free yourself from negative thoughts. So the trick is not to think. How am I supposed to do that? I mean, I feel like you already do that. Every day. Every moment. Tell me so- uh, So, if I tell myself I don't want any fish. Nope, not gonna work. I'm asking for tips because I want to get fish. Ugh, it's a nice sunny Sunday. I don't think- <laughs> I didn't think I'd be stuck fishing with you two on my day off. <laughs> two troublemakers and they're no good teacher. I guess we're perfect for each other. Whoa. She keeps getting fish even as she nags. I'm impressed. Call her Master Kawakami. <laughs> She's blushing! She's so cute! <laughs> Why was that like plus three for both of them? I can't. <laughs> Once again, it's Miss Kawakami. Wanna head back? I don't think I'd see something like that today. Guess I'll head back. Ah, you're back. Well then. Home shopping program is today. Oh, right. But I went out with your team. Bodybuilding set. Protein. Calm mind set. Probably get the protein. Hey, hey! Wow, they're both really expensive. Both sold out. Like the customer was last. Oh, I should buy the stone, but I should also talk to the reporter. Uh. You had a very abnormal destiny, as I recall. Please take a seat. <laughs> I want to purchase the holy stone. Just for 100k, you can change your fate. Mm. For that much, it better not only change your fate, but also give you incredible luck. You do end up buying one. We should go home and test it out. What do you want to do? Thank you very much. Here you go. It's a smart thing to do, considering it's the only way to avoid misfortune. Already charged with happiness aura, so you'll feel the effects right away. Don't forget to recharge it with moonlight every three days. Please stop by again and let me know how your fate changed. Goodbye. Ah. Uh. You're back. Again? I was just about to close up shop, but I forgot to turn the stove off. Guess you start forgetting things more the older you get. Hey, hey! Last time we went to that fortune teller lady, the chief won the lottery. Wonder what kind of luck we'll have this time around. Should be awesome, right? I mean, we paid for a hundred thousand yen for a holy Ow, what the heck? <sighs> How can you keep getting this thing hey, can you keep this thing a little cleaner? I can't be comfortable with all this gravel at the bottom of the wait. Ground. I have a bad feeling about this. Hey. Do you mind looking over the shop while I For real? The stone shattered. What's gotten into you? Whoa! This tastes salty. 
Holy stone is just salt. Mm. What's going on? I'm just a bit salty. You're salty? That reminds me. I was just about to head out and grab some salt for the shop. I'll be back in a bit. I think this is technically rock salt. I've seen the chief grinding some up before. Wait, in this case, maybe the holy stone is supposed to help you get better at cooking. The fortune teller tricked us. What? You're saying she scammed us out of 100,000 yen? We could have bought loads of fatty tuna with that money. No way. So the holy stone was really just a phony stone in the end. The fortune teller's name was Chihaya, right? She clearly has some kind of mystical power. But this is just unacceptable. Hey. We need to go complain to her. Turns out the holy stone I bought from Chihaya was a fake. Should go talk to her and try to figure out her true intentions. Oh my god. I can't believe I spent my DLC money on a fake! Hey! Oh no. I should just finish the book I started. Hmm? Exercises of applying pickup techniques. Keep looking smooth even if you drop the mm. ball. <laughs> oh! The Art of Charm. Just a sleazy book about picking up girls, but did have some good tips on being charming. Yes. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> we're almost at the we're almost at the station. I say that was an efficient use of your time. It's already July, huh? I hate the rainy season, but when it ends, it's just hot. Humidity is what kills me about Japanese summers. I miss the dry heat of California. Not to mention, July and August both have 31 days. Summer is long. Now then, Mr. Beef. How about you? Two people are responsible for July and August having 31 days. Do you know who those people are? This one says... August and July. So I'm gonna go with this one. This is it. That's correct. Wow. I love being smart. <laughs> you may already know this, but the months of July and August are named after Roman empires, Julius and Augustus. Augustus named a month after himself, just like Julius. Felt like he would be losing if his month was shorter than his, so he added a day. What? Mystery why men are so stubborn and prideful over silly things like this? How did you get that question? I mean, it was pretty easy. Nice going! I thought my knowledge just hit level 4 and I was be so mad. As far as you're all concerned, you're just lucky to get a long vacation. But before that, you have exams. <gasps> Don't forget they start next week on the 13th. Now then. Next Wednesday, you better make sure you study. Oh, I don't remember jack shit. <laughs> what are your plans? Simply waiting isn't very fun. People watching hasn't fared too well either. I've been in the station for a while. Poor Yusuke. I'll just ignore the shit out of him. <laughs> but he's the only one who's free right now. So, like, I might as well... Study for the bonus charm. Drink the tea. <laughs> yeah. Let's go 
drink the fruity. For you, Yusuke. Oh, poor Yusuke. There's literally oh. no one here. It's so quiet. Fruity. I'll be right back with your order. Wow. A rainy oh. day special. Mm. <gasps> Finally! All right. Nice. <laughs> Finally! My charm! Wanna head back? Now, do I go to the fortune teller and ask her what the hell's going up, or do I uh, go? You're back. Who? Kind of sure I got rid of those photos, right? That's what he said. Think we can trust him? Doubt he'd lie if he really had a change of heart. Looks like we're all clear then. Can't be sure of that just yet. I mean, he might not have had a change of heart. No, I'm relatively certain he did. That's not the issue. Despite kind of shows change, his organization remains intact. Only hope they don't, um, it's not with the photographs. I mean, like, run off with the... You mean run off with it? I guess that's possible. After all, loss of the leader does not necessarily spell out the demise of the group. Merely common knowledge. Op but the opposite sometimes hold true as well. Some groups that lack a strong, uh, guiding hand will simply crumble. This all depends on which way it goes. We'll be fine. All we can do is pray for the pieces to fall in our favor. Hopefully Kaneshiro's uh, confession motivates the police to crack down on the Mafia. Love nothing more than to see them all defeated once and for all. That part will be up to Makoto's sister. That aside, we've done everything we can for the time being. All that remains now is to wait until the results become clear. Hey! What are you planning on doing about that fortune teller? Scammed you of 100,000 yen. Yeah. Another box came for you. Thank hey. you, father. Oh. Oh man. Why she scammed me. And then next I'll go to the Shoki player. Goodbye, Mishima. I wonder how he feels when I run right past him. Hey! Let's ask her about the Holy Stone. She's with a client. Sounds like they're talking about the Holy Stone. Do you want to eavesdrop on them? Yes. Um. How are you healing? I'm fine. It's my fault anyway. Yuya said so. That he doesn't want to hit me, but it just makes him so mad. It's just that you break up with him. Things are only going to get worse at this rate. But, but I'm the only person that cares about him. If I leave, how will he survive? Please, is there any other way? Now. Let us ask the tarot. Oh, divine power, shed light upon her fate. Is this? I've seen everything. I can sense a dark presence within your boyfriend. His heart seems to be possessed by a demon. This demon may hide itself away at times, but when it strikes, it'll bring with it great misery. What kind of misery? You'll be hospitalized for severe injuries. Oh my god, suffered a domestic abuse incident and he'll be arrested. What? Hospitalized? Arrested? I knew I shouldn't have let you yet throw away Holy Stone away. I said I shouldn't be wasting my money on some dumb rock, and I should be giving it to him instead. My punishment for letting him do that, right? Please let me buy another one from you. What? W what? You want another? My next stone will need to be even bigger. I'm a little low on cash at the moment, but you said I can pay up to 36 installments, right? Um, truthfully, I feel breaking up with him would be the best. I can't abandon you, yeah. For real? She really thinks her boyfriend will stop being abusive as long as she has a holy stone? There's no way that could be true, right? It's just rock salt. Mm. Right. It would make our jobs way easier if you could really change someone's heart with a holy stone. It's clear that Jihaya has some fortune-telling skills, but that stone isn't going to do anything. Hey, Ground, why don't we change that Yuya guy's heart ourselves? 
Hurting this woman here, right? Perfect chance for the Phantom Thieves to save her. Hmm? Hmm? Meowing? What? Hey! Are you dropping on us? That's an invasion of privacy, you know. <gasps> that stone won't help her. It's not good to scam people. Oh my god. I don't want to make the other girl. The other girl is already so... She has so much hard other stuff to deal with. I don't want to say this because it's just going to make her... She already has so much to deal with. There is not. The thing is... Some fates in this world are simply inescapable. Demon within your boyfriend's heart cannot be exercised by normal human uh, methodologies. Fate is absolute. Although, I guess you might be able to control the demon's temper if you brought if you bought another holy stone. Um, I'm not entirely sure who you are, but do you know of any other way I can approach this problem? What's your boyfriend's name? Huh? His full name is Yuya Uchimura. Um, why do you want to know? What are you planning on doing? Yeah, what do you expect on change? What do you what do you expect to change with that meager information? You'll see. What? You honestly... What? You honestly believe you can do something? I... I trust you. G goodness gracious! Excuse me? Feels like he's telling the truth. Besides, Yuya has all my money. He's gonna pay me back someday. But for now, I'd rather put my trust in the one... Well, I'd rather put this... My trust in this one boy than 36 payments for a holy stone. What? You, what do you think you're doing? If you keep making false accusations like that, the divine power will rain punishment down upon you. You look so pleased with yourself. I've seen everything. Vision of you groveling on the Fine. ground. Fate cannot be changed, and I'll prove that to you. If that woman stays with her abusive boyfriend, she'll meet a horrible injury within a year's time. Now, if you honestly believe you can change your destiny, go right ahead. Once you realize the error in your thinking, come back and let a true expert handle things. I will save her with the holy stone. <sighs> well then, are we done here? I'm way too busy for this. What? This humidity is overwhelming. Oh no, he's mad. Why do you keep- why do you- why do you not hang out with me, Beef? What is- what is wrong with me, Beef? You don't ever want to hang out with me, Beef. <laughs> he came and found you instead? <laughs> well, uh... By the way, Kaneshiro's deadline is this weekend, isn't it? Change of heart draws near. Phantom Thieves will be even more renowned than before when this goes public. It's gonna get busy! True. This is true. With the added attention, we may receive more requests on the message board. I think we should take care of all the cases we have now while we still have the chance. Beef is it because I don't have red hair? Stop! Hey! That's not it. Can't just let the abuse case go unattended. Target should be a memento, so let's hurry up and deal with them. I've been thinking. So I've been thinking. Oh, I mean about the track team. I just can't do it. My brain can't handle this plan sh What? My brain can't handle this plan shit? I thought, why don't I do this my own way? Are you free to come with me right now? One second, Ryuji. Okay. I don't know why I'm so sleepy. So I'm gonna go get a sour candy to wake myself up. I'm not even joking. I'll be back soon. I am going to go and get a sour candy and wake myself up. Why am I so fucking sleepy? I don't know. Once, I'll be right back. <laughs>
What in the hell is going on? Oh shit. Oh my god. Ah! Okay. Wait a shower. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm definitely awake though. got a little piece of chocolate because maybe I needed sugar for my brain to work. I love my Bushy. Me too! First I gotta tell Nakaoka and Takeshi about that damn coach. No way the track team can make a comeback without the both of them. Let's go behind the gym. I call Nakaoka and Takeshi over here. I'm gonna tell them what that bastard Yamauchi is up to. What if they start fighting? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't realize, but I recorded Yamauchi's whole conversation back at the Monja shop. I'm a genius, I know. Anyway, uh, me I might need some backup here. Can you stick around? What do you want, Sakamoto? Takeshi? Nakaoka? What the hell? Are you guys gonna gang up on me? Nah. Dude, chill. I just wanna talk. Listen. This here is what's really going on with the track team. It'll be the rebirth of a team that found themselves in the depths of despair. The public will love it. Best part is not only are Takeshi's parents loaded, but his mother is the president of the PTA. Until then, he can show the others the value of obedience. This has to be a joke. Yamauchi said that he'd make me the captain. Is this for real? <laughs> it's Yamauchi's voice, ain't it? And on top of that, shit's gone down just like he said. Yamauchi's right. I don't have talent. I'm not like you guys. I ran so damn hard, but you two were always so far ahead. How's a guy like me supposed to succeed? How am I supposed to be proud of myself? Proud? My dad always talks about how proud he is of his son. Uh, he told everyone I'd get a track scholarship like he did. So I follow in his footsteps as a second generation Taisei gar grad. That's why I listened to Yamauchi. He said if I was a captain, he'd write me a great letter of recommendation. Come on, man. So you trusted what he was saying about Nakaoka because that stupid crap like that? Sh shut up! What does a thug like you know? You couldn't know how I feel. Nobody does! <laughs> 
I hell I don't know. How long we were running together, huh? I went through all sorts of shit with you. Sakamoto. Who are you living your life for? Your parents? Teachers? Society? Maybe you should stop trying to live for them and just try living on for yourself. I think you gotta betray people to be proud. Well, I... You're so sour. Well, if that's seriously what you think, you're wrong. Hey. Nakaoka, you knew something was up with Yamauchi too, didn't you? I mean, the bastard's never been interested in track before. But you kept quiet. You knew he was just walking all over you, and you let him do it. Yeah. I was afraid. The Yamauchi, we still wouldn't have a team. Or a place to belong. I see. You miss running that bad? You know, it isn't so scary not having a place you belong. You can kind of be free that way. Anything. I'm more scared of being a crappy person. I mean, I used to be like you guys. Afraid. Lying to myself. That's before I met this dude. I don't want to insult you guys or nothing. But I know you're probably real pissed all about all this. If you want to hit me or something, go ahead. I'm ready. In that case, if you insist. What the hell? <laughs> you're really doing it? You said it's okay, right? Wait, hold on. Oh, did you have to keep hitting swings? Did you have to keep swinging so hard? <laughs> I'm actually starting to feel a little better already. Me too. I think I can finally put all of this behind me. Nakaoka, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. Want to bring back the track team? Hell yeah. What the hell? <sighs> you saw that, right? That was some serious violence. Things turned out for the best. <laughs> oh, man. I've been taking good care of this face. Look what ended up happening to it. Well. Either way, they're probably feeling way better now. I think they're gonna be just fine together. Thanks. <laughs> Are you gonna pay me back? <laughs> what if he punches me? All I did was watch. Are you gonna pay me back? You serious? I guess I can treat you to some ramen if you're gonna be so pushy. Toppings cost extra. For real though, you were a big help. You're pushing me to be cool that whole time. <laughs> Kinda like I was doing a sprint and you were running next to me. You weren't cool though? I don't wanna say that. He is cool. That's, that's not what I meant. It was like one of the metaphor things. Of course you weren't actually running, dude. Aww. And then when we hit rank 10, we'll get married. Chance to withstand an otherwise fatal attack with one HP remaining? He's just like a Pokemon! All right. All right then. Let's Anyways, go. let's head home. I think my mouth's bleeding, so we'll have to eat ramen some other time. Aww. See ya. Later. Yo, ground is me. Thanks for the help today. Oh, man, my jaw's still kind of messed up. But it's a good kind of pain, you know? Like just after a workout? They're gonna have to handle the rest, but I think they'll make the right call. Seeing them having a real heart-to-heart -heart talk, they got a good team. <gasps> That's not what I mean! You're getting all competitive now? You're a sore loser, huh? I mean, I totally agree with you, 100%. Man, if those guys are really gonna go for this, I gotta step up my own game. I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna up my pace, so you better be ready for it. Okay, later! I'm just saying that we make a good team. Ah, you're back. Hey. I bet that beautiful shogi player is playing at the church again today. I bet so too. You really hit me with that. I can't believe this. Anyways, it's time to go visit the beautiful shogi player. 
I worked hard only for this. Hey, hey! What? Um, yes? <gasps> My overflowing charm seems to have reached her. Wow, I'm Hifumi Togo. Playing shogi at church? <laughs> Playing shogi by yourself? It's like that image- oh my god. I don't know why, but the first thing I thought of when I- You know that one image of Rouge the Bat where it's like <laughs> pissing all by yourself? <laughs> I'm doing some research, so... <laughs> what? Is it- you know that- you know that image? Pissing all by yourself, handsome? Yeah, exactly! Why? Like, I don't know! The meme? Yeah, but it's Rouge from Sonic. Why do you know it? Because I'm a Sonic fan. I know everything about Sonic. Sonic goes on adventures one, two. He. That's all I know. <laughs> Name all the Sonics. They're Sonic. There's Metal Sonic. There's Super Saiyan Sonic. There's, um, Shadow. <laughs> There's Tails. There's Knuckles. There's Silver. There's Experimenting with new tactics is the best to do alone in a place like this. I suppose that doesn't sound terribly plausible to someone who doesn't play. Don't mind me. Please go ahead and pray. Very tactical approach to playing shogi. I <laughs> feel like I can learn some tactics for the phantom thieves from her shogi expertise. I should ask if she could teach me. Do we genuinely have to play? Yes. Can I help you? Can you teach me shogi? Can I be your student? I want to be pro. Huh? Um, you don't necessarily have to learn from me, you know. There are other options, such as playing online. Damn. Sorry. I just can't. Oh. Well then. Um. So. You like Shogi? Oh! What? Um. 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 Huh? Oh, um... Thank you very much. She took it. Um... Okay, just a quick game then. 20 seconds per move, if that's alright with you. I don't know how to play! I guess I'll have to play her. I'll move the pieces randomly. <laughs> <I'll start. laughs> so this is your skill level, huh? The dragon which governs the blue sky has fallen into my hands. How do you intend to survive this? What in the heck is she talking about? Is she a Chuni? Check. It's checkmate no matter how you look at it. Please concede. Lada Yariru. To concede is an act of admitting that you have lost with grace. If you aspire to become a Shogi player, I recommend that you take your study of the game to heart. Thank you for playing. Damn. Well then. That will be all for today. If it's all right with you, may I request another match sometime? Oh. I feel 
a gambler's spirit emanating from you, which is strange, since your style of play is that of a complete novice. <laughs> you are different too. Huh? Oh, I I'm sorry. However, I will instruct you under one condition. You become my playing partner so that I can research new moves. Is that agreeable? This is just like Hunter Hunter! I met him! Except, um, less violence. Thank you very much. Well then, it's a deal. I'll teach you how to play, and you'll assist me with my new moves. Oh, shit, we made a deal. Uh-oh. I think that quite advanced strategies are necessary to succeed at that many criminal acts. Yeah, well, actually, we were just talking about anime. And yours weren't by the wit of an amateur. You had a professional who regularly deals with such tactics. You have an idea on who that is, don't you? Yeah, but it's a spoiler, so I can't talk about it. Unless you've gotten to the Chimera and Art. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the star persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing. Oh that shall shit! To this is Nina's girl! Come on, text her. Nina. I met the star in persona just now. Devil smiling emoji. I wonder if she's gonna show up in the chat. All right. <laughs> cool. Okay, let's end here for today. Sharpen my knowledge. Oh yeah, she has the same voice as Estelle. So cute. Thank you for today. Oh, beef son. I'd like to thank you once again for today. Before you head home, would you like to exchange IDs with me? No obligation, of course. Lucky me! Uh. <laughs> Wait, she likes that. Ah, yes. It went Until through. next time. Let you know if I come up with any new strategies. Wait, she liked it. Maybe she is the perfect girl for me. Okay, I didn't mean to make it look as bad as it just did when I looked at my phone and saw Anne texted me and closed my phone. Oh my gosh, she texted me back so fast. Yes, my Oshi. <laughs> Nina. Oh my god, wait, but Ryuji is free! This is why I can never get a girlfriend. I only hang out with the boys. That's what I heard too. Sup? I'm not really digging all this sitting around crap. Hey. We're gonna work out. Mm. What did yeah. that say? Yeah! Don't think it's going to deepen just yet. Ah, oh, come on. Yusuke doesn't exist? Was he there? Yusuke... Yusuke... <laughs> he exists. <laughs> I just don't know where he is. <laughs> Yusuke's given up. 
Yes, Shibuya. Feeling kind of restless. Well, I guess I should talk to An because she has her story arc right now, so. And Ryuji's story arc just finished in that last one. Just have to wait for now. Spence is seriously oh, killing yeah. me. You want to go somewhere if you have time? I mean, I gotta put my phone away. Millie really just texted me. She's like, I just want to tell you I'm proud of you. <laughs> I don't know what she's trying to say to me. Millie really just texted me out of nowhere. I just want to tell you that I'm proud of you. <laughs> what is this girl trying to say to me? <laughs> out of literally nowhere. What's happening today? Everyone's going a little crazy. No way. <laughs> I love crazy. Hey, isn't it pretty amazing? We're yeah. proud of you too? Oh my god. Thanks, guys. Amazing, isn't it? Oh my god, thanks guys. Um, want to spend some time with Lady On? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Let's go somewhere fun. Okay. Where should we go? Somewhere popular would be nice. <gasps> we can't go Suidobashi? Why not? Why can we only go to the park? This is a literal amusement park. So that's what? what? Wait, I actually can't go here? Sorry. Can only go to two places. Um. Oh no, I shouldn't go there with her because she wants to watch her diet. Weather is no good today. Let's go elsewhere. Well, shit. Okay. Don't let me eat too much. Beef? Are you falling? Beef? Beef? Are you falling in love? B Beef? And like something girly. The face beautifier? You're giving this to me? I've always wanted this. It makes your skin Thanks. so smooth. Thanks, girl. I'm starting today. I'll use this every day. I feel like I really captured Aunt's heart? I feel like my bond with Aunt will grow soon? Beef? Oh 
no. So many women are messaging me. Internet was down during the day today. Did this happen before? Servers went down because it was attacked from somewhere, I heard. I hope they get caught soon. Really causing a lot of trouble for us. I heard there's some kind of scary foreign organization. Police wouldn't stand a chance. Well, thanks for the coffee. That's so depressing. Hey. Can you find anyone who will hang out with you at school? Make sure you pick your friends carefully. Dad. I have so many girls messaging me. How do you handle it? You only give your phone number to women, right? What do I do? There's so many girls messaging me every day. I'm not used to it. Father. What do I do? Call Kawakami. Oh yeah, she can do my laundry. Service? Wait, is this one... Which one is this one? Hi! Hey! Call her from laundry? Oh. Ugh. Like the place over here? I don't remember where it was. Oh, it's right here. I think it's right next to the... Yeah. Wait, how do I call her? Okay. Put the stuff in. All right. Run it. Oh! Hi! Thanks for calling me. Wait, laundry? Did you really have to call me just for that? That'll be. Oh. What? Laundry is a piece of cake. Just go ahead and enjoy your free time. Jeez, I'm actually kind of jealous. <gasps> now I can do other stuff? Okay. Now I can hang out with another girl. <laughs> Remember our deal? Become my playing partner so that I can research new moves. I'd like to begin by teaching you the basics of Shogi. Would you like to play a match? Look at you play it now! Vanguard of my Togo Kingdom, go forth at the front lines, trample upon them all. You think, you think to protect yourself with that? Mm -hmm. Pal, paltry defense? Ha ha ha! Useless. Awaken, dragon! Let your shadowy hellfire consume them all. Dark Inferno, Brook! Can you hear them? The wailing of dying soldiers echoing throughout the battlefield? With an incompetent king, a soldier cannot show his true bravery. Time for you to suffer! At last, everything is in place. My right hand trembles as I release my full power. I summon forth the forbidden move that shall bring your end. Ultimate Excalibur attack! Check. I did it again. It's an embarrassing habit I have during a match. I, um, I tend to get very aggressive. It's 
as if I assumed the role of a queen of a kingdom. I like it. Huh? I myself find it a bit, well... My father had me do an image training exercise when I was younger to help me learn the rules. Gradually began to view the shogi board as if it were my own kingdom. I had fun coming up with stories and strategies for my, um, subjects. However, heard that people make fun of me on the internet. No! People think I'm weird, or that I'm just an otaku, or that I'm just crazy. I mean, I can't blame them. Certainly, I think I'm weird too. Have confidence in yourself. Don't worry about them. Yo, fuck what people on the internet think of you. Have confidence, baby. Yes. Positivity is a welcome relief. May have been able to learn more from our matches than I thought. Sense a deep bond of trust from her. L'Etoile. Alright. That'll do for today. Oh, there's something I wanted to mention. Do you read weekly magazines? No. I'm doing a photo shoot for one. <gasps> I don't think I should say this. I'm like an idol. When is it coming out? personality is like yet she's pretty quiet she's shy she's timid maybe she doesn't want it to come out I feel like by herself. That's true. It doesn't seem like she's feeling it. Trust your instincts. I kind of want to just ask her. Why do you ask? Regardless, they haven't decided on a date yet. So, I thought you'd be surprised if you saw it on the newsstand, so I wanted to let you know beforehand. All honesty, I'm very reluctant to do it. But if I can draw more attention to Shogi, maybe the sport will become more popular. At least that's how I'm justifying it to myself. I have an interview scheduled for tonight as well, so let's end it here for today. Man, this poor girl. All for the sport. Until next time. Hi! Thanks for waiting. Here you go! All right, see you later. Good morning. It's hot again today. It is. Konoshiro's deadline is drawing near. Oh my god, guys, it's July the 7th! Happy birthday, Kirua. We did all we could. I hope we can avoid problems now. Are you worried? Of course I am. Palaces, changing hearts. It's hard to tell what's reality anymore. Still, the only thing I can do now is believe. How do you know that? And you don't? More like, how don't you know that? Yep, yep. Oh yeah, today's Tanabata the Star Festival. Not like that means I'll put up a bamboo decoration and write my wish on a piece of paper, though. I'm not feeling it this year. Oh, but there was a traditional food associated with Tanabata just like chocolate for Valentine's Day. Do you know the answer? Alright, Takamaki-san. Tell me what's traditional Tanabata food. I'll give you a hint. It's based on a certain motif in Tanabata's myth. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, I mean... Hey, wait! 
Lady Anna is obviously panicking. Be a good guy and help her out. Traditional food? Help me out. Tanabata is about gods crossing a starry sky to reunite once a year. Might have to do something with that. The Milky Way? Gotta cross the Milky Way to get to each other. Traditional food was something inspired by the Milky Way. Pompeto! Not sure what that's to do with the Milky Way. Tanabata. Oh, no. I'm talking about Solman. Ah, 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 ah. Yes! This is it. That's correct. Traditional food, Tanabata is Solman. Tana, they ate baked goods that were called Sakube in Japanese to appease demons. Over time, pronunciation went from Sakube, Sakumen, Solman. Wholly different food. Going with the theme of calming demons, Solman on Tanabata is sometimes called demon guts. Go restore your strength with some seasonal food and get ready for your exams. Thanks! Nice no going. problem, An. Cool. Pretty good at studying, I'm impressed. Nagashi Solman. I guess so many is crazy, man. That shit goes fast. Sometimes you can't even grab them. <laughs> I guess so many goes so fast. Oh my god. You skip. Why do you always message me when the other person is so much more compelling for me? You skip. Why do you message me on the days where the other person is someone that I can't regularly speak with? Oh, right, her phone's broken. You want to get some food in the cafeteria first. Grab us some seats first. What do you bring in the cafeteria? Senpai? Sorry I called you here so suddenly. Since our talk, I've been trying to think of things besides gymnastics that I'm really invested in. Figure something out. It's this. Making bento? Yes. Yes, I can cook. We need to regulate your diet and gymnastics, so I've been making my own food a lot. I made you a bento too? Oh my god. So, anyway. This is the first time I'm cooking for someone besides my family. Definitely helped me gain my confidence back. I made this specifically with your body type in mind, knowing how much you exercise. Do you want it? It looks delicious. <laughs> and it's all yours. Chicken and eggs are to help you with fatigue. Some beans in there too, and some brown rice. Weight control is important for gymnastics. We also need to make sure that we've got energy and stamina too. High protein, low fat is usually what we go for. We also need iron to maintain stamina. Vitamin V for energy. I'm getting all focused on the gymnastic parts again. Anyways. This looks good. Let's dig in. Holy shit. Is that all for you? Of course! I need every last grain of rice. Why do you look so skeptical, beef senpai? <laughs> Guess it might look like a lot. It's actually a little less than my usual. Don't worry, I've done the math on the calories. I'll burn all of this off at practice. So, come on, senpai, you'll be done before you know it. This is delicious, yummy, yummy. Familiar flavor, but it doesn't match the food. 
I keep trying different parts, but it all tastes like the same thing. Something very familiar. Um. Are you okay? Your eyes are glazing over. It's great! Why do you sound like a robot? There's not enough flavor? I thought using too much would be bad for you. Was it too late? Excuse me. Yeah. That's the flavor I was going for. I'm trying to decide how to season these. I figured everyone likes curry, right? <laughs> so I decided to go for maximum curry flavoring? Are you not a fan of that flavor? Maybe you prefer the super spicy ones. Not exactly. I'm so sorry. I did this all wrong. I'll go get some kind of condiment to change the flavor. Once I fix it, I'm sure you'll enjoy it more. Should I get mayonnaise, soy sauce, maybe miso? Do you think Dr. Marduki will have some salt? It's okay, calm down. I should just buy something new so you can eat right now? Let's just eat. No, oh, I like curry. What? Well, thank you. Now I should really eat. Thank you for the meal. That was delicious. Thank you for completely finishing your meal, Beef Senpai. Sorry I didn't turn out perfectly. Came up with the idea of making bento, but I couldn't decide on the flavor. Either way, I'm really sorry. I'm so embarrassed. Thought it was so great when I presented it to you, and now... That's so fucking cute! Why can't my family be like this? Why is it whenever I cook for my family, they're like, God, what the hell is this? <laughs> why couldn't they... Why couldn't... Why couldn't they be like Beef who is like... It's okay, I love it either way. My family is just like... Girl, what is this? <laughs> even when I make it gross, they don't even lie and say that it tastes yummy. <laughs> That's why I'll never cook for them ever again. They can't even gas me up falsely. It was a, they don't even say it was a good try. They just say, what the hell? <laughs> So embarrassed. You can try again sometime. Thank you so much. Very kind, Beef Senpai. Next time I'll ask you what you like before I try anything too crazy. I'll go buy that super spicy Nike the sauce for next time. <laughs> um Seems like you're always helping me find a way forward, Senpai. If I didn't have you, I thought my failures get to me and end up in the same big pessimistic spiral again. Maybe this kind of confidence can help me figure out who I really am. Either way, I suppose all I can do is keep moving forward. Yes, Senpai, I hope we can help each other improve. Cute. Chat will lie for you, right, chat? Chat? Guys, I made this food for you. I don't really cook that often, but I hope you like it. Here you go. All right. Does it taste good? What the hell? <laughs> Sorry, I'm full. <laughs> Tell my family I love them. Shut the hell up. So that's why you're still single? Hey, that's not what it... That does not equal anything. I'm still single for many other reasons, additionally, on top of my not being able to cook, okay? God damn. <laughs> Don't blame it all on my bad cooking. There are many other bad points about me that keep me being forever alone. I promise. 
<laughs> now that we've gotten all our nutrients, it's time for the next phase. I don't mean to be too demanding, but I'm going to train... I'm going to train you even harder than before. Make sure you keep up. Went to the gymnasium and trained ourselves. Thanks to Kasumi's training, I feel like my stamina increased. All right. Yay! Guess we're running Maybe out of time. Some other time. Guess we'll end up here for today. Hope we can do this again sometime. At least she's self-aware. That's right. Uh, I may be dense about 90% of things in my life. But that's the one thing I'm not dense about. My flaws. <laughs> ah! Thank you for the super chats. Thank you. It's just bad luck. Don't listen to these clowns. Stop. <laughs> it's, it's not bad luck. <laughs> also not searching. I'm not I I I'm 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 not on the market right now. I'm happy. Oh my god, the screen's moving cuz I'm scrolling up in the chat. This is how yours brother feels like. I should really watch season 2 of Spy Family. <laughs> I'm what should I do? I don't think I can talk to the fortune teller until I do the... Until I do the Mementos mission, probably. Check this thing is still healthy, so I'm glad that it's unhealthy. <laughs> yes. Hey, hey. Changes with the season. Leaves. Um Skeletons hangout. Graves? Decorative pattern. Stripe. <laughs> oh, maybe actually it could be. I don't know what this one could be. Skeletons hangout? Graves? That means that this is an A. Closet? No, wait. Oh! Changes with the season. <laughs> Wait. No, there's only one L. Mm. <laughs> what could this be? Decorative pattern. If this is closet... Is this a saying? It's a saying. Decorative pattern. Oh. Changes with the season. What do you change in your season? Allergy. 
<laughs> Leaves, weather, weather. No, I could use this. Underwear, clothes. <gasps> oh. <clears throat> oh! Japanese school students change their wardrobe twice annually in the summer and the winter for comfort's sake. Said that the practice originated in China during the Edo period, people were supposed to change their wardrobes four times a year. Alright. Nice. It's like Pokemon. <laughs> Nice. Maybe you got a bit smarter. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> How many times will I say it's just like Pokemon for the rest of my life? This is not the one that I meant to click. I'm gonna pee real quick. <sighs> beef, do not react to me saying I'm gonna pee. I am not comfortable with this. Okay, Beef, you don't have to <sighs> when I... Stop, Beef! I gotta be right back. so frozen lately. Do I have enough guts? I think I need level 4. Maybe I should eat the burger. I haven't done that in a bit. Beef, shut the hell up. All right, take the challenge. Yeah. For 500 yen, you got it. I've been slowly growing my guts, so maybe. 
slowly but surely I can make it to level four. Thank you very much. <laughs> now then. 30 minute big bang challenge started. Ready? Go! They're watching me eat. This is a tough battle. Now then. Rooting for you. And remember, nobody will think any less of you if you give up partway through. Beef! Oh. You've done it again! Congratulations! <laughs> Since you managed to crush the gravity burger, I present to you the first mate badge. Wow! Burger. Oh my god, Beef committed cannibalism. <laughs> You're right. Living up to his name. Beef ate the beef. I never thought about it that way. World famous Big Bang Burger on the house. Hope you enjoy the taste of victory. First mate, one mission Please still remains. Again. Look forward to your next attempt at our challenge. I knew you could do it. You were so admirable taking on such a daunting task with that intense level of courage. <laughs> Hell yeah! Nice! Strategy of using well timed drinks in a spectacular way you devoured it. Everything was perfect. I'm so smart! Alright. One head back. The only thing that I'm not is not kind. Through eating burger, I do not gain kindness. <laughs> hey! You're able to grab a seat. Why don't we read? <gasps> um, which one did I borrow? Oh, I borrowed. I have to return it. May boost knowledge. Knowledgeable about internet crimes. Read to enrich your knowledge. Studying. Filled with kindness. Oh! Let's read this one then. <clears throat> hmm? And so... Uchiko kept waiting! Mm. But the dog makes me cry every time. Oh. You still got time to read. Let's go a little further. After his death, the statue of Buchi became a symbol of Shibuya. Not Buchiko! What are your thoughts? Dog who waited for his master in Shibuya, noble and loyal friend to the end. I have to admit, the story moved me. Can't you feel it warm your heart mm -hmm. too? Mm, Buchiko. We're almost at the station. Say that was an efficient use of your time. Buchiko. I gotta return my books and borrow another one. <coughs> yeah, it's Uchiko. That's his name. I've never watched the movie about Uchiko. I think I would be too sad. I've never watched a dog movie, actually, because I don't think I could take it. <laughs> what would you like? Thank you. What would you like? We. Oui. Just making sure. <laughs> if I watched Bolt, okay, I've watched Bolt. <laughs> the one with Miley Cyrus. I've watched. I haven't watched many dog films. I don't want to cry. <laughs> I don't want to cry, so I don't watch many dog films. Airbud? Um, no, I don't think so. Oh shit, I haven't visited Takemi in so long. Is Lilo and Stitch considered a dog film? <laughs> Do we have?
have a lobster door? No, we have a dog door. We're getting a dog. <clears throat> We're looking for something sturdy, something that won't die. Like a lobster. <laughs> My favorite scene in Lilo and Stitch is when Lilo is like praying at her bed. And she's like, please God, give me a friend. Maybe send me an angel. The nicest angel that you have. And then it immediately cuts to Stitch, like, coming out of the molten rocks. Ha 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 ha! That's so fucking funny! Things you can remember? It's iconic! Because he's, like, flying out of the sky, and he crashes, and then Lilo's like, Oh my god! A shooting star! And Nani's like, I don't think that was a shooting star. And Lilo's like, get out of my room! And then she prays. Because she doesn't have friends. And then the transition is just him being like, ha 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 ha, crawling out of the fucking hole. <sighs> Patient asked me if I, had a, uh, if I had a recommendation for a pair of reading glasses. I'm not an optometrist. Oh, is this because I have an eye test chart on the wall? Maybe I should buy stuff. Please head to the exam room. Did I press trial? What do you want? Buy items. You oh. want a shot? My God. Take your time. Let, let I feel see. like you have a different vibe going on. Take your time. Oh well, my which do you want? Goodness gracious, my God. Are you tired? Girl, I haven't said a single thing. Wait, her items are so awesome. Why haven't I bought any of these? Because I'm silly. 100 HP to all? You want that one? Why haven't I bought any of these items? How silly am I? Instead you bought 99 bread? Hey. That should work. <laughs> Here you go. Stop. Why do you have to say that? Z is better. I don't even know if I have 200 HP. Do you want that one? Thanks. Take care. Hmm? I'm gonna pass on it today. She's depressed. I have to polish up my charm? What? Oh no! Get a job. <laughs> hmm. By the way, <laughs> um. I came to see you. Please. <laughs> he hates me. He hates me. He doesn't want to talk to me ever again. <laughs> he fucking hates me. <laughs> How do I get a job in this game? Oh, what is that money? What does that money, money sign mean? 
I can't permit my son to be blackmailed. Why aren't the police doing more about it? That's been terrifying. What happened? Fortunately, he only lost a cheap wallet. Couldn't have cost more than... Oh, that's cheap?! Unimaginable for us. Shouldn't have expected nothing less from your family, though. Oh, 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 oh. my god. <laughs> Fuck. Savages. I swear to god. Oh, part-time job oh. magazine. <gasps> Raise your kindness and your charm. I have a question. What is the kindness emote? Is it a butt? Oh, actually, I think it's a heart. work at the flower shop sometimes i oh wait my charm Woo! Mm. might boost your kindness sure you want to do it yes okay let's call them right now flower shop Reflexia. would you like to order some flowers oh you saw our ad thank you we don't have enough staff so we need to help how can you work around your schedule? Just come straight to the store next time you're available. Underground shopping mall. I'll be waiting for you. Okay, I'm, I'm coming. Right now. <clears throat> Menu and select calendar. Okay. <laughs> you're gonna apply to all of them? What are your thoughts? What? Really? Oh. Okay. I think I have enough now, right? Great timing. In need of extra hands. Don't mind working at night. We're on Central Street. Hope to see you soon. <clears throat> what are your thoughts? Hmm. Wait, what did I say? Hmm. Couldn't hurt to improve your time by working in customer service. <gasps> okay. Triple Seven on Central Street. Calling about the job opening. I'll get the manager. Student, right? Schedule around the days you're available. I need to raise my charm. <clears throat> All right. Day job. Job detail. Let me work. C gain charm from customer service. Do I just go? Do I just go there? Soothing hey. Soba is now on sale. Aren't you a part-timer here? <laughs> charm will improve. What do you want to do? I want to work. Raise your charm by learning how to handle customers. Do you want to work this part-time job? Are yes. You? Apply for the part-time job and call the manager. Wait a moment. Do I get to wear the pink shirt? Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you. So you're ground beef. You apply for the job, right? Asking you to wear cash register. Please watch your coworkers and learn the ropes. I'll do m thank you so much. You can count on me. Alright, I expect you to do your best. And we paid more for the days you work especially hard. It. Good luck. Wow. Wow. She's really good. Look at that service. <sighs> I had a lot of customers today. Campaign were only extra points on any day of the month with a seven. Nice to meet you. I'm Nanami Shibuya. What? I guess I'm your senpai. Did watching me give you an idea of what to do? Perfect. <laughs> How promising. In that case, I'll expect great things of so, you. So? Let me give you one pointer. Remember where the barcodes are? That alone will save you a ton of time. How about I test you while we're on the subject? You know, cow's milk, triple sevens brand's milk. Can you tell me where the barcode is? Um, near the trivia section, duh. It's actually right next to the logo. Fuck! <laughs> I didn't mean to act like a big shot senpai. Little bits of knowledge like this that'll help you keep your cool when good it counts. Today. Sorry to keep you. Hope you're. I know you're tired. Have a good rest of your day. Hey, no! Senpai has some great tips. 
Every month, more customers will come to the shop on the days that end with a seven. Skillful handling these customers be able to improve your charm. Good work today. Learn how to be more considerate of others through dealing with customers. Oh, man. Wanna head back? Oh, my God. I got an achievement <laughs> with beef standing at the register. <laughs> You're almost done, right? Let's, go. <laughs> Let's get your pay and go home. You get paid right after your shift? What the hell? This is the best job ever. <clears throat> Ah, you're back. Deadline's tomorrow. We're gonna be okay? Oh, shit. Pictures, I'm so used to living. I've been playing this game for four hours. We've been streaming for four hours, and now we are finally at the part <laughs> where Kaneshiro's gonna get busted. I can't believe we have lived a life normally for now four hours, and finally we are going to now enter the part where he is going to confess his crimes. The lore is finally about to happen. <laughs> Four hours and you haven't hung out with Yusuke? That's a lie. Four hours and I hung out with Yusuke one time because that is how I even got his, okay, his ar 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 arcana to begin with. Because Yusuke, I didn't know that I didn't have his arcana to begin with because I thought that we had it because I became his friend and I thought that when he, you know, woke it inside of Madarama's castle that maybe he uh, gave it to me automatically just like you know how Ad and Ryuji did it too. But no, this guy is so extra that I didn't get his arcana because I had to go and talk to him. Which one is he? Uh, Emperor. Oh, fuck. No. Yes. Woohoo! <laughs> That is, we're able to trust what Kanashiro said. Don't say such scary stuff. We can't relax just yet. He may still end up released from police custody. For real? That is, unless they have decisive evidence like a confession. It'll be fine. True, there does seem to be some movement. Sis actually sent a message saying she won't be home tonight. Chance that the police have found their breakthrough. Oh, does that mean it happened? Timing is perfect. I guess let's just hope for the best. I'm gonna stay up all night watching the news to find out. <laughs> so fucking dumb. <laughs> I'm gonna stay up all night watching the news so that I can... I can see the, the first second it happens. It is Friday. Might as well do, you know... Hey baby, let me use my first paycheck. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god, I have, I'm running out of money! What the hell? All because I bought this stupid salt! I'll come and clean my room. Seems to be thankful that I requested her. Maybe there's a way to make sure Kawakami has a good time. That's right, something that she might like. Considering, I feel like she'd be happy to receive something that would improve her life. I think she would hate this. She might need it. I think she would kind of hate it. Model. Wow, they're able to make things so much smaller Thanks. these days. This is a really nice present. Thank you. What? Feels like I really captured her heart. Feel like my bond with her is gonna grow stronger soon. Thank you for using our service. Oh my god, she liked it. Look at all those police cars. Did something happen? Looks like they're searching the premises. Another psychotic breakdown? I can't handle this. Does it have something to do with those posters we saw? Did they arrest the phantom thieves? Quite contraire, Mina-san of the city. 
Phantom Thieves. Arf we! Heard they caught some criminal. People are saying it was foretold by a calling card. Oh my god, our percentage went up by 10. Oh, I know about that. I saw them in Shibuya. Phantom Thieves form is super active. There's a form? What's it called? I want to see! Beef goodness pog. Oh, man. Welcome back to Beverly Sheets. Thank you, thank you. Yes, he is. Welcome back, thank you. It's so hot. Who cares? Did you catch the news reporting this morning about the mafia boss getting busted? Apparently someone scattered calling cards across Shibuya just before his arrest. More like three weeks before his arrest. Remember the Kamoshida scandal? They say the same thing happened, that someone left a calling card. Not around me too, if I'm not mistaken. Do you think it's the Phantom Thieves? If so, I'm impressed. I can't believe they actually steal hearts. No matter how hard they looked, even our organized crime department couldn't catch Junya Kaneshiro. <laughs> well, I guess it is, you know. <laughs> and yet he simply turned himself in, even confessed all his crimes. <laughs> Phantom thieves. Skill is it issue. A to manipulate someone's heart. <laughs> Depending on the means, yes. yes, yes. He's absolutely, He's absolutely right. right. Even, Even if it if makes it someone admit, admit their evil their deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes. I hope she hasn't fallen under their influence. <sighs> she hasn't fallen under our influence. She's one of us! You know that video where it's like, are you seriously watching VTubers alone? No, I'm with the boys. That's sigh, like, are you seriously a fan of the Phantom Thieves? No, I'm one of them. <laughs> That's what you get, bitch. The one that Luxium did? Yeah. <laughs> now everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Member Seas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Heard the leader of the crime ring that was causing trouble in Shibuya got caught. Seems like some of the students have been victimized by them, so we can breathe easy for now. Thankful to the police for arresting the perp, even though they're just doing their job. By the way, purpose police slang. You might have heard the stars in police. Should you say it? Short for perpetrator. Speaking of stars, can you answer this question, Beef Son? Are you kidding me? Give me an answer. Some of the angles. Some of the angles A through E is the same as the sum of interior angles of certain shape, 180 degrees. Do you know what that shape is? What in the hell? 180? This is it. Very good. Thanks. <laughs> so interior angles, triangles will always equal 180 when it's in the I don't even know what that last word said. Really? Wow. I'm so smart. Nice going. Oh my God. Thanks, guys. Acute triangle plus acute... I mean, acute angle plus acute angle. <laughs> plus acute angle, bitches. By the way, there's rumors that the Phantom Thieves took down the perp, this time Kaneshiro. Madarame, their name with a bit of... Wait, I remember their name with that bit on Madarame, as well as the incident in May. Is this a new urban legend? Anyways, please prepare for your test starting Wednesday. Don't get distracted by rumors like that. Yep. Looks like we succeeded in changing Kaneshiro's heart. A lot of people are talking about the fan of these too. Hell yeah! Kaneshiro finally confessed! Guys, I keep telling you, please stop yelling in the middle of Shibuya Station. People have been making a huge deal of it since the police announcement. 
it's difficult to accept that the authorities are taking all of the credit for his arrest. Fuck em. People are going nuts about the Phantom Thieves online, though. Look! It's all coming together for us. Oh, this is quite the turnaround. All of a sudden, people are expressing their long-standing belief in us. What fakes? They're all fake. Long-standing beliefs? So this is why Makoto told us to post the calling card anywhere that might stand out. Pretty smart move on her part. Oh, where is our amazing Miss President? Hello? It's Makoto. My apologies, but I, I won't be able to join you today. Uh-oh. I've been called into a meeting with the principal. <gasps> why? There's no need to worry, though. More importantly, there is a special on TV about the Phantom Thieves. Are they catchy? Huh? What did it say? No. They were talking all about our calling cards. For real? Anyway, my apologies about today. I'll have to see you all another time. Who was that? Really? Oh, that's freaking crazy! I hope all this excitement doesn't place us in the police's radar. It'll be fine! No way they'd find out about that weird other world. Oh man. I don't know why, but I suddenly had like a moment where like, I wish I didn't live in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I live in the middle of nowhere! Where it's really hard to like go around and there's like no accessible like transportation or no like anything so like i wish i didn't live in the middle of nowhere where there's literally no transportation or anything because i feel like it'd be so fun to go out with your friends like this and like be able to just so easily meet up and go out with your friends all the time <sighs> but if i ever want to if i ever want to meet with friends i always have to like figure out a way to get there otherwise or my friends have to offer to like car we have to offer for car or can you drive um i have a license but like i wouldn't trust me driving if you know what i mean <laughs> it's so hard living in the middle of nowhere i feel like it'd be so fun to be able to go out like this so easily accessible True, do you remember what the fake Kaneshiro said towards the end? Another metaverse user. Yeah, he said we're not the only ones who are doing it. Eh, not gonna let it bother me. As far as we know, he was just pulling that shit out of his ass. I hope that's the case. Anyways, in your face, Akechi. <laughs> Now, what do you want to do about our next target? Don't get ahead of yourself. Some of my friends used to live close to my university, so I've been in state and I'm coming out of state. Oh, we'll talk to my she's Thank you, thank you. Living in Tokyo is paying for introverts, trust me. Thank you for the super chat, thank you. I think I can get that because it's so easy to go places. Like Japan, for example, or Tokyo especially, because it's so accessible. Like, if you don't feel like going out, <laughs> it gets harder because people are so like, Yeah, come on, you only have, it's only gonna take you this time like this. Someone who can't drive 100% get you. I know, right? Man, it'd just be nice to have super accessible transportation everywhere. I feel like then I would be more inclined to go out and have more fun. But because I live in the middle of nowhere. I just stay inside and stream for nine hours. Still, people might expect a lot from our next move, considering how excited they're getting. We can't just pick any old schmo now. <laughs> there is no need to hurry, though. Counting Kamoshida, we've claimed three consecutive victories, right? We should just lay low and wait for all this excitement to blow over. In that case, how about we have another celebration? Are you saying failure of public transportation made you a weeb? No, even if I had good transportation, um, I would still be a weave. Oh, good idea! We can make it a welcoming party for Miss President, too! By the way, that briefcase, it's pretty damn expensive! Let's sell it and drop the cash on our party! Wow! 
seems like the lay low and wait idea has gone completely out the window. So we can count you out then, Morgana. Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> I was just saying we should try and keep our party on the down low. <laughs> That's the spirit. Well, I'm gonna let Makoto know. Why are you calling Hi, her? Makoto, there's something we forgot to tell you. So, oh. What's wrong? Hello? I hope you remember we have finals <laughs> next week. Yusuke and Morgana excluded, of course. If you wish not to stand out, you had best not get bad grades, okay? That is something I simply would not be able to overlook as student council president. Uh-oh. For now, behave and concentrate on your studies. We can have fun once finals are over. Understood? She's right, though. <sighs> She's right, though. Care to explain? I believe in what I wrote. The Phantom Thieves are just. Ah! Have you figured out who they are? No, I'm nowhere close. However, after considering all the facts, I concluded there are no errors in their acts or principles. Shit! Thus, upon deeming them to be on the side of justice, I have decided to end my investigation. Oh, shit! But that's impossible. Impossible? May I see the evidence you have that leads you to believe so? I was just speaking to the director of a prestigious college about your letter of recommendation, too. Yeah, right. No shot you were. There will be no need for that. I intend on getting into a good college by my own merit. Oh, girl and bossing? Please excuse me. Oh, shit! Hey, we're not done here. See ya, Humpty Dumpty looking ass. Sir, it's me. I apologize for bothering you like this. About that. Yes, I am making progress. <laughs> However, I have stumbled upon some difficulties. Still, why would someone as important as you be interested in a petty case like this? No, that's not what I meant. Who's I the will sir? investigate with all the resources available the to me. The gray haired me. guy? Makoto's sister's boss? Of course. Um, I should be able to let you know relatively soon. Yes, I will bring good news. Uh, well then, uh, thank you for your... Ah, oh, damn. Damn it. Maybe somebody who's funding the school? I don't know. I'm home. Hey. Hi, sis. She's so cute! Oh my god! You look tired. Is everything okay? Don't worry about me. How about you, Makoto? Have you been keeping up with your studies? Yes, finals are next week. Yes, of course. Though, what is the point of studying? <laughs> what? What do you mean? I was just wondering what will be waiting for me at the end. Even if I manage to push through tough entrance exams, I'm still thrust into a competitive society. What else is there besides success? Don't ask me such childish questions. Isn't this the man the Phantom Thieves sent a calling card for? I heard he confessed all his crimes. Even the police couldn't figure out why. It really was out of nowhere. This would only make sense if his personality changed. That would be impossible. Why does it matter? The police still caught him in the end, right? I had plans set for a promotion, but no one can take credit for his arrest now with that confession. Not that a child would understand. Shut the hell up! So she was pursuing the case after all. Promotion. You've changed, sis. But I'll be okay. I finally found a place where I belong. <laughs> Back. <laughs> the 
this reaction is incredible. I'm honestly shocked to see it. It's only natural that people are surprised. Even the police were struggling to catch him. Yeah. By the way, you said you were called in by the principal. Did something happen? It's regarding my investigation on the incident with Mr. Kamoshida. Don't worry, I didn't mention a word about any of you. Essentially told them I was unable to find any information. Are you gonna be okay? I will. I've graduated from my role as the... Exam <laughs> exempla exemplary honor student. From now on, I'm going to be more honest with myself. It feels quite refreshing. What are you gonna do now? Wanna stay with the Phantom Thieves? That's my intention, assuming it wouldn't be any trouble. Welcome aboard! It'd actually be a big problem if you didn't stick with us. We should allow her to join us. It would be greatly convenient. Well then, I hope I can continue to get along with all of An you. Advisor, huh? <laughs> This new teammate of ours is pretty promising. We'll be able to do even more now. <laughs> what is this message header? This one is also bad too, but I can't deal with this. I'm alone right now. <laughs> Both of them so awful. <laughs> I'm alone right now. Showed you right now. I found myself with a bit of time on my hands. Be so inclined. Perhaps we could meet here and we could chat for a while. It's Becky, the maid who shakes with desire to see her master. Comfort you again today, starting at only five thousand yen. Sure you know, but I didn't get requested tonight. Be great if you could request me. Oh god. We can play a match right now if you'd like. I'll instruct you while we play. Oh! I could choose, like... Pretty... Rare com he doesn't really message me as much as the other characters, so... I found a respectable cafe here in Kichijoji, don't worry, my treat of course. What a man. <laughs> what a gentleman. <laughs> He's all alone. <laughs> I shouldn't have taken this one. Cake here is fairly popular. I've been wanting to try it myself. Got a sweet tooth, huh? Well, I don't hate sweets, but I'm not exactly partial to them. Bads tend to be fairly similar, so I'm more curious about its popularity than its taste. Why don't we give it a try? It looks like milk mm, It was, was quite nice. It was delicious after all. I actually enjoyed that more than I thought I would. Hey, look, isn't that him? Oh, you mean the guy who's on TV these days? Who was he again? Wasn't his name Akechikun? You know, the next generation detective prince? Should we ask him for an autograph? Might be something worth bragging about. Uh-oh, looks like I've been spotted. I can shoo them away? <laughs> should have figured. Your life must be so hard. Oh, I'm used to it, but I don't want to cause trouble for the store. Huh? Someone important here? Who is it? <gasps> is it a celebrity? Looks like I'm out of time. I wish I could have relaxed a little longer, though. We should go. <clears throat> Is, oh, he's nice though. He doesn't want to cause trouble for the store. So he wants to leave. That's so cute. Um. He's done nothing wrong. Hmm. Sorry, but I think it's best to leave. I'm only going to cause problems if I stay. Shame I don't have glasses like you. Maybe I'd be able to get out of this situation. <gasps>
Uh, hold on a moment. What are you doing? Is he gonna put his glasses on him? Oh my god, he looks so fucking dumb. <clears throat> oh, he's back. This time I'll get his autograph for it. Hey, is that boy really a Ketchikun? You know, now that I see him up close, I'm not sure. Maybe you were seeing things. I don't remember the show too well, but I'm pretty sure he didn't look like that. Aw, if he was the real thing, I could have bragged about meeting him. <laughs> Ground pork. <sighs> Can't believe you actually did that. I suppose I'd better learn to watch what I say around you. <laughs> what? If I'm ground beef, then he's gotta be ground pork. You look great. It was a necessary evil. I should have taken a picture. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Are you familiar with the legal rights of a portrait or privacy, perhaps? What? Still, there's no knowing how things may have gone unless you give it a try. Hmm. Thank you. I think I've learned a valuable lesson. Ground pork, I'm dying. <laughs> Welcome back to Memory Seas. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he's sensing his gratitude towards me, everybody. I can't believe you can become three. You can become rank ten with this guy. There's no way. All right. How do you have that much time to hang out with him if he never contacts you? Looks like our coffee's gone cold. Why don't we order new ones? Oh, we're still hanging out. I'll see, see you, you later. Next time. Hello, it's a shame our discussion was interrupted today. I was rather enjoying having a breather with you. But you certainly surprised me today. I can't believe we got out of that with such a basic trick. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It was an interesting experience, but I definitely don't want to go through that ordeal ever again. Saw firsthand what happens when I'm too careless with my words around you. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I hope you're not being serious. Though if you mean it, any interest in becoming my stunt double? You can dress up as me. You and I are terribly different in height. I'm sure my clothes would fit you. If we do this, we'll have to be carefully planned, of course. We're dictating everything from hair to accessories. Nobody would notice the switch, I'm sure. We proved it today. Most people can see beyond the superficial. Whoops. I have an early start tomorrow, so I'll have to excuse myself. See you soon. What is wrong with this guy? <laughs> what? <clears throat> Don't be ridiculous. This new ally you gained was Makoto? Yeah. Just tell me the truth. suddenly gone quiet, huh? That's preposterous. If what you say is true, was Makoto also running from the police when you were arrested? Now that I think about it, she did start talking a lot about the investigation from summer onward. <sighs> this is my dot 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 arc. Makoto aside, you mentioned one other important detail. Did Kaneshiro really say there was someone using the metaverse besides the Phantom Thieves? Those words could just be taken as you <coughs> shifting blame to this other person, you know. <laughs> but why would you fabricate such an elaborate story and then shift the blame elsewhere? There are two possibilities. Either you've simply been trying to confuse me with your lies, or everything you've stated is true. Have you been telling me the truth from the very start? I have no reason to lie. Does that mean you're placing your trust in me? 
Then again, I am investigating a thief who steals hearts. Very well. No matter how absurd it may seem, I'll reevaluate my stance on believing you, for now. In return, speak the whole truth and nothing but the truth. It's a fair deal. Is that acceptable? I made a deal with her. What? I am thou. What? Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion what? that break it by chains of captivity. With the birth of the judgment persona, I had no I have what? The winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Oh my god. My brain is hurting. How come we just made a deal, but what I'm talking about is the past? So now I have her persona, but I'm retelling what happened. All right. We're running out of time. Let's move on to your next target. You can't add her to your harem. <laughs> Actually, I should rephrase that. They targeted your group first, didn't they? Who's the identity they? of your opponent is this. M Med Jed? We have no pictures. Even their names and identities are unknown. If what you told me is true, then this nav thing you've mentioned wouldn't have worked in this case. How did you target them? Tell me everything. Is this like a Twitter? Phantom thieves have uh, uh, phantom thieves. <laughs> the phantom thieves <laughs> made him have a change of heart, right? Seriously, the phantom thieves are amazing. So cool how they steal people's hearts. How do they make them repent? I'm really curious. Who are they? Hey, you're there, right? Come downstairs. Hey, check the ingredients in the fridge. They have enough to make some curry? Oh, oh, oh. Hey, what's up? Huh? It's not right? Not cute. That was the one the staff recommended to me, though. Won't that printer do? Huh? It'll do, but it's not it. Printer? Okay. I'll be right over. You know Medjet if you played FGO? There's absolutely no way. Welcome back to Member Sheesh. Thank you, thank you. <sighs> this might take a while. I'm leaving the store to you. There's absolutely no way. Actually. Lock up for me if I don't what? come back. Going on a date? Something like that. <laughs> What a handful. And that concludes the latest news on the suspect Kaneshiro. This case is said to be a result of the Phantom Thieves' actions, but what do you think? We don't know their methods, but I believe they are a menace that will threaten this law-abiding country. This dangerous group tampers with people's hearts. It's no different from brainwashing. I see. You're absolutely correct. I wonder what's going on. Didn't this happen a little while ago, too? Who was it again? You know, that famous artist. Mm. Ah, uh, Madorame, was it? So you're telling me everything comes from either Pokemon or FGO? <laughs> Welcome back to Member Shoes. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> they punished those awful people, didn't they? The Phantom Thieves aren't at fault, then. It's true. Well, that may be true, but... Don't you think so too, dearie? The Phantom Thieves aren't doing anything wrong, are they? Of course they're not. See, even he says that they're doing good. Oh my, look at the time. We should probably head home. Ah, you're right. Thanks for the drink. 
No problem. Yes. I've received the reports on Kaneshiro's case. But to think the Phantom Thieves would honestly attempt an absurd idea like social reform. Uh, you're absolutely right. I'm not pleased about the general public support of them either. Sorry, we're high schoolers. We can't think that much because we're kids. There's also the danger of the metaverse being exposed with their continued actions. What? Actually, there is one countermeasure he brought in that seems usable. It involves having the Phantom Thieves destroy themselves without our direct intervention. Who's he? We'll set things up so that those mental shutdown occurrences are their doing. <gasps> ah, I thought as much. I had a feeling that it was too brutal for it to be his own idea. Still, I think you'd go through such elaborate detail to crush them. Their actions must be that much of an eyesore for you. I sympathize with what you're going through. Well then, I'll clean this up quickly and put it behind us. Yes, a grand undertaking like social reform is beyond a group such as the Phantom Thieves. Only a select few are worthy of changing the world. And who better than the future Prime Minister, sir? The future Prime Minister? That's who he's on the phone with? Oh my god, is it the bald guy? If you're bald, you're probably talking to another bald. It's Ryuji. Hey, it's me! Where you at? What you doing? <laughs> what you doing? Where you at? You got plans? Don't say that. <laughs> I'm watching the store. Gotcha. We're gonna come over right now about the, uh, <laughs> you know what. See ya. Okay. What's up? We're here to hang out. Oh my god, everyone's here. That's not why we're here. We need to study for finals. Oh. <sighs> why am I here too? You're one of us now, so of course you gotta help us. We're in trouble if you don't teach us, you know. That's right. We need to study. Even you're saying such things? Let's leave those guys be. <sighs> I couldn't ask the last time I was here, but what is this place? The storekeeper doesn't seem to be around. It's a cafe. It's where this guy lives. He's got complicated circumstances. We can tell her about it, right? Actually, tell yourself. I was arrested. That's... that's terrible. On Yusuke and me are pretty much the same too. I mean, it's not as bad as this guy's though. It's just something we can't ever put up with. That's why we all became Phantom Thieves. Hey, don't forget me. Oh shit, I actually forgot about you. I know, I know. <laughs> We're all part of the team. By the way, Makoto, ain't there someone you can't forgive either? Like, a heart you want to change? That's a secret. Ah, there's someone like that. You could just tell us, you know. You don't gotta be so cold. That aside, do you have any intention of studying for the exams? Not really. <laughs> no! It's fine if I leave then? No, no, I'm just joking. Please teach us. Why doesn't she want to hang out with her friends? Hmm. What was this term? It's phobia, so it's a fear of some kind. I love, I love how Yusuke is just the one who has to sit on a chair on the edge. Like, <laughs> it's so, it's so fitting because he's the only one I don't hang out with. And he's the one that gets pushed onto the edge, into the chair. I wish that Beef just sat on the chair instead. Let Yusuke sit on the couch. I think it's a fear of open spaces. You don't hear it that often though. Leave vocabulary and long sentences to me. I suck at proper grammar, though. Duh, even if we study English, it's not like I'm gonna use it in the future. When it comes to you, your Japanese is questionable, too. <laughs> uh, shut up! Explain the writer's feelings? What point is there in that? 
Oh, it's impossible. I can't memorize all these formulas. Ain't there a good way of cheating? <laughs> In front of Why the don't we take student a break? council president, you're like, man, I wish there was a good way to cheat on my exams. And that was the follow-up report on the suspect Kaneshiro. Now, Akechi-san. <gasps> this case is said to be the result of the Phantom Thieves' actions, but in actuality, is this true? Considering how a calling card was scattered about, I believe there's no mistaking that. The question is what the Phantom Thieves actually did. <laughs> if they tampered with the suspect's heart, it casts doubt on the authenticity of any confession. So then, by tampering with hearts, the Phantom Thieves are fabricating crimes that may not exist? We can't deny the possibility. There's no doubt that the Phantom Thieves are exposing hidden injustices in society. However, if this is done by sidestepping the law, their way of thinking is very dangerous. So, in a way, they're outlaws? Yes. They're no different than the criminals they target. This cannot be overlooked. I see. Oh, I see. My ass. <laughs> Why the hell are we being treated as the bad guys? <laughs> Just let them say whatever they want. More people are starting to understand that what we're doing is right, after all. When I'm walking around in town, I hear a lot more people talking about us, too. And the forum's been full of hype. Do you think we made it big time? Don't get pompous over dealing with some street thug. Save it for after we deal with a bigger target. Damn. We just gotta take down a bigger one, yeah? That was the plan from the start anyways. How ginormous do they want to go? True. It may be best if we start thinking about it. I bet we'll find one in no time. The wind's blowing in our direction and everything. I feel like we won't lose to anything right now. Well, we'll decide on that eventually. We need to overcome our exams first. The world? Now then, break time's over. Let's get back to... That reminds me, the celebration party. Weren't we gonna do it after exams? <laughs> yes, but the exams aren't over. Yes, I believe so. Where should we go? I feel like I'll study better if I got something to look forward to. <laughs> oh, he's just like me for real. <laughs> the last one was a buffet at a hotel. We haven't gone anywhere since. Hmm? A buffet? Where would be good? Oh my god, no, poor Yusuke, we didn't do anything with him! We didn't, oh wait, 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 we did, we did, we did hot pie, we did hot pies, okay, we did hot pie. Oh, we didn't take him anywhere fancy, we just ate hot pie in the attic. Hey, what about fireworks? A fireworks festival! <gasps> oh yeah, it's that season, huh? That'd be so cute! We didn't even do the hot pot he wanted, yeah, we never, we never got to eat the udon! <laughs> That sounds good to me. It's hard to ignore a buffet, but I'll take the beauties of summer. <laughs> he wants to eat more than he wants to see the girls in Yukata. Yusuke, don't take this away from me! Still, I demand that we feast during the festival as well. Yusuke, okay, okay. Let's just have a handshake emoji. I agree with this, but Yusuke, you can't take away the opportunity of me seeing the girls in the Yukata. You can't, or else... I'm so mad at you, I'll never level up. I'll never, I will never reach past rank one with you ever. Do you guys own a Yukata? Will you wear a Yukata? Doesn't a fireworks festival sound good? I, you think so too, right? It's a great idea. All right, fireworks festival it is. Let's look for a good one. Study comes first though. I won't let you off if you fail any of them. Are we clear? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Oh, stop it. All right, fireworks festival it is. Let's look for a good one. Why the hell are they listening in? This is like the only character that I really knew because she's so popular. Study comes first, though. I won't let you off if you fail any of them. How are, are they hearing this? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Girl. Mm. <laughs> 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 
Hey, so there's this dangerous, almost psychotic blog I found that hasn't ended up on the forum yet. That's all it says. Rumor has it that she's talking about her boyfriend. Where? Sounds dangerous and scary as hell. Seems like she'll do something really bad someday, right? And it gets even worse. As it turns out, she's a Shujin student. Another girl named Yumiko Mogami. She's always up near the classroom on the second floor. I have to do something before it gets oh. worse. And the sheriff's change of heart has probably opened up some deeper parts of mementos. Let's make some time and talk about it at the hideout. Oh my god. That's so scary! Known each other for three months now. You guys have really improved a lot since we first met. Wait, it's only been three months? This felt so much longer. Wait, was was Mona sitting? Thank you for the five gifted member C's! Thank you! Oh no, I can't. I can't leave. Time to clean. Hey! Moments of calm. Well then. Nya, 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 nya. Oh. A mirror right in front of me. That's where. Nice. Mm -hmm. Three months since I started playing it? That makes sense. Pretty nice, clean environment. I can't leave the. That should do it for now. I can't leave. Because Mona will be like, don't you want to rest? So I might as well just clean. Hey. Long and I expected we should go to bed once we clean up the rest. Wonder what the Phantom Thieves' goal is. They're just choosing bad people to steal hearts from? Maybe someone's asking them to do it. Yeah, they don't have a form or something? What if you make a request on there and they follow through? What a refreshing morning. How are you doing? I didn't expect the Phantom Thieves would suppress a man that even the police had trouble with. Can you believe that I had already taken this man's heart at that time when we went to the cafe together at Ketchikun? Actually, both times that we met, I had already taken his heart. So... yeah. The fact they have so much support online is worrisome. I'm in a bind since I previously denounced them. All the interviews these days ask me about that. Still, can we really say the Phantom Thieves are on the side of justice with just this example? What do you mean? I was originally investigating the mental shutdown incidents. People change suddenly and cause strange accidents or horrible crimes. Don't you think it's similar to the change of heart that the Phantom Thieves are doing? I'm going to open your briefcase. Hmm. Now that I think about it, their actions mirror the mental shutdown cases with the rate of victims. I'm going to open your briefcase and have the contents spill out and make you clean up after yourself after I walk away. It's impossible not to see a connection there. Stop! Ah, sorry. I don't want to make you late. I'll see you again. I am going to flip open those little switches and everything is going to pour out. <sighs> what if it's empty? <laughs> That'd be even better. Even more packed than usual today. <sighs> now for today's train news. Today's headlines are Shibuya's crime rings. Shibuya crime ring reveals all. Leaders confession has led to the arrest of other key members. Sudden rampage, highway accident, the driver's death has been confirmed, taking total count up to four. No. Pause Balls of Tokyo, come see the summer fireworks show on July the 18th. I see. That's where we're gonna go! Thanks to Kanishio's filling the beans, the organization is falling like a house of cards. Hee hee hee, we're getting more and more famous.
Mark. Okay, something. let's get started. Tests are coming up. Everyone's studying. I know some of you rely on all-nighters, but I can't recommend it. It really messes up with your information retention. Speaking of, do you guys know the difference between short-term and long-term hmm. memory? Simple answer is that short-term memory is more temporary. Contextual. The long-term memory sticks with you. In the short term, you're working with a hard limit. You retain only six, maybe seven pieces of information. But your brain's capacity for long-term memory is huge. Might even be infinite, according to some theories. How about Okay, you? so B, what do you think about this? Short-term memory only sticks with you for seconds at a time. That said, how long do you think you can retain long-term memories? Um... This is a tricky one. What is a long-term memory anyways? Memories of vocabulary terms last a long time. Memories of your whole life. Man, I don't have long-term memory or short-term memory or any memories. Something like that. Keep them for a long time. The question is how long? Mention something about the amount of memories you could store, right? Something like infinite. Theoretically, infinite space for them, then theoretically, you'd be able to retain them for forever. I think nice. so. Long term memories will never really fade this away. Is it. That's right. Sorry, I'm impressed. Basically, stuff encoded into your long term memory never really goes away. Short term memories become long term memories through. Ah, uh, reiteration. It'd be great if you could encode all of the test answers to long term memory, huh? Oh well, can't always get what you want. Oh, He's pretty smart. I didn't expect that. Nice going. Yeah, I am. <laughs> At least you got summer break once the exams are over, so do your best to study, okay? Memories never really go away. But that means I'll remember my past eventually, right? True? That's one way to look at it. Marine Day. Finals end on the 16th, so that should be good, right? What are you talking about? The fireworks festival. You're really quick to look up stuff like that. Impressive, Yuji. It's easier to work when you got a goal in mind, yeah? Hey, we're in the middle of class. Talk about those things later. Yeah, yeah. Hey, are you <gasps> listening? Pay attention. That's how you listen when someone's talking to you. I feel a murderous intent. Oh! No way. Beef dodge and then like put his hand on his fucking cheek and just like took a little nappy. I can't believe he dodged Ushimaru's throw. Is he a ninja? <laughs> Whatever. Moving on. Hey! Oh, you got your entire class's attention. Your charm has definitely increased. <gasps> yes, that's what I need. My charm to go. Oh. Oh my god, that scared me. Hey! Ground gun! I'm heading home? Rare running into you at this hour. That reminds me. Reminds me, do you remember the counseling Dr. Maruki offering? Seems to be growing quite popular. I saw someone heading into the nurse's office just as I was leaving the school. Teachers say he's been well worth his time here, but I have a feeling there's more in his popularity than just talent. <laughs> Maybe I should find out for myself at some point. What about studying? <laughs> Naturally, that'll happen when I get home. It's part of my daily routine. Excuse me. I appreciate your concern, but how about yourself? Depending on the exam scores, there may not be a fireworks festival for anyone to attend. Were you aware? <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Make sure you study well, alright? Alright then. I need to buy some more test prep booklets on my way home. See you later. 7 Eleven. Senpai. It's time to get a Slurpee. Oh! What a pleasant surprise. Are you headed home too? Um, yes, I am. Same here. I don't have club practice today. That reminds me. There's something I wanted to report to you. Would now be a good time? Sure thing. Thank you. Why don't we find a seat somewhere? Huh? Oh, no! And you are... It's been quite a while, Akechi-san. They know each other! And the same for you, Yoshizawa-san, right? You know each other? My father.
father works at a TV station. Have you ever seen Good Morning Japan? My father's the director. I've been brought onto the show as a guest a number of times now. That's how I ended up becoming acquainted with Yoshizawa-san. I didn't know you knew her as well. Yes! She's my friend. He helped me out of a jam before, and now he's been offering me guidance. Helped you out of a jam, huh? I see. So, what were you two up to? Oh, right! I was just about to share some exciting news. It's nothing to keep secret, so I may as well spill it now. No! Oh my god! About that summer competition I mentioned to you before, I was chosen to be our club representative. Yay! Congratulations! This only feels like the beginning to me, though. Isn't your club's team considered to be quite prestigious? Why does he know so much? And you're their representative. I must say, that's extremely impressive. Stop! Being a smoother talker than me! This is my Kohai! Get away! I can't see! Why can't you say something nice like that to me? Thank you. I'll do my best to make everyone proud. I'll be cheering you on as well. Ah, I have an idea. Since all three of us are here, why don't we go somewhere as a group? What the? We can call it our little celebration for Yoshizawa-san's success. That would be wonderful. Does that work for you, Senpai? That settles it. Would you mind if I chose the place? There's a wonderful little cafe I know about. Uh, why is he so smooth and so cool with it? Ah, curse your charm. Of course. Lead the way. Curse your charm. Yoshizawa-san? You drink hot beverages even in the summer? You're literally drinking a hot beverage too. I have to prevent my body from getting too cold since the meat's coming up rather soon. I see. You make sure you're covering all your bases. Your drink is also steaming! Your drink's just as hot! Good point. Well, some people say coffee can cool you off, even when hot, so I try to avoid that, too. I had this image that you enjoy sweet things, Akechi-san. Is that untrue? They're not even including me in the conversation! I swear I saw you eating fried sweet bread on TV just the other day. It's all part of a marketing strategy. That sort of stunt is an easy crowd pleaser. God damn it. He's so smart because he's right. Because it's so the gap moment of when he's a cool detective, but he's eating a sweet little piece of bread. Ah! You seem to have your own bases covered as well. He knows what he's doing. I feel lied to. Presenting oneself in a favorable light is nothing surprising. More surprising is just how innocent you seem to be. What are you trying to I've say? I've been wondering, how do you two know each other? His social studies class visited the set of a TV show I appeared on. Beef, why are you only looking at Akechi? You have not looked at Kasumi once. Ah, uh, that's right. Second year's got to go to a TV station. He and I exchanged our opinions during the shoot, and his way of thinking intrigued me. I can definitely see that. Senpai's take on things often helps me as well. She's looking at him, but he won't look at her! That reminds me, Yoshizawa-san. You had mentioned that he's been providing you with some guidance. Yes. Like you just said, his way of thinking is intriguing. I figured I could benefit from his input. In that case, let's play a little game. Oh, no. Would you mind if I pose the same question to you that I first asked him? No, go right ahead. So, my question was... The music stopped. Oh, God, here we go. What do you think of the Phantom Thieves, Yoshizawa-san? The Phantom Thieves? You mean in the case that they do in fact exist, yes? I admit that the assistance of others in need is a truly great act, but I simply can't agree with their methods. It's over between us, girl. Girl, we can't meet anymore. If you don't like me, if you can't like me at my phantom thief, then you can't love me at my beef senpai. I see. 
Care to explain why? I suspect the Phantom Thieves' existence isn't going to be beneficial to society in the long run. How so? <laughs> v finally looked at <laughs> the second! She said, like, yeah, the Phantom Thieves are okay, but they're not beneficial for society. He turned his head so fast! Well, for example, when someone's faced with a problem to overcome, I believe they need to do it themselves. Getting help from others is totally fine, but in the end, it takes a person's initiative to truly create lasting change. If society relied upon a safety net like the Phantom Thieves, I worry that people would stop making a conscious effort. Oh, she's so smart. Granted, this depends on how severe the problem is, and it's inaccurate to apply generalizations to an entire population. But I believe a society where everyone simply leaves matters to the Phantom Thieves wouldn't last for very long. I see. So, in the sense of a person's growth, their actions actually hinder it. Quite an interesting take on the matter. Alright, she's smart, but... <sighs> but the Phantom Thieves aren't taking care of people who are pieces of shit! Let me ask you then, what do you think of Yoshizawa-san's opinion? She's not wrong. Ah, so you think you should let others come to their own conclusions on the matter? Wait, could you actually be a fan of the Phantom Thieves, Senpai? <laughs> I didn't mean to start an argument. I just can't help myself sometimes. Let's change the subject to something a bit lighter. Um... I'm sorry, I should probably get going. If I'm away from home too late, my parents will begin to worry. Is she gonna leave the two of us? He's gonna look at me and be like, I know what you are. <laughs> right, then let's call it a day. Oh, okay, Good thank God. Competition. I'll be rooting for you. Yes, thank you. Well then, see you later. Oh, thank God. Ugh. I can't be left alone with that Kechi. Ah, you're back. I'm scared of what's gonna happen. I see you had your friends over for a study session. How did you know? Nothing gets by me. I own this place, remember? I can tell what goes on here just by looking at the tables. Damn it. He's smart. Hmm? Did they go out of control again like that one time? That's what I hear. The driver was acting funny or something. Vice President and our company might have been caught up in it. I'm sure it's chaos in the office. When are those weird accidents going to end? I don't feel safe getting to my car anymore. Thanks for the coffee. I'll just leave what I owe you here, boss. Are you scared? Scared that I'm gonna like him a little too much. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm scared I'm gonna like him a little too, too much. I thought you liked the dumb ones. It's okay. I think Ryuji is still my number one. Honestly, Ryuji is like my number one, regardless of whatever will happen, probably because Ryuji is hits every single box. For I'm already bummed up about tests coming up. I'm in trouble for anything that's not English. I haven't been studying at all. Maybe we can make some progress if we keep an eye on each other. Want to study together. Better Shogi, you must practice every day. If you're interested in a lesson, please come to the church. I don't know where to go! But what if, if I study, am I gonna, well, it doesn't matter if I even get knowledge points because now I know that exams 
are about me actually remembering things. It's both? Oh, really? Take me to church, I'll worship my dog. I'll tell you my sins oh. you can show me your life. Talking to someone, she seems kind of troubled. Coming closer with her because of the persona. Take me to snurge, I'll worship like a snail. <laughs> Thank you for shaking my hand. I'm never gonna wash it. Huh? Um, please wash it. Can't believe that you're really here in a church. Right on the internet that you pray to God for victory, is that true? No. Can I take a selfie with you and post it online? Sorry, I've been turning down all such requests. By the way, is it true that you're trying to become a professional shogi player? Well, nothing's been. I'll be cheering you on to qualify. You'll be the first woman to surpass a third Dan League. I really believe in you. Thank you very much. Good evening. Tell him to get the hell out of here. Men like that approach me all the time. At first, I thought you were one of them. I must really apologize for being rude to you. Um... It bothers me when people make such a big fuss over me, considering that the priest is doing me a great favor by letting me play here. See, he's my shogi friend. Very kind. Once told me that he wanted to become a professional player. Doesn't laugh at my embarrassing habit when we play together. Oh, I did the photo shoot. It's embarrassing just thinking about it. Did you see it? It was called The Venus of Shogi. It's quite the headline. It certainly is. Um, it's not really an excuse, but the editorial staff came up with the title on their own. Ever since I won the Female Shogi League, I've been getting a lot of attention. I just figured I would, uh, I could contribute to the Shogi world. Besides, my mother seems to be very happy. Whenever I win, she rejoices as if it were her own victory. <sighs> so if I want to live up to the expectations she has for me. However, she's been a bit overzealous lately. Set up the interview and photo shoot. So that she wants to be the manager of a celebrity. You should just decline. I... I can't. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I should be teaching her how to play instead of talking about my mother. No! Today I'll be showing you something very practical. A tactic for using the reverse pawn you've taken from your opponent in a more effective way. Nevertheless, I apologize. You're such a good listener. I feel at ease speaking actually, with you. Aside from the priest, you're actually the first person I've spoken to about my mother. Aww! Chance for a follow-up by a backup member if Joker downs an enemy. Right. Oh. Now then, I'll instruct you I while we play. Forward to it. Are you ready? Feel like playing Shogi with me help me sharpen my knowledge. She's so cute. Yeah, she's so pretty. Until Aww. next time. Well then I look forward to our next match. You gonna call me? See for me, I appreciate you spending time with me today. Um, I ended up feeling much better after sharing my concerns with you. Hardly seems fair. How can I teach you properly when I'm this distressed? This is a part of our deal too. Um, I'm not quite sure you understand. <laughs> but if that's the case, I can only hope to repay you through my lesson. If you make for a refreshing opponent, somehow the more we exchange, the more I feel my world's expanding. Teaching you is also a great learning experience for me, as it leads to a deeper understanding of myself. Well then, if you'll excuse me, I'll see you for our next match. She's so cute. Hey, did you know that there's going to be a summer festival in Odaiba? Summer festival, huh? How can anyone eat so much fatty food when it's so hot out? Man, you just don't get it. It's because it's so hot out that we can eat all that meat. Come on, let's go check it out. I'll treat you to a skewer. Mm. Summer mm. festival, huh? Do you think they'll have A5 beef there? <laughs> mm. 
You should worry about finals first. Once those are over, it'll be summer vacation, so stay focused. Yeah, right. Eight five thief at a fucking festival. My hope rests with the Phantom Thieves. I'm so glad the Phantom Thieves are all over the news. Yeah, they're really taking off since the whole Kamoshida thing. The legend of the Phantom Thieves started at our school. Practically one of them. <laughs> Who can't relate to what they're doing? Punishing corrupt adults up to no good? The police should take notes. Damn. Quiet down. People sure are making a fuss even though it's right before exams. Behind Kaneshiro's arrest are Phantom Thieves, the mysterious group that changes people's hearts. If I recall, there were similar rumors back during the business with Kamoshida kun. Help the weak and crush the strong. Truly a modern legend of the gentleman thief. A long history of humans, the gentleman thief has been seen briefly during times of turmoil. Please look at this picture. Thief kun? The picture depicts the final moments of Ishikawa Do you know the answer? He did something during the Sengoku period that had him and his family boil to death. Do you know what he did? Well, I mean, this is about me. This is it. Correct. Most famous thief. He's very popular. Some call him a gentleman thief. Goemon Bath comes from his name. Only stealing from the rich and powerful and sharing with the poor. Goemon's exploits have been documented in many forms of the media, like Kabuki and novels. <laughs> nice going! Isn't that Yusuke's persona? It's not actually unclear whether or not Goemon was indeed a gentleman. Yes, okay. I remember! Bellion against Hideyoshi, whose campaign had failed propaganda by the government to sell his name. Government thief Goemon may not, maybe no more of an illusion made by varying motivations. Actuality, most heroes and gentlemen thieves throughout history are something like that. Yep. Make sure the people don't think we're just an illusion. Before that, you'll need to study for the exams that are starting tomorrow. I'm so fucking dumb. When you said the gentleman thief, I was like... <laughs> Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> oh, Mariki san hi! Welcome. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry for coming by so suddenly. It was nothing. <laughs> so yeah, Lupin. At first in my brain, I was thinking about Sherlock Holmes, and I was like, he's not a fucking thief. And then I was like, okay, maybe Lupin. And then it was Goemon, who in the anime is friends with Lupin, so... Goemon was boiled to death. This makes me think about One Piece. <laughs> Everyone's permitted to stop by whenever they like. Know the phrase counseling session can be make some people nervous, but don't be. Considering you're the student council president, I'd rather they didn't force you to come here at all, actually. No. Well, I was advised to come, but I still chose to do it in my own. Good. Am I caught up? No. I'm not. I'm like eight chapters behind, I think. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Please, there's no need to be concerned about my being here. Feel free to discuss anything with me. Uh, oh, right. Yes. So I shall. Sounding more like the counselor here than I am. Oh, damn. Let's see. You were so good. Excellent grades. Extension of my conduct. Wow, you appear to be the ideal honor student. No. Oh, not at all. In fact, quite the opposite. I'm actually in a bit of a mess. I'm actually a bit of a mess, and I always have to turn to others for help. Well, you sure had me fooled. Even still, getting help isn't a bad thing at all. In fact, it's wonderful that you have a support system. Indeed. Especially lately. I feel like I can't do anything right by myself nowadays. Hmm. Did something go wrong for you? Yes. Yes, but it's nothing major. You've come to understand all too well that it's a bad idea taking on more of a burden than one should. Hmm. You really do sound, seem like somebody with a mature sense of responsibility. However, that may be why people around you, especially the adults who such... Who should be protecting you? Rely on you so much. <sighs> Adults who should be protecting me? 
Had I been clever enough to understand that earlier, things might have gone a bit differently for me. You think so? Ah, <sighs> uh, you live alone with your older sister. I see. Pardon my saying so, but it seems you've been through quite a lot. But honestly, it only felt like the norm to me. Our lack of adult guardians has to been hard on my sister, even now as well. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. It was. I'd be lying if I said it wasn't hard for me too. Do you still remember them, your parents? Yes. Hey, so not as much about my mother, admittedly, but my father, without a doubt. In fact, now that I think about it, I may have grown to be a bit uptight because of that. I see. Is that so? Are you doing okay now? Is your support system adequate? Oh. It's not as if I have a team of employees or anything, but I do have people that I'm able to rely upon well. Of course, I'd never think of them as replacements for my father and sister. No one could replace either of them. What I've lost won't ever come back. I just need to keep my chin up and push towards my future. Quite. Hmm, I like the way you put that. No one can ever be replaced, yet we need to keep pushing towards our future. Should anything come up that you want help with, I'll be there to support you. But well, my skills are pretty limited. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate the kind words. She's so... Hey! Mwah. Pretty sad the leader of the Phantom Thieves got bad grades. Hey! Uh... <laughs> Still hanging out in the hallway. Let me know if something comes up. What? Exams are coming up. Have your studies been going well? I can give you the general idea of what they were like when I was a second year. What do you think? Want to study together? No! No! My exams. My fave. 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 Weak to blonde himbo! <laughs> Yo. Hey. Yo. Yeah. Let's go somewhere fun. I think I probably pick somewhere with good food if we're up to me. <sighs> Ramen? Oh! We can go to the amusement park? Wait. But he wants to go somewhere with food, and he likes this ramen store. But this is the Tokyo Dome amusement park, where we could go monja. But he wants to go somewhere fun, but he wants to go somewhere where we can eat good food. But we should just get to the amusement park. See you later. Is that a place for couples? Well, as Let's long go. as it's fun. <laughs> Well, here we are, just two dudes, alone in an amusement park. <laughs> Not like there's anything wrong with that. Well, I guess it'd be better coming with a girl. Whatever, I'm accepting my fate. Let's go over on the roller coaster. I'm ready to scream. Don't get sick again, okay? Go by yourself. Let's ride the Ferris wheel. <laughs> Beef! Beef! Liked it, <laughs> dude. You're trying to punish me with that boring shit. Are you afraid? You are, aren't you? Come on, let's go. <laughs> that shit was just as thrilling Whoa. as always. Oh, my knees, my knees feel kind of weird. Don't it feel like you're walking on a cloud or something? When they get stuff, you gotta use your muscles for. Come on, let's blow off some steam. Man, couples are freaking everywhere in this place. I wonder what they're thinking about us. I don't have a gift. <laughs> I don't have a gift. I only have something for a traditional lady. <laughs> Wanna head back? 
Well, I guess it's time for us loners to head home. Ah. Ah, you're back. It's pretty late. I guess I should head home. Focus, ground. I tons of trouble with these questions. How are things going for you? Better than usual. Seeing someone in danger of failing his exam probably extra motivation for you, huh? <laughs> Wait, three? For knowledge? Holy shit! Thanks, Ruji. Yeah. Oh, I gotta do this. How lame would it be if a phantom thief got held back a grade? I guess I'll try super hard because you're here. Okay, let me do the rest. Wanna head back? I'm poop. Let's head out. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> What's happening? Are you sure we can't date in this game, he and I? Because this is kind of insane how many times this guy has been talking. To me. Oh, baby, a triple. <laughs> Are you sure we're not dating at this point? <laughs> you scared <can't> starving. <laughs> I just heard about this, but apparently we're having a summer festival soon. I heard there's gonna be shit like kebab, steaks, the hot stuff. Dude, I am so pumped. What about studying? Is there nothing but meat? Huh? Well, duh. What else would you want? Oh, man. Can't stop thinking about that meat. Piping hot, juicy meat. Oh, man. <sighs> now I'm hungry. Let's get going. Why is he? We spent a whole day together, and then he comes up to me, ground beef, and tells me that he's excited for some piping hot meat. What if she's an honest student? Why should she get special treatment? Results are what matter, you know. I heard the phantom thieves might be from our school. Can't be true. It'd be funny if it was, though. It's time for my exam! First day of your final exams begin. Oh my god. Oh my god, I need a calculator! One sec! I can't do mental math! I can't! I can't do mental math! <laughs> this is harder than Elden Ring? Please. I love math. Mm. <laughs> My calculator. <laughs> Looks tough, but let's calm down and think it through. Explain the origin. Oh, the head! Famous guy from the Romance of the Three Kingdoms, right? Uh, I think it was this one. River overflowing somewhere. Offering something to the river. The heads. Crazy story. Yes. Yes. Oh god. Master came up with them to offer them instead of heads. I think 
meteorite invented to an offering to a river spirit to replace the tradition of offering severed heads. You yep. finished in time. Oh my god, I'm so smart. Ah, give it up. <sighs> Thank god that those questions are the ones from today. I'm so scared about the questions that are gonna be from like... <laughs> now Last everyone. month! Oh no! Write the name. Um, this is the... This is the. I think this is the snow. No, I thought no, no, no. The snow crab is the one with the actual legs, but the king crab is the one. With Ooh, the we can the do legs. this. Government issued paper. Oh God. Started. Third day of finals. Are you ready? You may begin. English equivalent to the Norwegian idiom. Oh. Hell yeah. Ooh, we can do this. Following is another name for Solman noodles. The guts. Ooh, we can do this. Oh. <laughs> You've got this, nice. all right? This is going good. Looking forward to seeing your score. Oh! I'm done! Yes! Oh my god. Thank god. My parents are gonna kill me. <laughs> there was so much stuff on that exam. I didn't have time to study everything. Oh my god. My parents are gonna kill me. I probably could have managed if I had an extra week, too. Girl, you should have started studying an extra week earlier then. You knew when the exams were gonna be. An extra week, huh? The only people who get that kind of cushy treatment are the honor students. Oh, you mean like Yoshizawa-san. I heard the school moved her exam period. It must be nice getting perks like that. They're so ugly. Hey there. Hi. Congrats on surviving finals. Today was the last day, right? Yep. Say, would you happen to have some free time right now? There's something I'd like to discuss. I promise it'll just take a moment. Sure. Thanks. I know you're exhausted, so I'll make this quick. Okay. It sure has heated up now that the rainy season's passed. I just know my electric bill is going to start climbing this month. Anyway. As I'd mentioned, there's something I'd like your opinion on. Hmm? Do you need counseling? Well, I suppose that's actually accurate. I've had something on my mind lately, and I want to hear your take on it. What? Okay, here goes. Oh, this is all hypothetical, mind you, but... Imagine there's somebody for whom you have high expectations. Okay. They're trying their absolute hardest to meet those expectations. Okay. Now, this person receives an awful lot of special treatment from people so they can perform to the best of their abilities. Okay. So, what do you think those people will do if the expectations leveled on this person aren't met? They're gonna be pissed. Yep, that's right. When you work as a counselor, you always think, I have to help this person so their heart doesn't break. But that's easier said than done. Is this about custom me? This world really is a callous one. No matter how much positivity or dedication a person has, just a bit of influence from their peers can easily mess with their heads. No! Every time I'm confronted with such a situation, I can't help but grasp the limitations of therapy as a profession. Reality is unfair. You just have to keep trying. No! He's a great counselor. Just have to keep trying. Oh, I'm not sick of this job or anything like that. Don't worry. <laughs> Sorry. 
I didn't mean to get all analytical. What I meant was, if we want to truly help people stuck in a predicament like that, we need a fundamental solution. Like what? Hmm. Nothing really comes to mind at the moment. This is just a thought, but what if we got the Phantom Thieves to change our hearts? Huh? Maybe have them shift our feelings so we won't lose to this unfair reality. It would ultimately be for the positive. Is that really a change of heart? <laughs> Good point. You're right. Sorry, I was just thinking out loud. I seem to have lost track of the time. I should be getting back to my work. Our conversation's been very enlightening. Thank you. And enjoy your vacation. Thanks. He's such a good guy. Exams are finally over. <sighs> I'm so exhausted. Oh, I can get back to actually sleeping in peace. <laughs> hmm. You must have been studying pretty hard if it kept you up at night. I'm pretty sure he was gaming. Nah, I was up playing <laughs> video games. Slacking off is just too much fun. <laughs> I know, right? I kept cleaning my room instead of studying. It might even be too clean now. God, I can't relate. You two are perfect exemplars of what escapism can mean. <laughs> <sighs> and I can only imagine what the end result will be. Whatever. It's over with now. Who cares about that anymore? What's real important is the Phantom Thief's popularity. <laughs> Ain't it amazing? It kind of feels like our time's finally here. <laughs> I've even heard people excitedly speculating about our next target. We will have to choose carefully. There's no need to hurry. We should spend some time thinking it over. Agreed. Hold up! The most important thing now is our celebration party. Agreed! I hope you guys didn't forget. It's the fireworks festival on the 18th. Yay! I guess we're good meeting up in Shibuya, yeah? Let's say 5 p.m. We sure are on top of these kinds of things. <laughs> now for the weather. Don't rain. No! You're heading outside. Be prepared for sudden changes in the weather. No! Okay. Now that you're done with exams, let's find ourselves a new target. Let's go to bed. Man! Nice! Hey! What? Mona! Come on! Let me do one thing. Can I talk? Fine. Let's go to bed. It's good that exams are over. Let's go to sleep. Hey, it's me. <gasps> Sorry for calling so late. I wanted to ask you about the summer festival. Remember the one I told you about? I think so. Come on, man. Well, I know so, damn it. Whole thing with the kebabs? So like... Completely spaced on it until now, but the festival's tomorrow. So you want to go? Yeah! I knew you'd be down! Make sure we invite Yusuke too. He's always down to chow. I did just remember they said it might rain tomorrow though. Eh, whatever. No way it's gonna rain on a day like this. See you tomorrow! <sighs> How would he know whether it's not it'll rain? Sheesh. All worked up over a silly little festival full of food of all kinds. Well, I suppose you deserve to enjoy yourself. Be sure to keep a low profile, all right? Let's turn in for the night. Anyway, let's get some sleep. Oh, and no sleeping in, got it? I'm gonna skip I'm gonna skip breakfast for this. You are hungry too. Oh <gasps> wow, the sun is really heat wave. What's up? Mm. What? What? Why? Why are you staring at my face? Ryuji, I have a favor to ask. Showtime? A favor? Sure. You need some money for food or something? 
Not this time. I've actually been mulling over a new battle Ooh. tactic for a while now. And I'd like for you to lend a hand in bringing my idea to fruition. Oh, a new move? <laughs> that sounds badass. I totally want in. Well, it's merely a rough idea at this point, but... What do you think? Wasn't that, like, way more detailed than some rough idea? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't deserve such praise. I would merely prefer to add a splash of beauty to an otherwise barbaric battlefield, so to speak. Sick! So, uh, all we gotta do now is see how the star reacts to your idea, right? We should consult Jose about this soon. However, I can feel my appetite growing after describing my idea. Same here. They're so dumb. Both of them. They're so stupid. It's so hot. Oh my god, yeah, the fucking fumes. It's as if we're walking around in an enormous sauna. And you're wearing a long sleeve and long pants. Whose bright idea was it to come here? You! Yours. And just look at that crowd. Smiling faces everywhere you look. With that, let's move right into asking some of the visitors here for their comments. Uh-oh. A TV crew, huh? Better not stand out. We should grab our kebabs and get out of here. Ah, let's interview those three. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, is she talking about us? What the? Yeah, what do we do? Just calm down. Good point. We'll look even more suspicious if we panic now. They got us. Oh, hell. Okay, I'm gonna ham it up and make some real cringy comments so they can't use any <laughs> of the footage. <laughs> Hello. It sure is hot today, huh? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. And if it's this hot in July, can you imagine just how insane the weather's gonna be in December? <laughs> uh, anyway, since you're here for the festival, does that mean you and your friends there are meat lovers? Uh, what? Uh, I'd say that we're really lovers of fruit. Oh, and sweets. <laughs> sweets are just to die for. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, thank you very much for your time. Ooh, that was too close. <laughs> Can you imagine how insane the weather is going to be in December? <laughs> I have no idea what he was cooking. But honestly, <laughs> he served. <laughs> that was truly cringeworthy. <laughs> But are you certain that they won't air any of it? I'm pretty sure she thought there was a broadcast disaster. We ought to be okay. More important than that, though, it's time to get some meat. Oh, right, my kebab. Mmm, kebab. The lines for the food stalls were even more insane than the heat. Yeah, you so bad. Standing around in this sweltering heat was rather trying. And almost all the good stuff was already sold out. I didn't even eat breakfast this morning. I'm starting to get lightheaded. Even still, an occasion like this seems to make everything taste delicious. How mysterious. Aw, Yusuke's so cute. Aw, it's because we're together. That's pretty poetic, dude. Aw. Well, we came all the way out here, so we might as well go check that thing out. What thing? I heard they're building some kind of huge-ass stadium or something nearby. Wait, was that what it was? You don't know what you're talking about, do you? <laughs> A stadium? Well, such buildings often have intriguing architecture. I'd love to see it for personal reference. Yeah, then come on, let's go! Are they really making a stadium? So, that's it? It barely even started? We seem to be premature spectators. I guess this is what people call jump in the gum. <laughs> <laughs> no way, he just said that. J. 
jumping the gun. Eh, there ain't nothing to do here. You want to go grab a bite somewhere? Sorry, I'm considering picking up more art supplies. I have a summer assignment to work on. Also, the summer festival drained my coffers. Even if I did grab a bite, all I could order would be water and a hot towel. Ah, uh, well, in that case, probably ought to just call it quits for today. Hmm? Why are we here? Hey, isn't that Yoshizawa? Oh, why is she here? Is this the stadium they were- she's acting strange? You know, she did mention something about a meet earlier. <laughs> is this the stadium that they were building for the Olympics? Uh, ain't you guys headed home? Go on ahead without me. Huh? Hmm. Well, see you then. Yes, catch you later. Ah, <sighs> jump in the gum. Senpai? What a pleasant surprise. Yes. Uh, did you come to see the stadium too? Same here. I needed to give myself a pep talk. Something wrong? Sometimes, when things get me down, I come here. Although, that doesn't really answer your question, does it? I know this may get in the way of your plans, but would you be willing to join me for lunch? Her eyes look a little red and puffy. <gasps> Why? No, no cry. <coughs> she eats so much. <sighs> that was delicious. No cry. You sure packed it away. I'm always like this after a meet. In all honesty, I'd like to keep going, but any more will end up harming my performance. So the meet's done? Simply put, it was a disaster. I've been feeling like I'm getting back into the natural flow of things, thanks to you, Senpai. But when the moment of truth arrived, my body still wouldn't move the way that I wanted it to. No! Is it more of a mental thing? I think that's a big factor. Something similar happened to me in middle school, but back then, I had someone by my side that kept me going. Who? <sighs> Don't tell me, Akechi Kun. I have a younger sister. Oh. We promised each other that we'd win international gymnastics competitions together. But this spring, <gasps> she died in an accident. No! I promised her we'd take the gold for our routines across the world. But I can't stop worrying about my lack of improvement lately. I've really been throwing myself into practice. But I wonder if even that won't be enough. No! It's... Oh, God. You really are doing your best. It's not over yet. Is this really your limit? Oh god. Beef. I don't know what to say in these situations, Beef. Senpai. You're right. It's just getting started. You just keep on rescuing me, don't you? Oh. Okay, no more brooding. There are still more meats left this year. I'm going to start from scratch and train as hard as I can. Thank you so much for listening to all that. Now I feel like I've been recharged. Mind, body, and spirit. <laughs> well, at least my mind and spirit are recharged. <laughs> the best way to stave off hunger is with some vigorous activity. I'm going to jog home. Take care. She's dressed all cute and she's gonna jog. <laughs> She's so adorable! Oh my god, her sister. No! I hope it wasn't because of one of the, like, psychotic breakdown accidents. What do you think they're gonna target next? They only go after bad guys, right? So we have nothing to be worried about. Apparently, if you post a request on the forum, they'll do what you say. They're talking about bad- they're taking out bad guys. It's fine by me. Keep it up. Why do we even need police anymore? Man. Uh, you're back. What? What did I do now? 
How could I what? You're going to the summer festival. Why didn't you invite me? What did you say? They're showing it on TV. Something about it being hot in December or saying sweets are to die for? <laughs> There's a bit with like I want to say some really crazy stuff. <laughs> Mission failed. Mission, what are you talking about? Look, my point is, next time you guys are going out to have fun, can't I come along too? I'm the Phantom Thieves producer, you know. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? I hope Lady Odd and the others haven't found out. <gasps> Here's a commemorative photo from the summer festival. At least that was the idea. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a selfie of the three of them. It's certainly evocative. Well, don't let it get to you. Shit happens. Understandable given the heat. Perhaps your hands grew sweaty and it slipped. Next time we'll make sure we can go somewhere we can actually eat. Agreed. I prefer an indoor establishment myself. Preferably one with ample seating and free refills on water. Uh, that'd just be the diner again. And why not? A place of calm where one may also partake in delicious food. I mean, I guess. Man, all this talk about food's got me hungry. Cup ramen would hit the spot. I believe I shall do the same. Fortunately, I recently acquired some high-quality bread crust. Sorry. What? Sorry I couldn't catch it for you. I always forgot how short my arms are as cat. Aww. You wanna see a movie? Feel like a movie? Everyone's buzzing about summer debuts. Everyone's talking about that chick flick, Love Possibly. I get kind of weepy, so it's embarrassing to go alone. Can you go watch it with me? Yes. Date? Help her! Please! Help her! I don't care about the money or my social status, but please! I just need to tell her how I feel! Lady Ann's holding back her tears. She's totally empathizing. But the movie's right. A person's true value isn't about social standings or wealth. I feel like I was able to learn about... What? Beef? <sighs> Use of two packs of pocket tissues. I guess girls like me want the perfect romantic kind of love you see in the movies. I see. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I let myself get a bit carried away. I guess it's just easy for me to talk about this kind of stuff with you. Now that I think about it, that movie wasn't geared towards guys at all, huh? Thanks. I'm glad you came with me. You're such a good friend. Ah! Let's head home. Ow! Ow! Ooh! Owie zowie! Hello, Beef Senpai! <laughs> Thanks so much for earlier. Now I can give it 110% tomorrow at practice. You're not gonna rest? Nope. If I take a day off, it'll dull my senses. Next me, I'll make it onto the winner's podium, I swear. I won't slip up again like I did before. I'll have some great news next time I see you, I promise. Hey. Looks like Yoshizawa's gonna be okay now. She sure had us worried. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's time! <laughs> Today is a firework festival! Let's meet in Shibuya at 5 o'clock! Hey Makoto, are you gonna wear a yukata? I'm planning on it. <gasps> Yukatas are great. They're part of the summer tradition. They truly heighten a woman's beauty. I think I will wear mine as well. Yay! How about you, ground? I don't have one! I wish I did! Why don't you come without your glasses? What's the point in that? I don't know. You don't get to see fireworks every day, so it'd be just sad to wear normal clothes. Thinking he might want to go for a change of pace. Sounds great. You should totally come without glasses? What does that mean? Nope, you guys better not be late. <laughs> fireworks and yukatas really add to the feeling of summer. Even Lady Ann will be wearing one. Come to think of it. There's a fireworks festival today. If you're going, be careful. Those things get insanely crowded. Hey, hey! It'd be nice to watch the fireworks with the chief someday. We could watch them right at LeBlanc. Actually, no, we couldn't. <laughs> what? 
Mo Mona? <laughs> Right when we were just about to leave, too. Who is it? Saw some disturbing news online. Sounds like it'll be really bad if it turns out true. What's this about? Insane group is getting ready to declare war on the Phantom Thieves? I was afraid to just hold on to that information myself, so I wanted to tell you at least. Actually, all I have to say, though. Sorry to bother you on your day off. What could he mean by an insane group? <laughs> Let's think about this after we get back. We don't have much time, so let's get going. He actually Damn, took his glasses so hot. off. The holiday means it's as crowded on here as it is for morning rush hour. Today's train news. Today's headlines are... Fireworks festival tonight. Expect roads and transportation to be congested for the entire day. Sudden weather changes. Be careful of sudden shifts in climate from afternoon to night. Wait, so all these people are going to the fireworks festival? Ugh, this should be fun. Oh my god, the art is even different of people wearing yukata. That's so cute! Oh, it's so hot. Oh, Yusuke looks so cute! I feel like I'm being baked. Those girls are way too late. It must be taking time for them to put on the yukata. Why aren't you two wearing one? I don't have one. I got clothes like yukata. Man, you look way too normal in that. <laughs> it does look People normal. Often say that to me. Aww. Oh my god, uh, are, they gonna, way, are they gonna do their hair up? Sam's. Oh yeah, did you fail? I bet you got a big fat F on them. <laughs> Shut up! We... we don't know that yet. Are you going to the fireworks festival? Oh my god. That's right. Us too! Wanna go together? Oh my god! You scared! Are we getting hit on? I don't think it's you, Nuji. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go together. Do you happen to be a model? You look great in that yukata. Waiting around's a pain, so can we just go with these chicks? I don't think they want to go with you. No way. <laughs> we'll both apologize to the others later. <laughs> That's enough. You're disgracing your yukata. You should be more aware of your womanhood. Oh my god. Walked away. Why don't you go after them then? So those are the kinds of girls you like, Ryuji. Oh. Uh. Well. Uh, no. That, that, that's. You know, Yusuke is such a pretty boy, but he is really missing out because of what he says. <laughs> I guess. But he's more likable since he stays true to his ideals. Oh, Makoto looks so cute. Definitely more than somebody I know. I heard that Ryuji's pretty much failed his exams. <laughs> no one said that. Oh? Mona, you little... Hey, it's gonna get crowded if we don't get going. Oh, Alan is so cute. But, man, you both look amazing in Yukata. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about Japanese beauty. Nobody is there. So painful! Oh, oh my! Oh! An anime? So loud, oh my god. Uh oh. I know. Wow, 
Why is ground beef so cute for? Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Looks like you need help. Then yeah. why don't you go buy me a towel already, huh? <laughs> oh, it's that girl. The girl from Yeah. We we're just trying to get out of the rain, but look how crowded it is. The girl from the cleanup time. I guess everyone had the same idea. What's up? Hmm. I think I just saw someone I know. You mean the girl in that black car? Well, she's got a ride. <laughs> oh, time to show your skills, Mona. We need you as a car. <laughs> it's not possible in the real world. My feet hurt. It's cold. The festival's been canceled. This sucks. We made such a commotion with the public, and this is what we get? Aww. Aren't heroes that lurk in the shadows boring? I like the shade. What are you, Moss? <laughs> I want to change the world with a loud bang, like a huge firework. Then again, we aren't going to find someone bigger than Kanashiro that easily. The rain is letting up. Though it's regrettable, we should go our separate ways for today. Oh, why you guys are gonna go eat dinner or anything? Yeah, let's go home. You just come to our place. So you won't tell me, no matter what. Uh. I have nothing more to say to you about that. I see. In that case, I have ways of making you talk. Uh. Huh? What's that supposed to? Thanks for the drink. Miss Ma'am! Hey, we're not done here yet. <laughs> What's wrong? It's nothing. It's past closing time. Clean up the place. Um, okay. Regrettably, the cause behind the recent psychotic breakdown incidents is still unknown. On to other news. The international hacktivist group Medjid has released a statement to the Phantom Thieves. Mm -hmm. These are the details of the message that are posted on Medjid's website. To the Phantom Thieves causing an uproar in Japan. Do not speak of your false justice. We do not need the spread of such falsehood. We are the true executors of justice. Phantom Thieves again? However, we are magnanimous. We will give you an opportunity to repent your ways. What? If you agree to a change of heart, we will accept you as our own. If you reject our offer, the hammer of justice will find you. Justice, huh? We are Medjid. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. Akeshi-san, why do you think this announcement was made at this time? <laughs> why is he there? <laughs> I don't know the details. But there's no doubt that they were provoked by the Phantom Thieves. Whether it's a sense of rivalry or a simple attention grab, given the recent trends, I cannot say. Regardless, it's always there. It's quite a nuisance. A nuisance? Both Mejed and the Phantom Thieves are nothing more than groups that uphold an egoistic justice. What a stupid thing they're getting riled up on. Yeah, agreed. Phantom Thieves, huh? What in the world are they? You know about them? <laughs> Who? I'm the one asking you. Don't return a question with another question. <laughs> well, it's about time I go home. Okay. Make sure you lock the place up. Also, about the stuff in the fridge. Well, I guess it's fine. Just don't use too much of it. Aw, thanks. It's possible that more people like these will continue to appear due to their influence. In that respect, the Phantom Thieves face a very serious crime. Hi, 
hackers declare war on the Phantom Thieves? This is getting interesting. But why? Did the Phantom Thieves do something to them? Magic is really scary. Looking forward to seeing how the Phantom Thieves will deal with it. I'm scared. New messages in the Phantom Thieves chat room. We gotta talk about Medjin. I mean, the, the guys on the internet, people are going nuts over? Name seems to come from one of the obscure gods from the Egyptian Book of the Dead. I saw the news too. For some reason, they think we speak of false justice. Now then, what exactly did you want to speak of regarding Medjin? Well... Why don't we go after them as our next target? What a sudden suggestion. I mean, they're like bad hackers or something, right? Technically, they're crackers. Those who use the internet to illegally access and alter data. That's what they're called. Medjid is an organization group with large people re recognized by the larger, that's what they're called? Internal community. Operate on a global scale. That makes them even bigger than Kaneshiro. Right? Let us settle. Our next target is going to be Medjid. Wonder if the nav will get a hit if we put Medjid in. Oh, right. I don't think so. But that's not how it works. They need a name. They need a full name. That's not a name. Isn't that just the name of their organization? That'd be like if somebody went on their phone and put in <laughs> Phantom Thieves. <laughs> yes, that name has to be... Uh, word we don't even know how many people mention it is uh oh why don't we get at least one member's info if we try and look into it though even if we did how would we discover their location only confirmed presence of measure has been online a su pseudonym the greater problem than simply finding their keywords unless you have any more ideas Ryuji. hello Seems he has suggested this without putting much thought into it. Come on, we can't back down now. People are all excited about it. Reputation's gonna plummet if we don't face this shit. That's true. If we remain silent, people would believe we simply chose to run away from the matter. Majid has taunted us publicly after all. They're criminals, we cannot just let them be. Yeah. Don't have any other targets right now either. Hey, ground. Let's talk to Mishima tomorrow. This is more of his thing. Let's do that. Also, Makoto, try seeing if your sister has any info on them. Highly unlikely, but A sure. World-class target, huh? If we can change Medjed's heart, it'll most definitely affect Mementos. Medjed. Medjed. I forgot. Hmm? I forgot to post a photo I took today. Not bad, right? I'm natural with this candy photography stuff. Hope for the sake that I was intended to be candid photography. It's a shame about the rain, but at least it means today was a little more memorable. Yeah, but next time we really can't miss the fireworks. Agreed. So it was almost impressive how swiftly the weather turned horrible. Perhaps one of us is simply fated to bring rain wherever he goes. <laughs> is that you, Yusuke? Okay. Nice! Uh, can't really do much, so I'll just clean. Hey. Well then. Do 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 do. That should do it for now. Yay! Cleaning hey. time. Give me coffee. Oh, yeah. What? Tell me. Everyone's been talking about Medjid. What the hell is it? You don't watch the news much, do you? International network of hacktivists. Target corporations by doing shady business and causing chaos. Subway company server thing? That was Medjid trying to find out who caused the train accident. So they're good guys? Uh, 
No way. So I'm liking them to digital Robin Hoods. Snoop through emails and destroy data. They're no better than criminals. Those guys that claim to be modern day Robin Hoods? They dare call themselves heroes after those attacks? <laughs> They're fighting Reginex? Phantom Thieves are amazing! I don't want to hear about justice from some shady hackers. I don't care what happens as long as it's inter as long as it's interesting. <laughs> oh our grades are out! Did I do top of the class? How'd you do? Damn. I'm dead. I wish I could get in the top 10. People look at smart students differently. I wonder what score I got. I'm in the top 10! <gasps> Everyone's gonna have their eyes on you now. Uh-oh, that's bad. Oh shit, that's good! Let's go! We were busy. It's not like I could focus on studying. Instead, you go and talk about how crazy the weather in December is gonna be on TV! Hey, it's not my fault my scores suck, right? It's your fault. You don't gotta throw the truth right <laughs> in my face like that. <laughs> Anyways, there's something more important here. Mishima. You wanna ask me something about the internet, right? Thank you for the super chat, thank you, thank you! I'm a Tensai? Yes, I am. That was the sound of my brain expanding. <laughs> Thank you! Yep, I'm gonna be straight with you here. Do you know who Medjet is? <laughs> you weren't kidding about being direct. Well, I suppose the news about Medjet and the Phantom Thieves has caused quite the commotion. They started out as hackers of justice, but now they only look out for their own self-interests. That's all I know. They were the group I texted him about yesterday. I see. Nobody's sure who actually belongs to Medjet. Well, it looks like things will be exciting this summer. It'll be the Phantom Thieves' world debut, no? <laughs> Dude. Dude. Don't worry. I'll be rooting for the Phantom Thieves. I'll get the forum mobilized as well. Now, if we're done talking here, I really must be going. I'll see you guys later. Where are you going in such a hurry? So, that was fruitless. I wonder if anyone else got any info. Mishima was pretty useless. You guys got anything? I tried asking my sister, but it seemed as though she didn't know very much about them. She doesn't specialize in cybercrime after all. I tried looking into them too, but I didn't come up with anything. Really, just no leads. Hmm. Our opponent is truly elusive. No luck. Medjet, huh? It seems like we won't be able to deal with them by ourselves. I know summer vacation is due to begin next week, but I have an unfortunate announcement. Uh-oh. We'll be holding an emergency assembly on Monday the 25th. Please come to school that day. What? Settle down. We've had many strange incidents. The psychotic breakdowns, students being dragged into crime rings. Hence, Principal Kobayakawa has instructed all teachers to caution the student body. Well, this is inconvenient for us, too, you know, <laughs> having to find things to warn you about so suddenly. Uh. How are we going to find Medjed? I'm not sure. No matter how hard I look online, all I find are just unreliable rumors. They have carried out corporate terrorism, yet they still managed to elude arrest somehow. I'm not sure it was a lot of trouble, but this is turning out to be a much greater ordeal. Do we bite off more than we can chew? I'm not sure. Right, there's no knowing who we're actually up against if we can't see the full picture. We don't even know whether it's a single individual or a large cog conglomerate of people. Stop being smart! Even if we do manage to get a lead, what do we do from there? Damn, this stuff's really no good. This stuff's really not so good. Probably why exams are going to shit too. You know, those two things are separate, right? Damn, this stuff's really not going so good. <laughs> Clues on Medjet, huh? Girl? Literally? 
pretty girl? What's going on? Mm. We can't identify who it is. There's nothing we can do. Let's wait till they make a move. Jim is down back alley of Central Street. I'll send you the address later. I'll let Ryuji know too. Come meet us in Shibuya. <gasps> <laughs> Me and Ground have actually already been training at this gym. Pretty sweet, huh? Not too many people getting in your way. Anyways, uh, what are you trying to do here? Yes! I want to slim down. Huh. Oh, you try jogging? Aerobics alone aren't enough. I want to tone up too, so I need to start lifting weights. Plus, my shoulders are drooping. I want to make my biceps leaner. I need to straighten my back out. Obviously, I want to cut down on my waist size, too, and firm up my butt and calves. Oh. You have some real guts. Mm-hmm. I'm a guts demon. Come on. What the hell is that even supposed to mean? Anyways, motivation's good and all, but you're not going to be able to move tomorrow if you do all that shit. <sighs> then you come up with a training regimen for me. You're such a pain. <laughs> if you do that for me, I'll go on a date with you as a reward. F that. Quit thinking you're some sexy character in an anime. It's sad watching you like this. Seriously? What? No way, man. First off, one of those sexy characters never come to a gym in their PE uniform. How am I supposed to know that? I've never even been to the gym before today. Oh, it's my agency. Hi. Oh, yes, definitely. Even a smaller article would be great. Huh? Fell through? Mm, yeah, I guess that's okay. Uh-huh. <sighs> I was supposed to be in two magazines the month after the next, but apparently one canceled on me. Black and white shot, and they said I wouldn't stand out. It sounds like a fun... It sounded like fun, though. It was about the everyday life of models. Guess you gotta find somewhere you do stand out, then. Huh. There has been somewhere my vibrant charm will shine, right? No doubt in my mind. Yeah. Uh, where? By the way. Speaking of magazines, there was a really pretty girl in one you said that you were starring in. She's got this innocent vibe, but she's sexy too. Now that's a real charm looks like to me. Were there photos of me too? Uh yeah. And does she have long brown hair? Yep, that's the one. You know her? You gotta introduce me, dude. Ugh. You dick! All the girls you could have been talking about. It just had to be Mika. Oh, I'm so pissed. Come on. Which machine are we using first? I'm going to break it. Three of us trained until we had reached our limits. <laughs> My body hurts. But for some reason, I feel satisfied. That's what working hard feels like. Not bad, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that was actually pretty fun. I think it was because the two of you were here with me. I had to prove I was working extra hard. <laughs> Simple stuff like that will keep you push, help you keep pushing. You're so dumb, Yuji. <laughs> no, he's not dumb. He's smart. Damn it! I wish I had thought of that. This isn't a competition. Whoa! Crap! For real? Mom forgot to buy stuff for dinner, so I guess I gotta head home now. See ya, guys. Ryuji just can't say no when his mom needs help, huh? I'm actually a little jealous of the relationship they have. I mean, even growing up, my parents were super busy. They always told me I was strong, that I'd be fine on my own. I was free, but I was lonely. I'd make friends, but we move a lot, and every time I had to start all over again. I actually got used to the loneliness. That's all changed once I met Shiho. The world seems so hopeful. I heard her rehab is going well. She's going to be officially transferring school soon, too. Hey. I need to show her that I'm working hard. That she doesn't need to worry so much about me. 
she'll be happy to hear that. I'm sure she already knows. Yeah. Right. She needs to see how much I've learned from her. Well. All right. Let's get back. Come on, let's go home. I might have trouble moving though. My legs are killing me. <laughs> Bye. Well, see you later. So cute! Oh, ground, it's me! Oh, my muscles are so sore right now. Going home took me more than twice as long as usual. But I'm really proud of the work I put in today. I would have just given up if I went alone. I'm so glad I had you guys with me. You two are the best! I wonder if this is how Shiho felt with her rehab. Being able to push herself because someone was there with her. That's probably it. You think so? I'd be really happy if I actually helped her push so hard. Not much time left until Shiho switches schools. I need to up my coolness so she can take off without worrying about me. Ah, ow, I forgot how sore I was. Sorry, but I better get some rest for now. Bye bye! Cute! Ah, so our break soon, right? Must be nice being a student. So, I looked up into Medjet. Did you find anything? As you know, Medjet is a god that appeared in the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Huh? The name apparently means Smiter. Seems nobody is actually sure that Medjet is a real name. On top of that, almost everything about him is unknown. Even his form is unattainable. <laughs> Unseen god that flies through the sky and shoots from his eyes. Truly is an elusive being. Dude. Everything about the existence is shrouded in mystery. Wait. Fundamentally speaking, ancient Egyptian art always depicted gods drawn in a side profile. However, Medjet is facing straight ahead of him. All depictions of him. <laughs> Taking all this info into account, he seems to be quite the alien being. Well done. Hey, there's nothing to be impressed about. I hope that information was at least somewhat useful. Indeed it was. Should I look into it more? That's enough, thank you. <laughs> no, we still don't have any tangible clues. Oh no! <laughs> hey, good evening. I'm in Kitijoji right now. I can't say no to this guy. I had a feeling you'd come. He read me like a book. Hi. Hey, Beefkin. Good evening. Hey. Some time before the shoot. If you're not busy, you want to hang out? I don't think my bond will deepen just what yet. What do you want to do? Sadly, I will. Thank you. Oh, it's the same cafe as last time. Looks like he's enjoying himself. These discussions seem to be engaging for him. Maybe there is a way to make sure he has a good time. I literally owe nothing. I'll see you later. That was it? Man. What? Seems you've got your share of problems, inmate. To think you would relax under such circumstances. Either you're quite bold or quite foolish. Hey. One with an unseen form. Hmm. It seems you've been targeted by troublesome company. Yes. <laughs> I've been enjoying this endless dispute over justice. However, it will soon come to an end, and through the appearance of an unexpected force of all things. Engaging with formidable enemies is also part of your rehabilitation. I ask that you overcome this. 
After all, you must hone your powers and become a magnificent thief. Oh God. It's really summer now. I get sweaty just walking a little bit. I didn't think Medjed would pounce on the Phantom Thieves. Interesting things keep happening this year. The influence of the Phantom Thieves knows no bounds. I underestimated it, honestly. <laughs> the influence of Beefcakes knows no bounds. Ah, don't underestimate the Beefcakes, Wink. I wonder what the public thinks of this. Are they entertained? Or perhaps inconvenienced? I hate this. They're entertained. Entertained, huh? A luxury for the uninvolved. I know they mean no ill intent. I do. Fuck you. So this is what the public <laughs> thinks. Oops. I don't have time for a conversation. My attendance has been poor due to interviews lately. Thank you for your valuable opinion. I'll see you around. The way that he just got a flex on me every single time that we see each other. He's like, oh my god, sorry. Like, my school totally exempts me from being on time because they know I have interviews and so many other things going on. But, like, you know, I just want to be so good and I want to come to class on time because I'm a good student. But, like, still, my school also lets me skip. Did you know? Did I mention? I don't get it. There hasn't been any news on the Phantom Thieves versus Medjet shutdown. Which one of them will come out on the top? They're both just criminals pretending to be heroes. You ask me, Medjay causes way more trouble. They attack every company they set their sights on. I see. Well, I just hope something happens soon. You gotta tell me. Who do you think will win? Na, 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 na. Wow! Mil Millie? Hey, your phone was buzzing earlier. Mi Millie? Um. Thank you for the redirect? Um. How long? <laughs> Wait, hasn't it been more than 12 hours? Um, Millie? Did you just finish playing Slay the Spire? I'm so worried. She did two streams? Oh my god. Oh, she's playing played up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And I checked her Slay the Spire stream, it said, like, streaming for six hours. And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Before this stream, I checked out Millie. Because I was like, Millie's still streaming? And then it was Slay the Spire for six hours. Hi, I love you. I love you, too! <laughs> Good luck on Persona 5. Thank you! A lot of messages from an unknown account. Nice to meet you. I'm the one they called Alibaba. Want to ask you something. You're a phantom thief, aren't you? Can you really steal Who hearts? Is this? Why does he know that you're a phantom thief? Is one of our teammates pulling a prank on you? There's someone whose heart I would like you to steal, but I'm not asking for charity. Let's make a deal. You wish to know about Medjed, correct? I can give you information on them if this change of heart is successful. If you desire, I can take care of them as well. Do you believe in my skills? I can track down their accounts just as you ha just have I have with yours. But this is but this is all I can prove at the moment. I prepared the necessary tools on my end. Look forward you to, respond it. to it. <laughs> this is so crazy. How should I respond? Who is this? I can't respond to the account to send a response to. All I get back is an error message. You can't reply back? What in the mystic messenger is going on right now? I don't know what this is all about, but we should probably let everyone know about this. Welcome back to Memory Siege! Medjed, what's happening to this country? Be hilarious if the honor student fell off the podium. Huh? Is it over for the Phantom Thieves? Hacking? I have no idea what that's like, but it sounds scary. You know, I forgot how fucked up this school is. 
Because everything else that's been going on has been happening outside of this school. That I forgot how corrupted all the faculty and the students in this school actually are. But all of these bitches are so fucked up and they are so jealous and they are literally pieces of shit. Oh my god, all of you, shut the hell up. I think they were getting a little cocky. They got what was coming for them. Considering he mentioned stealing hearts, he knows, doesn't he? Seems Wait. so. <laughs> but... Well, I, I guess. How were we found out? He may have traced our chat lock. How careless of us. But how would he have known all these details with just that? Do you think that there is another cause? Yeah. I'm not sure why, but that's the feeling I get. Hey, is it that easy to look at someone else's chat log? I don't mm. know much about it myself, but it's probably not impossible, I think. Well, considering the fact that you guys stand out here in the middle of nowhere, probably <laughs> in the middle of the most um, popular station in Tokyo, Kinda, <laughs> kinda aids. And because you have people who are very loud, Ryuji, who talk very loudly, Ryuji, about the situations that are at hand in the most public place. How's it done? Maybe they extracted our phone's data? Why is he getting an error when he tries to reply? Perhaps the receiving end doesn't exist. That's possible? Oh my god. Don't ask me everything. I told you that I don't know much about it. Wait, might this be what is referred to as hacking? <laughs> <laughs> then does that mean this guy's a hacker? Could these string of messages be referring to the word that is hacking? I don't get <laughs> high tech stuff. What does this all mean? They're all so silly. An unknown hacker contacted us. I see. I don't really get it. Then, is this person measured? I don't think so. I doubt it. Considering he says he wants to deal with them. That is, only if we take his words for face value. True. Hey, wouldn't it be great if we got this guy on our side? <laughs> But we know nothing about his identity at all. We can't trust him. I don't think it's a bad deal, though. I think Ryuji is kind of like gone from Hunter x Hunter. It just reminds me so much of him. Especially in that scene in the Chimera Ant arc when Gon is talking to Melon and Melon's like, Whoa, I'm not a bad guy. Just trust me, man. And Gon's like, Okay, I trust you. <laughs> Even if Alibaba turns out to be a criminal, I am not helping anyone of that sort. It's the same thing when Ryuji's like, what if we had this hacker join our team? <laughs> oh, right. That wouldn't be good. The I've prepared the necessary tool part makes no sense either. Could this just be a prank? He knows an awful lot for it to be a prank. If he knows who we are, won't we get caught? No, if he wanted to report us, I think he would have done it already. He must have some sort of objective of his own. I'm certain he'll contact us again. There's no telling when he'll do so, though. It'd be best if we stay together. If something happens, we can act at once. Yeah. Hmm. So, somewhere we can wait and hide for long hours. How about LeBlanc? Isn't that bad? Hmm. Your own home? <laughs> oh, what's with the big group? Good evening. We were thinking about putting together plans for our summer. Hmm. Is that a new face I see? It's nice to meet you. My name is Makoto Nijima. I hope we're not being a bother. You. She's our student council president. Nijima. Oh, 
Is something wrong? You have a sister? No, it's nothing. A student council president, eh? <laughs> I'm stunned. I hope he's not causing you too much trouble. I'm Sojiro Sakura, but everyone just calls me boss. By the way, that was addressed to you. <gasps> uh, this old man will get going and leave you kids be. All right, the store's all yours. Are you not going to open we the letter? We breaking news on Medjit, whose notoriety rose since their statement the other day. Oh, I'm so glad Yusuke is sitting on the couch. Just moments ago, a new message has been released on their website. They have announced their victory over the Phantom Thieves. Medjit also warns any Japanese citizens who praised the Phantom Thieves to stop doing so. We will report any further actions by Medjit as they arrive. Oh, come on! It's in English! <laughs> Hand it over to An! Let me see. The Phantom Thieves remain silent at our question. What this is This proves that we Uki. are just. Thank you, Uki, for the redirect. Thank you! People of Japan, wake up. You must not worship the Phantom Thieves. What? That's bullshit! Keep listening. People of Japan, please worship the Phantom Thieves. Because I want... To be loved. <laughs> we will discipline any who worship them. The punishment is the confiscation of possessions. What? We are Medjed. We are unseen. We will eliminate evil. That's what it Hello, says. Welcome. What does that all mean? They're saying that they'll target sympathizers of the Phantom Thieves. Man. I know this situation, everything sucks and all, but like having a house party like this looks so fun. What is with this? This whole entire, this whole entire time we've been playing is just me being like, I wish I had friends. Confiscation of possessions, hmm? Perhaps bank accounts or personal information. <laughs> Either way, it won't be anything pleasant. Why the hell are we being singled out? Perhaps all they care about is labeling the Phantom Thieves as crooks. That all this wouldn't have happened had the Phantom Thieves not existed. That's complete bullshit! Talk about a troublesome organization that we've been targeted by. Isn't there anything we can do? It's certain we can't do anything about this on our own. True. Time to reply! Hey, so, what's this letter about? Oh yeah, what is it? Don't need in any there? more trouble. It's rare for you to get something like this. Yeah, what is it? <gasps> A calling card? Anything else in there? Who's this from, anyway? There's no stamp on it. Someone must have directly dropped it into the mailbox here. Could it have been Alibaba? That reminds me. He did mention something about preparing the necessary tool. Don't tell me. Is this what he was talking about? What the hell's going on here? All we can do at the moment is wait for Alibaba's orders. Let's brace ourselves and stand by. In case anything comes up. Is this your first time playing P5? It is! It is. Oh dear. It's my first time playing. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> oh, Mishima. I really started turning the heat up from the forum. I put a special post up and everything. Showdown between the Just Phantom Thieves and the global organization Medjet is here. Reactions have been great too. Everyone's really engaged. So far, most of the comments have been pro Phantom Thieves. Most likely because that's what happened in the Kaneshiro case. Those, are the, uh, those on the other side are saying Medjet are the hackers of justice. But there's nothing resembling justice in what they do. Someday I want the whole site to be filled with pro thieves comments. Looking forward to when that day finally he can arrives. He look forward to whatever he wants. We have no means of striking back against Medjet. We're gonna be in deep trouble if we don't do something. First, that Alibaba character, and now a blank calling card. What the hell is going on? Hey! A 
lot. A lot. What else should I be? Please don't take off my mask. Hey. Yeah, for my um Magazine showcasing date spots geared towards adults? <gasps> My God. No, Riz book? I already read it. She always found it in her heart to show mercy to others. Mm. Female Pope. Oh, we talked about this in class. Whoa. The blind soul gave her strength to the people. Whoa, I've never seen this angle before. People in that era made up the mysterious female pope, but she's still an inspirational figure. Oh, Joanna loves so many. Reading about her must have taught you the value mm -hmm. of forgiveness. <sighs> well, I guess we should go to sleep. Staying up too late isn't healthy, you know. It's not? the phantom thief said anything <laughs> having your money stolen sounds terrifying unsettling not knowing what they're gonna do to us they declared their victory what does that mean really wish they'd stop that good morning oh <sighs> every day is so hot i empty my water bottle so fast by the way summer break is coming up could i ask what your plans are senpai Got nothing. I see. Oh, so you're not the type to make plans in advance, I see. Maybe we'll have a chance to practice some more. Be sure to give you proper instructions. Let me know when you're available, Senpai. Oh, the train is here. Let's get going then. She's so cute! Hey, your phone's buzzing. Alibaba message you? Uh, it's just Ryuji. <laughs> Nothing? Let us know ASAP if he tries to get in touch with you, okay? Oh, it's just Ryuji. Ryuji again? He just never shuts up, does he? I'm pretty sure this is not gonna be him. Good day! <laughs> Good day to you, too. Ah, you responded today. Once again, I am Alibaba. You're a leader of the Phantom Thieves, correct? Who are you again? I already said, I'm Alibaba. I think you received the calling card. So it really was from this guy. Are you at school right now? Who are you again? I'll answer that question as many times as is necessary. I am Alibaba. <laughs> Now then, I have prepared the calling card for you. When are you gonna steal it? Who are you again? I'll keep answering if you keep insisting on asking. I am Alibaba. Aren't you able to steal a heart as long as you have a calling Tell card? Me. We need the name of the target. What's the name of the, what's the target's name? A name? Is your heart thievery truly impossible without such information? Just tell me. I see. Hmm, I suppose past calling cards did have names on them. One moment. Very well. I will tell you. I believe their name was Taba Sakura. If you fail this mission, I will expose your identity to the world and to the police. Well then, I shall be continuing on. Well, I, I'll be continuing on you. Wait, what? I'll be continuing on you. We shall speak again after the change of heart. Who are you? Counting? Continuing? Con counting? I can't read. <laughs> I 
I can't find the account to send a response to. All I get back is an error message. So he threatened you, then just took off? Sakura? I feel like I've heard that name before. Me too. And Naruto. In any case, we should let everyone know about this. We're gonna get reported if we don't do this? What the hell? Futaba Sakura? Wasn't Sakura? It's boss's last name! It is! Does he have any family? Does he? I don't know! For reals? How laid back are you? He's just... I'm just living in his attic! Wouldn't you normally be introduced at least? I mean, you are living at his place. Well, his situation does make things difficult. Do you think that he's gonna want to introduce me to his family, okay? I was brought to his place as a criminal! The calling card was delivered to Boss's house. It'd be more natural to assume this is all related. One of the reasons for that is because Alibaba mentioned nothing about which Futaba Sakura. Perhaps he thinks that the name alone is enough. That makes sense. What? I believe it's adequate for us to think that this is the doing of someone close by. I see. I don't know how Alibaba got a hold of his smartphone information. However, since he's ordering us through chat, I do feel as though he's taunting us. You mean, this might just be a prank? I mean, look at his demands. Pay me if you don't want me to leak who you really are. That I'd understand. But he's telling us to steal someone's heart without explaining why. I mean... So we're being tested. Regardless, I think we should ask Boss about Futaba Sakura once. That's probably for the best. <gasps> There's nothing else we can do at the moment, and Chief might have an idea on what this is about, too. I'll check the school's roster just in case. We must make sure Boss doesn't figure out who we are. We'll have to go about this cautiously. What? Hmm? What's up? <laughs> Beef! Beef! Why do you know about that? It's got nothing to do with you. I'm going home. Make sure you lock up the place. Uh-oh. Wait! Oh my god. Okay. When she sent the name, I was like, yeah, they have the same last name, but I didn't think it was gonna mean anything. But also, it's a, it's a game, so it makes sense that in the story they are related, because why would they just use the same last name for two different characters? But like, oh my god, is that your daughter? Norway. Looks like it's a hit. What? Oh my god, I was like, yeah, whatever. It's just a cute name. <sighs> I'm silly. Oh, I just remembered. Crown, were you able to ask boss about Tama Sakura? He didn't want to talk. Oh, I think I double clicked by accident. Give me a reason as to why that was? Hmm. Alibaba might be our only hope in defeating Medjed. I wish we could get some info about Futaba. Ah, uh, I wish we could get some info about Futaba out of boss. Trying to force it out would probably have the opposite effect. To be honest, I owe a great deal to both boss and ground. I don't wish for this to be a source of discord between them. Yeah, I know just what you mean. Probably the best way for boss to bring the subject up himself. Look, guys, after six and a half hours of continuous reading, your, your brain goes a little crazy. Actually, I'm always crazy. You should be used to this. Also, reading Totemo Muzukashi. <laughs> Doesn't look like making Alibaba talk will be easy. I wonder how we're gonna get the information we need. Really, is six hours? Yeah, almost seven. I don't know 
when to stop because I'm invested. <laughs> fought a single enemy this stream? No, no, we fought five slimes. Don't forget the slimes. I'm gonna ask Kawakami to do it for you? <gasps> Customers and Sojo leave the cafe at that time. Be aware of this if you have any business with them. Hey. Doesn't this cost me money? Becky, I'm really sorry, but I'm off today. Oh, wait, it's you. I'm off today, but if you just want housekeeping, I don't mind. Still work, so I head over after I change. Hold on for a bit. Thank you for your continued patronage. That'll be 5,000 yen. Oof. Hmm, so you just want me to make some coffee, right? Hey! Don't you ask someone to brew some... Oh, so I have to do something else now. Maybe I'll read a book then. Boost. Oh, proficiency. Have I gone to the shop to sell stuff? No, mm. I haven't recently. I should. I was thinking about that. Thank you for the super chat. Oh. Thank you, thank you. Gaze upon clutter with a heart detached from desire. Answer will then come to you. Hmm. Tidying the heart. Planning it as a way to speak to your heart. I've never thought of it that way. Reading this book must have taught you how to contemplate and think more efficiently. Mm. Huh. <sighs> Guess we should go to sleep. Staying up too late isn't healthy for you, you know? And then we're gonna drink a cup of coffee? Hi! Thank you for waiting! Here you go! Alright, I'll see you later. Yo. Oh, God. Tomorrow's the end of the first semester, but ugh, we still got all this lame shit coming up. If you don't take care of this lame shit, you can kiss your summer vacation goodbye. <laughs> oh, yeah. About this Futaba Sakura girl. Yeah. If she's related to Boss, think people living nearby would know about her? That's oh. some keen intuition coming from you, Ryuji. You should have made use of that on your exams. Ugh. I never want to think about exams ever again. <laughs> anyway, asking around in your neighborhood might be the fastest way to figure this shit out. And again, I doubt it'll be that easy. It never is. Summer vacation starts the day after tomorrow, but don't forget, there's an urgent assembly on Monday. We'll be taking attendance. Usual number of strange incidents this year. Don't do anything stupid over the break. Got it? Don't go someplace shady like the red light district and don't go to the beach after dark. I wanna go to the beach. I wanna jump in some cold <sighs> water. Seems like we won't be having fun on our summer break for a while. Why not? Who cares what the teacher says? Let's do it. Anyways. Mm. Ryuji might be right. We don't have a single clue. Might as well try. Got nothing to lose. Let's head to Yogan and gather info around the neighborhood. What's your favorite persona, game, character? This is the only one I've ever played, so I'm not sure to be honest. Ah! That's 
scared me. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Daba, Daba. Yes, I know that name. Heard it somewhere before. Ah, yes, that was the name of the teacher I had a crush on back when I was in elementary school. Let's have some other people too. <laughs> Actual persona? I think I'm an Uzume. I'm attached. <laughs> Daba, who knows? By the way, do you eat a lot? Hey, I'm a grown boy. If it's just you and him, then you've been eating enough for two, right? Must be quite the appetite. What, you're telling me you don't actually eat that much? Maybe it's boss who eats a lot then. That's just some other people. Daba, who's that? I don't think I know anybody by that name. Hmm, wonder you... But wouldn't this Daba get angry if they find out you're snooping on them though? Let's ask some other people. Daba? No, no, I don't know who that could be. Let's ask some other people. You guys don't know anything! That guy's on single, right? I thought you didn't have any children. Hmm? Do you want to listen in? Do you think the phantom themes are a danger to society? Send us your opinions by email or fax. What's this rubbish about phantom themes? They're not real. There's no way people like that are real. Nothing to do with the topic at hand. Vintage game console. Could I actually sell it if I threw some games? I'm not really sure anyone would buy a game console this old though. Can I help you? Do you know Daba Sakura? Daba? We do get the occasional young and coming and poking around, but I'm afraid I don't know them by the mm. name. Ask someone else. Mm. Game console. I want a game. Mm. Probably not today. <laughs> Game? Yeah, you could say I'm somewhat of a gamer. Mm. Who else do I ask? Who am I missing? Maybe I just go back home. Hey, hey! Oh, go to his house. You guys are so smart. anyone like that. How does that guy sends out often to make deliveries, but I've never seen who you're talking about. So, up until now, our biggest lead seems to be the chief buys a lot of food. Far more than enough for one person living alone. Let's check out all the shops where you can buy food. Wait. She lives in his basement? Oh. This is close to LeBlanc, so we might be able to learn something here. Hey there, welcome. Hmm, Futaba? Over at Sakura-san's? I haven't heard anything. Uh, sorry. Come again! Hmm, we didn't find anything on Futaba. I think our only option now is to go home and ask the chief directly. Oh god. Rank this game's OSD from 1 to 10? <sighs> Ten. You read the letter, did you not? 
So you're the one who tipped him off about Futaba. You really shouldn't have done that. I have no intention of talking to you about Wakaba. Tipped off? What are you talking about? Back to the matter at hand. Your parental authority will have to be suspended. I take it you're okay with that outcome? What? What? Considering the state of your daughter and your family overall, there are no points in your favor. Would you like to take this to domestic court? Our chances of victory are roughly 99.9% .9 though. With these suspicions of abuse, there's no way you could avoid having your custody revoked. What? You're going that far? I told you I don't know a damn thing about it! We're extremely serious about this. As long as there's a possibility that cognitive science can be linked to psychotic breakdowns. Fine. You win. Thank you. I will contact you at a later date. I doubt you'll find anything you want to hear, though. That's fine. It will be up to us to decide whether the information you give us is useful or not. What? Next time I come here, it will just be for a nice cup of coffee. If we let you through the door, bitch. And stay out! That woman is real good at pissing people off. You tell him. What's with that look? You got something to say? What was that? This doesn't involve you. Is that about your daughter? Uh, that's enough. Just behave yourself and keep going to school if you don't want me to throw you out of here. Uh. You got that? Lock the store up. Well, that basically confirms Futaba exists, at least. But it sounds like she's got her own problems. More so, our conjecture that Alibaba is connected to LeBlanc seems to have a pretty solid foundation. Oh, and didn't they mention cognitive something? I wonder what the chief's hiding. We can't really press him on the subject, though. Especially after he mentioned throwing you out. That's very true. Beep, 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 beep. How'd it go? Find out anything about Futaba Sakura? I'm wondering about that too. I'll tell you tomorrow. Whoa! So you did learn something. Fine work. I knew we could count on you. Ground crew, thank you. All right, let's meet up tomorrow. Shit. Shit. Been searching on my hey. Boost knowledge, knowledge, knowledge. Everything is about knowledge. Good or evil, the threat of the medjed can fell all over the world. What are your thoughts? Oh. Cool, cool, cool. Little oh. magazine. They were like gentlemen thieves targeting evil corporations, but now they're just glory seeking hackers. Sort of like us phantom thieves. And that nobody knows exactly who they are. That section on computer security was difficult, but I'm sure you gained some knowledge from it. <sighs> Guess we should go to sleep. Staying up too late isn't healthy. Stop by the library? I don't... It just keeps... A woman was threatening the boss? <laughs> yeah. She was going on about domestic abuse and taking the case to court and stuff. Oh. What's up? It's nothing. Did this woman happen to be wearing all black and have hair pushed to one side? So to summarize what you told us, Futaba is boss's daughter. And he's abusing her? I don't know him very well. Is he really the kind of person who would do that? There's no way. I would like to believe so as well, but we don't have any conclusive evidence, do we? Alibaba? Is it Alibaba? I've given you a calling card and told you the target's name. You should be ready for this. Why aren't you doing it? Told you I'd help you if you stole her heart. What seems to be the holdup? 
I also said I'd report your identity to the police if you don't help me. Are you okay with that? I'm serious a here. Selfish person. Well, he does have information on us. Anyways, this Futaba he's talking about have a palace? If so, I need keywords to get in. Try messaging him about it. Tell me her keywords. Keywords? What are you talking about? Are you just saying random stuff to dodge the what issue? What are we supposed to do about this? What's going on? <laughs> Delcio, thank you for the redirect. <laughs> so many people today are redirecting. <laughs> Hello, Pio. Hello, Pio. Thank you for the redirect. I hope you had a great stream. Thank you! We'd be able to figure out Alibaba's identity if we could just meet with him. Try asking him if there's any way we could meet up. Dinosaur? Eat? Beef cakes? <gasps> no! Please do not eat the beef cake! <laughs> I want to meet you. Meet? With me? That'll be difficult. I have reason for not being able to go out. That's why I'm contacting you, you like this. You can't go out? Wait, I get it. You steal people's hearts directly. That might make things difficult. Extremely difficult. One moment. I'm thinking. Okay, it's a shame, but I'm calling this deal off. Stop looking into Futaba Sakura. Forget this ever happened. I won't report you to the police either. Don't worry. Sorry for taking your time. Now if you excuse me... Wait a second! I said the deal's off. We're never going to speak again. Don't expect me to contact you anymore either. We're not done here. Can't respond to the account and send a response. All I get back is an error message. Huh? What? Did he just shut the whole operation down? This doesn't make any sense. Not only can Alibaba not go out, but he won't let us meet Futaba either. Well, it's none of our business now. We can't contact him anymore. But what do we do about Medjed? We won't be able to get Alibaba to help us with them now. Maybe they were just pranking us. They made that huge declaration, but they ain't done nothing since. <laughs> I bet we got them freaked out. Mm, you mean they backed out because they're afraid we'll change their hearts? Yep. And now it'd just make them look lame if they came out and apologized. But... I guess with Alibaba and Medjet out of the picture, can we just say this case is closed? What? You do have a point. But Medjet is not out of the picture. I guess it is safe for us to relax a little. Oh yeah! Remember Kaneshiro's treasure? Prepare to have your minds blown! We got 150,000 yen out of it! Now give it to me. That's awesome! We can really go all out with that kind of money! Yeah! Let's make up for what happened at the fireworks festival. Gotta go eat something fitting for the Phantom Thieves' worldwide debut. Where would be good? Ooh, sushi. how about sushi? sushi. <gasps> we could really go for some eel, too. Oh my god. He's perfect. The best method is to fill yourself on ginger before beginning to eat sushi. That is my master technique. You don't need to do that this time. Actually, definitely don't do it, okay? I'm all for sushi. You're okay with that too, right? Yes! Then it's decided. All right, we'll go tomorrow night. Yay! Wonder if all that Medjet business was just a prank. Now that I think about it calmly, it's strange that they haven't actually done anything yet. Their goal is to target the Phantom Thieves. They should want to be acting now, given our fame. Hmm, when you put it that way, it kind of makes me wonder too. Especially after they taunted us. Especially after they taunted us theoretically like that. Yes, however, it would be best for us to come up with a countermeasure regardless. For now though, we should we should cautiously enjoy the sushi. That's all we can do. Yuji number one. Agreed, 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 and agreed. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Something's not right. I was thinking that too. I can't really put it into words though. Hmm, this goes right. Oh, I'm sorry for bringing this up. On the day before our celebration party too. Cheer up, Makoto. We'll be eating sushi like kings tomorrow. Hope one person in particular is on their best behavior. I refrain from saying who. 
You better not be talking about me. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice the fruiting in the window. That's so cute. Mm. Do you think Alibaba calling off the deal has anything to do with the chief? It's so hard to tell what the truth of the situation is. The fooding in the window and the little Katori Senko. It looks so cute. The little piggy Katori Senko. I guess I can raise my charm if I make coffee. Let's make coffee. I'm gonna make it myself. Because I want charm. Oh. Yes! Alright. The way you're drinking it makes it look so delicious. Looks like the chief's gentlemanly charm is rubbing off on you. We should rest now, have a big day tomorrow. But he won't walk in and tell us that we're doing a good job because he's mad at us! You seem quite busy, Sai-san. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kaneshiro. <laughs> And to make matters worse, Mejid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. <laughs> How much more can they screw us over? Stress is bad for the skin, you know. Shut the hell up! Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? Hmm. You may think it absurd. Yeah. But, don't you think the case you're pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What are you basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. Stop being a little smart mouth and just get out with it, man. These just phantom thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? Oh my god! Shut the hell up. You were who were uh, you were the one who was on the phone with the old bald man? I'm literally face palming. There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. Oh my god. This shitty little smile. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. No, it hasn't! I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, sai -san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Wait. What? What does this sentence mean? The guardian of the mental shutdown victim's daughter. Oh, so Taba's parent was mental shutdown and... Sojudo is the guardian of her right now. Nothing at all. I see. They're probably okay. Makes sense. So it's not his daughter. Probably his niece. Or it's his brother or sister or someone related to him. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the phantom thieves without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. <laughs> Very well. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No, not at all. Shut the hell up, you liar. Well then, to our victory. Don't whisper those words into my ear, bitch. Leave this facility. Let me okay. enjoy my snack in peace. I'm for sushi! <gasps> and 
Ginza? Um... Damn! All right. Ginza sushi bar? My god. Invite people who may enjoy eating expensive sushi to hang out with you there? Who the fuck? I went to a sushi place in Ginza with Pomo and Finana before. <laughs> Man, the flounder is out of this world. Mm, that texture. Uh, I don't see any prices listed here. It's called market price. Don't worry about it. We got the cash. Oh, so good. Hey, is the fatty tuna ready yet? <laughs> Eat your horses and don't talk. By the way. Yes. Is boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? No. That again? I can't get it off my mind. Especially if it means he could be taken to court. What kind of person is he? Do you truly believe he'd do such a thing? Not a chance. Hmm. If it's really true about the abuse, he'd be a no good jerk pretending to be a guardian. Maybe the chief is the one who needs a change of heart. No! Hold on a sec. About that. I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nav. That's smart. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Right. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. That's so smart. Oh my god. Um, notice in this art she has yellow hair clip when usually she has red one. What I mentioned before, everybody, about them being very small details. Wait, you think Alibaba could be Boss's ex-wife? Oh. <laughs> he must have cheated on her, and that's where Futaba came from. What? Doubtful. Your imagination has run rampant. <laughs> How foolish. Mm. Still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. What if he tell you that the price is like a bajillion dollars? Man, and it's all thanks to us being the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that out loud in a restaurant? Crap. Uh... Um, the th th fan fantastic! This sushi is delicious. I can't believe we get blackmailed. The Ruji's like, how how does this happen? How could people figure out who we are? All thanks to the fact that we are the Phantom Thieves. I hate I hate him. <laughs> Yeah! The fish is so fresh. <laughs> Everywhere we go, we hear about these phantom thieves. What rubbish. Think about where we are, Ryuji. Yeah. Sorry, it just kind of slipped. <laughs> My apologies for bringing up boss again. We should just enjoy the food. It's okay. What you brought up could not be as bad as what this guy ever said. my son. What are you doing here? What's going on? Akechi kun. Akechi? You're the ones from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima san? Do you know this guy? It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Stupid little vest. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. What the hell? How do you know my name? Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. <laughs> Don't say that, he'll believe joking. you. <laughs> In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're a former pupil of Madarame, right? He will literally believe you if you tell him that you are a psychic. I have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. Wow. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? Do you think Akechi knows? Um, yeah. <laughs> He's probably... Uh, I feel like, well... 
students who go to Shujin Academy who... Former pupil of Madarame hanging out together. One plus one does indeed equal two. <laughs> or? Their website was updated just a moment ago. For real? Die English again. Wait, what? What's it say? Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Oh, um... Um... She's, uh, a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. Uh, a total nut job for him. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. What is with these comments? My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation. But I must say, this is an interesting group. That's what I'm saying! It's so... Prosecutor Nijima's sister, an <laughs> ex-pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. Uh... It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. Uh... Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Regarding this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? Ignore them. <laughs> that is unexpected. Only a small minority of people believe that is the best decision. Psych! I'm not gonna ignore them, but I'm gonna tell them the opposite of what we do so that he thinks that we are not the Phantom Thieves because the Phantom Thieves are gonna act on it. But me? I'm gonna tell him I'm gonna ignore them, but actually, I'm gonna fight them. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. The fake out! Coach says to fake right and break left. That's me. If anything, we want to hear what you gotta say, Mr. Detective. <laughs> no, don't call me. Don't call me Yagami Light. Do not, do not say that. My profiling of the Phantom Thieves has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Well, uh, yeah, hideout to slip away to, definitely. Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group <laughs> you have here. Uh, what? What? You gonna report us? I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. <laughs> no fucking way that this is... <laughs> Me? You're siding with him? I wasn't anticipating that response. You always find a way to rise above <laughs> my expectations. You really are an intriguing one. I lack your calm mannerisms, but don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? I bet we'd make a great team if we work together. <laughs> is he trying to say something? Why is he winking at me? What the hell are you saying? <laughs> what? He's just like me. Well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. What was that about? Do you think he's ascertained our true identities? Um, yes. <laughs> nah, couldn't be. Right? Yes! I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but maybe best to be cautious from now on. We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. True, but it's not as though he had tangible evidence to prove that discovery. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Medjet. Oh yeah, what did they write? Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. Oh God. As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. For real? Keep going. For However, real? we are magnanimous. We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. 
as proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities <gasps> to the public. We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. We are Majed, we are unseen, we will eliminate evil. That's what it says. Mm, sounds bad. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Majed will attack Japan, correct? It seems they are quite the attention seekers. What are we gonna do about this? Oh god! If only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to Leblanc? We can talk more over there. Oh my god! We went god. through all sorts of options on our way here, but... Looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He's gonna message right now. He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Now. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. Now. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Now. Actually, he may be closer than we think. Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Why? Would he truly be able to discern <laughs> that just from cell phone messages? You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Wait! Alibaba what? was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. But, boss? However, according to the circumstances he put forth, He's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me, Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. Okay, that's what I thought initially, but then she was telling- She was like pushing it in a different direction. For real? So she's asking that we steal her own heart? Oh my god, okay. Cool. That's what I thought was going on, but then I was like, wait. Maybe so she true. wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? Yep, I know where his house is. I agree. It's real late, though. What are we going to tell Boss when we get there? It's not late, it's evening. We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. But my fatty tuna! Fuck your fatty tuna! No complaint. <laughs> we gotta Let's all take go together. it. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. Everyone together. Nobody's answering. But the lights are on. Think she's napping? Even Boss would have woken up with how many times we've rung this doorbell. <laughs> I would think Futaba would have answered by now if she were here, too. Ah! Oh, the gate is unlocked. <laughs> you scared no! Dude, you can't go open in other people's stuff like that. But look, the door seems to be slightly open as well. Oh my god! I wonder why. That's rather careless. And it's raining. It sounds like it's going oh to rain. Oh my god. We should get inside. Holy shit. No way. Do you think that's okay? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> my apologies, boss. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> uh, hello, sir? He's not out, is he? The door ahead is open, and... I can hear the TV. This is like a this is like a horror movie. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, boss is kind of old, ain't he? Oh my god. I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Please excuse us. The music! Ah! Ah! Scream? What was that? How should I know? Please? Can we just go? Yeah, 
EMF level five! <laughs> what are you freaking out for? Uh, I'm not freaking out! Could it be Alibaba? I mean, <gasps> Futaba? <laughs> Sorry, um, can I hold your hand? <gasps> I'll have to wipe it on my pants real quick. Oh, sorry. All right, it's dry now. That's not even my hand! I can sense someone's presence. Who is it? Who's there? I can't take this anymore. I'm leaving. Uh oh. Well, girl, I guess we're done for. <laughs> Where did she go? Alibaba! Futaba! Hey! Come on! Where are you? Oh my god, Makoto's so cute! Hide, right? Just show yourself! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! Please save me, sis! Are you okay, Futaba? Crap, he's home! <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell are you? Don't move! It's me! You hear me? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, sis! Somebody please save me! Aww. You? What are you doing in my house? You're... Oh, uh, good... Good evening, sir. Uh, we... Uh, we didn't mean to intrude. <laughs> Nijima-san. Wait, are, are you two dating? <laughs> well, we're just friends. Uh, friends nowadays get that close to each other? Only when you're me. <laughs> oh, boss, I learned from the best. But that's not it. This... Um... <laughs> Uh, things happened, and... <laughs> you kids are here, too? Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we ring the bell. The door was unlocked, too. We could hear the TV, though, so we got worried you might have passed out or something. The door was unlocked? Yes. <sighs> I do that sometimes. Guess I'm getting old. Um, excuse me, there's something we'd like to ask. Huh? You want to ask me? A girl with there's the someone else living here, isn't there? Yeah, my daughter. What? Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san too? <laughs> uh, um... Is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I mean... I think we may have frightened her earlier, so we'd like to apologize if at all possible. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, no it's not no, like that. she's not sick. She's a neat. Even worse. <sighs> I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. <laughs> what? Now, where do I start? Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. Oh, so it is his daughter. She was sharp-witted. Somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. She truly was a great woman. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that'd change after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't her do much. Her kid? Mm. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than Oh, that. okay, I see. 
It's not his daughter. It's his daughter. What about her father? There wasn't a father. Do you mean... Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. She was single when she gave birth yeah, to Futaba. Yeah, you get it. And single yeah. when she raised her. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> but one day, she left. Leaving Futaba behind. <laughs> Yusuke was fully ready to believe in a virgin birth. <laughs> I don't know what Yusuke believes in. <laughs> This is such a this is such an emotional scene. Why do you guys always have to type these things? <laughs> yes. She committed suicide. No. Suicide. Threw herself into the street. Right in front of Futaba's eyes. Oh, but we know that that's not true. Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. It's gotta be devastating for a kid. So... Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. Well, we know that... Well, we know that she has passed, but we know... what happened. But the characters on the screen don't know. But because of the last conversation, we know that she was she was affected by the mental shutdowns because they referred to Futaba's mom as a mental shutdown case. First, she was so depressed, she... she wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. That's when I found Five out... Five head. Futaba blames herself for her mother's what? death. What?! What?! But why? That part she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that. But I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared. Even when nothing was happening, she'd say things like, I hear voices and mom is looking at me. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What about you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. That's pretty harsh. Futaba is, well, a unique girl. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. <laughs> it seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. Oh, he's such a good man! He's housing her and beef. Don't worry about it. Thanks. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. Aww. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. He's such a good man! What does Futaba want? I don't know. She just asks me for things that she wants. Like food or these complicated books. Well, that's that. So, can you just leave her be? Mm. I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. This is so difficult! I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, <gasps> can't do anything about it herself. No! Will changing her heart really help her, though? No, it won't. If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. 
possible. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? Oh! What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Huh? Where's Morgana? I haven't seen him for some time. So, ever since we went inside Boss's house? Somewhere around there. He'll be fine, though. He's a cat after all. Wait. The trains are gonna be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. What? We have to go to school in the morning after all. Maybe Futaba took... Oh, Cat. right. The urgent assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjet called out the Phantom Thieves. So, they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. I mean, it is our fault. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. <sighs> no way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? What the...? She's got one! So someone can have a palace, even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana... <gasps> Where did Morgana go? I don't know, but... <laughs> we can go outside! Morgana and I might pass each other. I should wait until tomorrow. Morgana hasn't come back yet. Wonder where Morgana went. <laughs> Morgana hasn't come back yet. <laughs> I should go to bed. Were you just going to go to sleep without even wondering where I was? Actually, it was the opposite. I was trying to do that, but Beef wouldn't let me not wonder where you were. I take it the Chief told you about Futaba? And then you guys disbanded in relief for now? Where were you? Hmm. You can't underestimate my intel gathering skills, you know. I was checking out the Chief's house. I didn't think our Alibaba would be so young. Young? Yeah? What was she like? She had long hair and a pretty young sounding voice. Well, I say young, but I think she's probably about the same age as you guys. At the very least, she's surely no amateur. She completely overheard your conversation with the chief. And she can hack into our chats, too. Even if she can't take Medjed down directly, she might have some kind of lead on them. Just who is she? In any case, We'll need to rely on Futaba to get closer to Medjet. Well, let's meet up again tomorrow. How about we do it in here? It's way too hot outside. Anyway, make sure you let everyone know. What? Oh my god, there's like no stopping point at all. <laughs> we gonna go forever. Futaba Sakura? She had one of these palaces? Hold on. While Medjid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? Are you surprised? 
That should be obvious. I mean, Medjid was... What you said about the Sakura family generally falls in line with our investigation. It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. Finally listening? <laughs> if you're lucid enough for jabs, you can get back to your story. It's still unclear <laughs> to us as to how the Phantom Thieves dealt with Medjed since their identity is unknown. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe you. Seems she's starting to seriously listen to what I have to say. Level two. Ooh. All right. Still, to think the Phantom Thieves would have their hideout in the home of Wakaba Ishiki's daughter. <laughs> what a coincidence. No. Perhaps it's fate. Okay, I'm gonna assume that's Futaba's mom. Regardless, we don't have time to waste. Continue with your story. Seriously? They're seriously holding an emergency meeting right now when summer break is starting? I guess they need to set some rules when the world's eyes are on us because of the Phantom Thieves. Stuff like, don't do anything that'll hurt the school's reputation, spend your summer break quietly. I can't. I can't stay quiet with all this excitement going on. That just statement was insane. People of Japan, you must not worship the Phantom Thieves, they said. That could be a joke. There's talk that it could lead to the biggest leak of private data to date. Wonder if they're gonna target another site. I'm curious to see how the Phantom Thieves react. That's what I'm looking forward to the most this summer. It'll be the perfect escape from exam studies. But the Phantom Thieves need to make But the Phantom Thieves need to take action. They're the ones Medjet is after. <sighs> this is bigger than I thought. We can't leave this be. You're right. Yep. Let's get this assembly out of the way. We have our own business to attend to. Morning! Oh hey ground, morning, hmm? Something over there? Come on, let's go. We're gonna be late. Assembly during summer vacation? Are they crazy? Our school's done for. I don't care what the principal has to say. They're so stupid. I wish I could change our, their hearts. Why not make a post? Our request might be taken. <laughs> Wait! Man, that assembly had me bored to tears. I wanted to listen to the assembly. Huh? Did you have school too, Yusuke? I'm doing laundry, so these are the only clothes I had to wear. You really should buy a couple more outfits. Come now, we didn't gather here to make small talk, now did we? Why not? We're friends. Let's get to Alibaba's case. Well then, I'll start. It looks like Futaba was listening in on LeBlanc. But why would she want to listen in on the cafe? I have no idea. It's just like Boss said. She's a tough nut to crack. In any case, her hacking skills will be absolutely necessary if we wish to stand up to Medjet. Going by what she has told us, we may even be able to identify who they are. We'll have to trust in her skills for now, then. Anyway, we found out that Futaba has a palace. But can someone who isn't evil have one? That doesn't matter. A palace is the materialization of distorted cognitions brought about by strong desires. That's all. It just so happens that a lot of warped people turn out evil. Makes sense. She's so young, though. Pain she's gone through must be the cause of her distortion. Maybe that has something to do with why she calls herself Alibaba. According to the Chief's story, Futaba has auditory and visual hallucinations, right? There's a chance Alibaba. those are related to some important memories she's holding. It's hard to explain, but those memories may have been warped by the distortions. Basically, we just gotta steal her treasure, right? Well, yeah. So, do we all agree about taking on Futaba's palace? She's asked us to do so. I don't think that part is an issue. If we heal Futaba's heart, it will not only help Boss, but she can then assist us with Medjet. I agree. I've been wondering about how Boss said a lot happened after Futaba's mom died, too. Hold on a second. But is this really the best way to handle it? We can't just talk? Our investigation of her palace may not go like anything we've done up to this point. Why's that? 
Having an individual ask you to steal their heart is an extremely irregular case. There's no telling what the palace ruler's disposition will be like, or the distortion that'll be there. We may run into some unforeseen situations. Do you still want to go in? Let's do it. All right. Let's just make sure we're cautious. Well, let's get cracking on those keywords, huh? The ones we have at the moment are Futaba Sakura and Sojiro Sakura's house. We got the who and the where, so all that's left is the what, right? Let us try going to their house first. <laughs> Boss is busy running the cafe, isn't he? We should make sure he doesn't suspect anything. Important memories, huh? I'll be able to remember everything if I turn back into a human, right? I hope so. That has to be the case. I... definitely want this mission to succeed. If we can retrieve Futaba's memories, then I bet we can get mine back too. In any case, it's not every day you stumble upon a hacker like her around. You really do have a gift, don't you? I'm just lucky. You sure live up to my expectations. Level up. Cool. Allows you to craft. Ooh, all, all infiltration right. tools. Hey, they went on without us. Let's hurry and catch up to them. Now the last keyword. She's a shut-in, so we just gotta figure out what she thinks her house is. Um, her room? If she can't get out, maybe a prison? Perhaps a labyrinth with an unknown exit. Conditions have not been met. Maybe an oasis? Nothing so far. In like a safe place. We don't have nearly enough clues. Her room. If only we could ask her directly. We can! Come on, let's go see Futaba. <gasps> but what will we say to get in? What do you mean? We're sneaking in. Oh my god. You have to be joking. Won't the door be locked for sure this time? I'll take care of that. Oh, oh no! I figured out where Futaba's room was when I snuck in last night. What if we run into Boss, though? There's no way we'll be able to avoid his questions. He's at work now, so I think we should be fine. Oh. Getting cold feet, Makoto? <laughs> Don't worry, it'll be nothing. We've gone through loads of shit like this already. This is our only choice, right? They're so dumb! I suppose Futaba did get in contact with him. Perhaps she'll at least be willing to speak with him? Maybe. Very well, let's do this. This is Futaba's room. Oh my god, they made it. Futaba-chan... You're in there, right? There's no answer. Futaba-chan, are you there? The little sticker on the do not enter is so I'm sorry cute. for being startled and screaming yesterday. It was so dark that I got scared. No reaction whatsoever. Ah, this is gonna be hard. You're listening, right, Alibaba? Ah! Is it Alibaba? Why are you here? Why is she only reacting to that name? You're Futaba Sakura, aren't you? She She's probably watches again. VTubers. This one might be tough. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Does she not like us saying her name? We don't have time to dally around. We need her keyword before dealing with Alibaba's identity. We want to learn more about you. If we don't do so, we can't steal your heart. The reason why we came here is because we need the keyword to enter your palace. That's why we want to talk with Futaba Sakura herself, and not Alibaba. So pretty good. You don't have to show yourself, just answer some questions for us. Chat messages are fine. Okay. All right then. Our leader, the guy who lives in LeBlanc's attic, wants to speak with you. We're counting on you. Try and get a keyword Oh god. Out what do you want to hear? What's this house? What's this house to you? A house is a Looks house. Looks like you should ask something different. What do you want to hear? 
How's living in this house? It's painful. Why? I don't know. Looks like you should ask something different. It's painful. Do you hate it? I don't. Looks like you should... I can't leave this place. I'm gonna die here. Uh, die? Is this going to continue? Why do you think that? Why? This place is my tomb. Tomb? You think that's it? Try entering tomb! Input accepted. What? Searching for route to destination. We got it! Was that enough? Yes. It was plenty. You haven't forgotten your promise of helping us if we complete your request, right? I haven't. We made a deal. Well then, let's hurry up and go. And clicky. What? You idiot! Don't activate it here! Uh-oh. What? What happened? It's a desert. Yeah, we see that. Wait, what the... Our, our clothes are still the same? Futaba herself is asking us to steal her heart. It'd be odd if she saw us as a threat. If she doesn't see us as an enemy, then your clothes don't change. That's how it works. But more importantly, I told you to be cautious. Why'd you activate it like that? Is that why we ended up in a desert? Where's the tomb? Oh, it's so damn hot here. Even though we entered right in front of her room, we didn't end up inside it. She must really want to keep people away from her. Oh my god. They don't even have shoes on. What a bleak feeling this place has. It's the complete opposite of Kaneshiro's bank. Let's hurry up and get going. Where's the palace? Is it that way? Oh yeah, there's something shiny. A tomb in the desert. I see. Anyway, let's make our way there. Isn't that kind of far? Are we gonna walk? Of course not. My paws will get burned. Car! I've been waiting for this. <laughs> I'll make sure to put the AC on full blast. You're so considerate. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, let's roll. Oh, anime. They're just sleeping. It's stuffy. Oh. <sighs> yes, I know. But it still beats opening the windows to the hot desert air. <sighs> hey, On, can I have a drink? Didn't you have mineral water? I Don't look! <sighs> How are the guys? Don't look, girl. <laughs> Take this! Morons. <laughs> Is that it? There we go. They are so stupid. <laughs> So silly. I can't believe they made an anime scene just it's for that. So hot. <laughs> the AC ain't working at all. What the hell was that lukewarm air about? That was the best I could do, so quit your yapping. For real? You are so half assed. <laughs> what was that? You wanna fight, punk? Jeez, shut up. It's hot, so don't make me more irritated. To think her palace would be a pyramid. Oh, the music. Hey, a pyramid's a tomb, right? Yeah. Yes, it's a pharaoh's tomb. That's how it's mostly known. There are a variety of theories on it. 
For instance, it's even said to be a device for reviving the dead. Reviving the dead? Hmm? Oh! It's beautiful nonetheless. It's perfectly conformed to the golden ratio. Hey guys, can we go in already? That's so sad. I'm gonna melt. Oh man. It's so freaking hot. Come on, let's get inside. Hmm? No velvet room? My goodness gracious. Hi, Weewa. Hello! Welcome back to Member Seas. Thank you! It seems. That was Palace, so this is how she thinks of that house. Indeed. You know what may await within. What is your. Well, you know what may wait, await us within. What is your call, Joker? Shall we head inside? Huh? You want to check more stuff out? But it's so hot. Wait, give me a second. We can't go this way. Probably we cannot go that way until we can jump. Let's go inside. Alright. <laughs> okay. Find out more about Futaba's secrets in here, yes. right? Head inside. nice inside. Is this place air conditioned or something? Because Hitaba's room in reality has AC pumping through it. Either way, this is a relief. Our clothes still haven't changed even now. This never happened to us before. What to do? This is refreshing. It is refreshing that she doesn't see us as a threat. We're completely surrounded by walls. I guess it's a tomb. Probably not made it easy to get into. Anyways, let's explore. Wait, is this a whole thing? go pretty far. Way too goddamn many. Don't ask for too much. Should have been happy we're not being attacked as we ascend. Oh. More importantly, I can totally sense the treasure ahead. We're getting pretty close now. Stairs seem to be headed into the heart of the pyramid. Wonder if that's where the treasure awaits. Let's go. Well, time to keep climbing then. Let's go. <laughs> no enemies or nothing? I'm all for shit like this. You think it's because she's not a criminal? Suppose she did welcome hey. us in. Don't let your guard down. This classic pyramid is complete with deadly traps. It's beautiful. Sneak of fire surpass any Do you picture. Think so? I don't think I actually call this the real deal. There's someone there. Hey, is this? That's Futaba's shadow. It isn't the real her. Oh yeah, you've seen her face. True. This one's kind of dressed like a queen. She looks so, so cute. So you're Futaba Sakura. <sighs> hey, where's the treasure? It's doubtful that you wouldn't know where it is. Hey, say something. Don't be like that. I'm sorry, Futaba-chan. It's okay. There's no need to be scared. So, can you tell us where your most treasured possession is? Oh. This is going nowhere. Let's just leave her. Will you guys shut up for a bit? <laughs> Those who plunder my tomb, why have you come? She talked, but... What are you saying? You want us to steal it, right? If you believe you can steal it, then try as you might. That's rather defiant sounding. Perhaps this is that Sundere thing, where someone is harsh or sweet, depending on the mood. <laughs> this guy knows nothing! Considering the state that my palace is in, 
There is no way that you can steal it. Creepy child. You killed her! You're a plague! What are these voices? Murderer! Why don't you say something? Murderer? You're the one who killed her! It's all your fault! This is horrible. Hey, the hell is this? Don't come don't near just me! Don't stand there! Say something! It's your fault! Murderer! That's, That's right. right. I did it. No, you what? didn't! I am the one who killed my mother. No, you didn't! Uh-oh. What was that? My mother exists here. I will remain here. I will do so until I die. Whoa! Uh-oh. Our clothes. She sees us as a threat now. What's going on? Um, what? Hmm? This... again? Oh... Creepy child. You killed her! You're a plague What's with that murderer! Man? Why don't you say You're something? You're the one who killed her! That's right. I killed Mom. I don't deserve to be alive. No! Don't think that! This place is a tomb. I'll die here. That's right! Die! Don't come near me! Don't just stand there! Say something! Your fault! No! Something to help me! She's got two keyboards. Damn it! What the hell? This is bad. I'm having a hard time getting a grasp of our situation. We should regroup and... What now? <sighs> We're safe. That was too close. Wait! And now what? Even if we wanted to ask Pataba what's going on, it seems the door is shut. What should we do? I think our best option is retreating for now. This won't be as simple as we expected. Why don't we prepare a little more and then come back? Good idea. You're right. True. Let's retreat for now and return to this palace another day. It's pretty funny because she has the figures of the... What are they called? Feathermen? In her room? I feel like the costumes are so fitting. <laughs> the date that Medjid is set for the alleged cleanse is 821. That day is fast approaching. The Phantom Thieves, whom they singled out, have not made any notable actions at this time. Will Medjid carry out their cyberterrorism? In order to stop them, we need to help Futaba Sakura before the 21st. Our deadline is about two days prior. So, the 19th. Mm. Meeting up in Shibuya, then coming here is a pain, right? Let's make this place our hideout for a while. Sounds good. Is Finally! Is this place being our next hideout, then? Yes! We must take care not to be discovered by Boss. There's no telling what may happen inside that pyramid. We all need to be cautious so that place doesn't become our graveyard. Man, this is gonna be one crazy summer vacation. <laughs> We're dealing with international hackers and looking for a treasure in a pyramid. How can you be enjoying this? This is a crisis of whether or not our group continues on, you know? I know that. That reminds me. While we were in the Mona car, you were staring at me with a dirty look, you perv. Shut up. It was a great view. <laughs> We're looking too, am I right? <laughs> Indeed. The pyramid's golden ratio was truly a sight to behold. It ain't what I'm talking about. I was a staring lady on. I'm a gentleman after all. And you were a car. It's not that you weren't, but that you couldn't since you were transformed, am I right? <laughs> <sighs> Will we be all right like this? <laughs> Yay! Thank God! No, stop again! <gasps> Whoa! What the fuck? That's terrifying! Uh, uh, That's Mom. 
so scary. Well, that sucked. Is doing this really gonna help us do something about Medjed? They truly intend to follow through on their threat? It'd be a shame if our efforts were a waste. Oh! <laughs> what? Medjed will definitely make a move. Alibaba! Checking in on your progress. How much longer will it take? Your heart is more problematic than we had anticipated. Hey, Alibaba! Can you really do something about Medjed? Of course! Fortunately, we have next to no evidence to support that. Your work will be rewarded, I promise. Besides, you have no other option, do you? I suppose that's true. Can you do stuff like take down a server? Show us. Hey, don't start any trouble. That's all it would take to convince you? Alright, I ask that you take care of this quickly. Until then? Wait, are you ditching us again? This is troubling, but we need to do what we can at the moment. Concern for Dava... I have concern for Thubba herself during all of this. Man, why do we have to why do it have to be during summer vacation? We don't have any other choice. Grankun, as always, we'll leave it up to you to call us together. The sight of her palace bothers me too. We have to do this. It's me, Groundkun. I call the shots. What? This is horrible, and the fan site is gone! Try to access the URL, but it says the page doesn't exist. The fruit of my labor has completely disappeared. Oh, do you think this is because of Medjet? Did you type the wrong URL? I'd never do such a thing! It has to be Medjet's doing. Supposedly, uh, this is supposed to be some kind of penalty for cheering on the phantom themes? Oh, wait, they're totally jumping the gun. <laughs> jumping the gum. There's still time until the cleanse! Hold on, something came up. Is this proof enough for you? What's that supposed to mean? Do you think this is a virus? Oh! What is it now? Well, uh, it looks like everything is back to normal. Sorry for all the fuss about all of this. I'm gonna try and look into a little more. Was that hey, Alibaba proving what she said earlier? Talk about a crazy thing to pull off! Finally, a good place to end it off. <laughs> We've been playing for so long! <sighs> That's a good place to call it. I didn't think that Futaba was gonna have a palace. Oh my god. I didn't know what. I did not expect that at all. you're enjoying the game as much as I did. I'm having so much fun! How is this game so fun? Her palace is one of my favorite ones. Really? Whoa. Press on your button and game. Okay, well, this here. Unplug my controller from my PC. There we go. What the heck am I doing? Oi! Ninar! Appreciated your text message? How do you feel? She's cute, but she keeps kicking my ass. And Shogi. And she's also a chuni. <laughs> The second I met her and I said like you have gained the star arcana, I was like texts you I literally texted you immediately. <laughs> do you love women that can beat you up? I do. I I do. Why are you putting me on blast like this? I felt very loved. I was waiting the whole time. Ever since I started the game and you told me that you love death and the star, I was like, who the hell is the star? But, yeah. I'm glad she can beat me up. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I'm so hungry. Oh my god. So hungry. 
so hungry. So hungry! I'm very hungry, everybody. Stop, 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 YouTube Studio. Stop it, stop it. Who's your current best girl? Best boy is still <laughs> Luigi? Stop! Not the Lu Luigi! <laughs> Yeah, I do love Luigi. Um, my favorite girl? I think I like Tekken me a lot, but I feel like Makoto is getting pretty high up there. God damn it. Makoto is like climbing the ranks pretty fast. I like Tekken me a lot, but Makoto is climbing the ranks. I want to date on. Because she's cute, but out of all the girls I like, I like Makoto the most, I think. And Takemi, but... <laughs> oh! Thank you for the super chat! Thank you, thank you! That'd be so interesting. I like her design a lot, he for me. She's really cute. But I think I have to keep going. Because I'm interested in the other girl. The girl, the girl that I'm interested in the most, like, overall, is the the girl that we haven't met yet, the fluffy girl. The girl that showed up one time, and the girl who went into the car, the fluffy girl, she's really cute. So I'm most interested in her, so whenever this character shows up, that's when I will know for sure. <laughs> The floof, yeah. She's so cute. She's my favorite. I, I, I really, I really like her. So I'm excited. I want to know. Forehead, yeah. Fan of fluff, yes. She's so cute. She's so cute. I want to. I want to meet her. But yeah, I want to meet her and know her more. She's really cute. I think you'll like her. <gasps> I think I will too. <laughs> I think I will like her a lot. Um, I'll set up my redirect to Scarla. So I don't forget. Will she dethrone Takemi? I like Takemi a lot. Honestly though, I think I like Makoto the most. If I'm being... If I'm thinking about everything, I feel like I like Makoto the most. I think she is my favorite girl so far. I liked her arc. And she's also silly. There's no wrong best girl except for Oya. I haven't talked to her yet. I keep forgetting. <laughs> I like Makoto the most so far. Short hair girl. God damn. But I really like her a lot. I liked her character arc. I liked her character. Oh, I don't know. I liked her character arc. That was cute. And I like. I don't know. I just. I just like everything about her. <laughs> Short hair. And the braid. I like her design. I like her outfit. I like how badass. I like the gap between herself in the cognition world versus like her in the overworld. I guess. She's just so cute. Yeah. Good balancing cute and tough. Yeah. I don't know. I like I like a lot. I like a lot of things about her. I like that she's like the student council president. I like that she's the council president. And you would think like after they became friends that she would be more lenient. Kind of like how Kawakami is like more lenient on beef because of a deal. But Makoto is like the opposite where she's like just because we're friends doesn't mean I'm going to go easy on you loser. And I'm like awesome. <laughs> And she, I, I like that. I like how she's like, just because we're friends now doesn't mean that I'm gonna let you slack off, you know. And just because I'm the student council president doesn't mean I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you not 
not do well in school. I'm not gonna excuse things. It's so awesome. I like that. I like that she's like true to herself. And just because she's friends with people doesn't mean that she like makes exceptions for others. I love that shit. She's so, she knows her own like, she, I don't know, she knows herself. What do you think about Akechi now? <laughs> I want to throw hands. I like want to throw hands at him, like lovingly though. I don't know if this makes sense. I just want to like punch him, but like, it'll be a punch full of like, fuck, I, why do I care about you? You know that picture of Wolverine holding the frame and it says like, uh, like I, I hate you, I love you, I hate you, I love you. That's me. <laughs> That's me with him right now. I don't know if I love him though. I he, he's like I hate him, but it's like I hate I hate you, but not not like too much. It's like I'm still like bordering between like yeah, I kind of like you, but yeah, I kind of I, I you're a little scrungly. You know what I mean? I'm just like yeah, I like you, but you're also just a, you're just a little scrungly. You know, but Scrungly is endearing, but also like, hmm, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> so we'll see. There was hands with affection. Yeah. I don't know. I have to keep going. I need to know more. I need to know more. I like his design. I don't know. You know, I like his design because he looks a little greasy. Does this make sense? Sorry. Sorry, um, Akechi fans, but his like mullet hair kind of and it's like a little greasy. I, I don't know. I kind of like that. <laughs> Just a little bit, like 1%. You're not wrong. Thank you. To the people who understand what I'm talking about. He's Crollo? No, no. I hate that man. Crollo? I hate him. The only. <sighs> no, I. I hate this conversation. I'm, I'm, I'm abstaining from this talk. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. Really enjoyable. Hope you have a great rest of your night. Thank you. I'm probably gonna eat and go to bed. Like Snape. Well, Snape is my favorite character in Harry Potter. So like. <laughs> <laughs> So he's Soka? No, I actually genuinely hate Soka. I fucking hate that guy. I don't even care what happens to that guy. He can. <sighs> I hate that guy so much. Genuinely hate. When I look at Krolo, I'm like, oh, yeah, I hate you. Oh my god, like I hate him. Punches his face. But Soka is like, I genuinely dislike this character. <laughs> like I hate him. Why? I can't say why I hate him so much because it's like. Major manga spoilers. There's <laughs> like major, like Akainu level. Uh, no, I hate Akainu more, but I, it's pretty close, I would say. Oh, I was so hungry. <laughs> That's what I say every day. <laughs> every day at the end of stream. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I hate Akainu. Good. Everybody should. I think everybody should hate Akainu. I think... Well, I think everyone should hate Akainu. Period. And then I think that most people should hate Blackbeard. Me. I hate Akainu. I hate Blackbeard. Oh no, I love Blackbeard. It's okay. That's why I say most people should hate him. Because I think a lot of people really like him. Which is like... He's kind of cool, but... I, I hate him. Have you tried preparing food before streams? 
Well, I ate before stream today, but I've also been streaming for eight hours, which you know. <laughs> I ate before, and now I have to eat after because it's been eight hours since I ate. <laughs> What do you think about Yamato? I love Yamato. Yamato is definitely in my top five One Piece characters. They are definitely in my top five. Really? Yeah, I love Yamato. What's your favorite devil fruit? Ope Ope. Law. I like Law's, Law's fruit a lot, and it looks cute. The fruit looks cute, the ability is cool. Open, open on me is awesome. Thank you for that super chat! Thank you, thank you! <laughs> it's an easy one to like. I mean, the ability is cool, and the fruit looks cute too, the little heart. It's just so cute, it's a heart. It's red. Oh my god, it's red. <laughs> well, it's like magenta. Like a dark red. <sighs> Why do I love red so much, everybody? Corazon. I love them. I miss him. Red fruit. sleep early today did you know that spanish for heart yes i learned that uh on stream a couple months ago a few months ago which side character do you like the most in one piece uh, i like barto a lot <laughs> i'm a big fan of barto i'm also a really big fan of pudding oh my god i love i love pudding so much i love her i love pudding so much um i'm not sorry I like Barco, I like pudding. Um I mean my favorite character in One Piece is Vivi, and she's a side character technically. I always just think that she's not a side character because she's my favorite. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. I love Vivi. I like pudding a lot. Um yeah, I like Barco. He's so silly. What side characters do I like? Oh. Is Soge King... <laughs> Is Soge King... Um... <laughs> Can I say that as a side character that I enjoy? I hope so, because I miss him. <laughs> He's a main character. I miss him. the main character what do you mean thank you thank you thank you for the super chat thank you thank you my bounty of 550k berries <laughs> yes the pirates of the family era so get king this one mama nanda so yeah so no mama this yo so get king no shima de umareta ore wa yak pad yakujo no no Na, na, no. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the stream. Eat well. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. I will eat well. Smoker? Uh, I guess. Oh my god. There's so many side characters that I always think they're like. I. I there's so many side characters. <laughs> Welcome back to my machines. Thank you. Funny seeing Yusuke's journey getting pushed off to the side. No! That was so sad. Thank you for this. Welcome back to Member Stage. Thank you. I feel so bad. Yusuke, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to think about other characters I like in One Piece. Side, side characters. Um, oh my god, I just thought of one, but I can't remember. Carrot? I like Carrot. She's cute. I love Carrot. Oh, spoiler. Actually, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> oh, if you, if you know, you know. Carrot is beautiful no matter what carrot looks like if you know what i'm saying um oh 
my god, what character was I just thinking about? I was thinking about somebody specific, but I can't remember anymore. Uh... I don't remember. Crocodile? <laughs> Sadly, yeah. Sadly, I do like Crocodile, which feels so wrong because as a VV lover, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't like him, but like, he's just so... He hits, man. <laughs> he just hits! I don't remember who else I was thinking about. Maybe she, oh, she. I like her a lot, too. Bon Clay? I love Bon Clay. I have a Bon Clay shirt. <laughs> it's so cute. Perona? Perona! Oh my god. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. I did. I did know that it existed because I saw it on the website and it's so expensive and it's so crazy. Oh my god. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I saw this feel was not Rob Lucci. It wasn't. I actually hate that guy. Every time he shows up, I get so mad. Him and his stupid fucking bird. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Every time this guy and his stupid damn bird shows up, I'm like, all right. <laughs> I don't remember which character I was thinking about. I genuinely can't remember. I like was looking at my shelf to see if I had merchandise of any small, fi like smaller characters, but like I don't. I have Robin, 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 Vivi, Vivi. <laughs> I only have five One Piece character. Okay, I only have five pieces of One Piece merchandise on display. I guess. Oh, six. Sorry, I have six. One Piece characters on display on my shelf right now. Two VV, two Nico Robin, one Law, and <laughs> one Soge King. <laughs> That's why I thought of him, because I looked up and the first thing I saw was Soge King. Goo. Love that guy. Finally, I can rest. My, oh my god. I felt like a weight flying off my shoulders. When I remembered his name. Really? Yeah, I love that guy. <laughs> He's so fucking funny. Mr. Cabbage. Yeah. Cavendish. He's so silly. Mr. Cabbage. He's just a silly guy. I thought you said Cabbage? I did! That's what Luffy calls him. That's his nickname. I always call him Cabbage because I can never remember what his name is actually spelled. Because Luffy only refers to him as Cabbage. <laughs> He's like a pretty boy. Pretty boy pirate. I almost forgot about him. No, don't. One Piece. Cabbage. <laughs> he came up and I looked it up. He's so beautiful too. Oh my god. God damn. He's so beautiful. I like Jewel Bonnie a lot too. Bonnie is cute. And Hancock.
What's your favorite One Piece movie? I like Stampede. I read the news chapter. No, I'm behind, I think by seven or eight right now. Sadly. But. Baby Five? I like Baby Five a lot too. That's a character I think about kind of often. I like Baby Five. <laughs> Kind of weird though. I also really liked in Alabasta. I don't know the name of the character, but the dog that turned into a fucking cannon. <laughs> Just the design. <laughs> the design was funny as hell, and I love that shit. The dog, the cannon dog. <laughs> Lasso? Is that their name? It's a cannon that turns into a dog. I'm sorry. Why do you guys know so many names? I don't remember anything about so many characters in One Piece. I can't remember anything. I almost said I should reread, but I should just read like a. I should read like a summary. Of every arc. Haven't met Mr. Cabbage yet. Cavendish? Um, I don't know when he comes in. I can look it up. He comes in during... Wait, when is his first appearance? He comes in during Des Rosa? Really? Is he in the Coliseum? <gasps> oh my god, speaking of Des Rosa, you know who else I really like? Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca! I'm new here. Mm -hmm. I just have one question. What's a solar? The sun? I think that's how I said it. Uh, Kobe? I feel like Kobe has like one of the greatest glow-ups of anime history. <laughs> Kobe's glow-up is actually insane. I saw One Piece Red with a friend who hasn't caught up in One Piece. She's only read like the beginning. I think she only read up until Usopp. And then when I went to go see Red with my friend who likes One Piece a lot, she asked if she could also tag along. So I went to see Red with one person who is caught up with One Piece and one person who's only read up to Usopp's arc. So when we went to see One Piece Red together, when Kobe came out on the screen, she was like, who is that? I was like, that's Kobe. And she was like, isn't Kobe the guy in like Zoro's arc? <laughs> she was like, isn't Kobe the guy in Zoro's arc? And I was like, yeah, it's a time skip in One Piece by two years. And she was so shocked. And then afterwards, we went to go eat. We were eating dinner. We went to go eat dinner, the three of us, and we were talking about the film. And she was like, I don't know anything that happened in the film. She's like, honestly, I didn't really get what was going on, but Kobe, like the only thing that she took, like retained from One Piece Red was, oh my gosh, Shanks, and damn, Kobe's hot now. <laughs> like she, the, all, all the, the conversation topics that came from her was, oh my gosh, Shanks. Oh my god, the music was so awesome. Oh my god, Kobe is so hot now. What happened? <laughs> and my friend and I are like, yeah. We've been knowing. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Bonclay, I love I love Bonclay. I do. And I love Buggy D Clown as well.
No, I love Buggy. I can't help it. He's just so fucking silly. I just can't help it. He's just a silly guy. <laughs> He's just a silly guy. I love silly guys. He fell upwards? Yeah, he did. We love silly people. We do. Anime recommendations. Hunter Hunter 2011. Buggy versus Usopp? <laughs> I think my favorite fight in One Piece is still Usa versus Perona. Or Wally's one of them. That one? I can't. Usopp... Usopp versus Perona is still too very iconic for me. I was I was so in shock when I read that the first time. I'll never forget. <laughs> Usopp fighting is always so strangely hype. Oh my god, if you have- if you've seen Stampede... Oh, Usopp! Usopp is so awesome in Stampede. Oh my god, there's like a scene in Stampede. When I watched it in the cinema, I was crying so much. Usopp in Stampede? Oh my god. If you haven't watched Stampede, watch it. Usopp was so good in Stampede. I was crying so much. Yeah. Help it. Just, I love him so much. Never seen any film except for Red. You should. You should watch Stampede. If you're caught up in the manga, well, if you've watched Red, you're probably caught up in the manga. You should watch Stampede. It's so good. It's so good. You can't keep trying to convince to read the thousand chapters. We don't have the time. I'm sorry. But you should. I like gold. I like gold too. Film Z isn't bad either. I think Z was good too. That's the only ones I've watched, I think. I think I've watched Z, I've watched gold, I've watched Stampede, and I've watched Red. I haven't watched the other ones. You convinced me to read a thousand chapters, thank you. No problem. Have fun. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm gonna go eat. I am going to go and eat now. I'm hungry. <sighs> Food? Yeah! I'm gonna go eat. I've heard that the older One Piece films are pretty good. I should watch them. What's for dinner? I'm not sure yet. I don't feel like eating soup though. So, whatever I got, whatever I'll eat. As long as it's not soup. I was thinking about fire noodles, but like, I don't wanna eat, I don't wanna eat noodles again. I just ate pasta. What am I even gonna eat? Whatever I have, I kinda wanna eat rice actually. I haven't ate rice recently, so. I'm feeling rice. Rice and something. Maybe like rice and meat or something. Curry? Oh! Maybe. Actually! Maybe. I bought... I bought like uh, curry in Japan. I still haven't ate it. Oh, I bought two boxes and I haven't ate the other one. Like one that you warm up in boiled water. <laughs> Perhaps that's where I will go eat. Have some? Of course. Of course you can. Curry is mostly moldy. No, no. There's like um, you buy them in like the little packs, and then it doesn't expire for a while. It's like shelf, like food that you put on the shelf. And it expires like for a pretty. It lasts for a pretty long time. Like the one that you buy from the supermarket, and you keep it on the shelf. And then you... It's dehydrated? No, I don't think so. I don't know. It's like... No. And then you take like a little... It's like inside of a little aluminum packaging. And then you take the package out and you put it inside of boiled water. And you let it heat up for a while. And then you pour it on top of rice and you can eat it.
sounds like military food. It's it's not though. I don't know. I think it's just actually just like pre-made. I don't know actually. I don't know what it looks like on the inside. Curry you heat up <laughs> from store. Like, I don't know what the, I don't know how to like, call them. They're just in like these little packets and then you heat them up over boiled water and then you pour them over. Instant food. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I bought them in Japan. I don't know what I don't know what it's I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> it's just a thing that exists. And its shelf life is pretty long. It's usually like a year or so. Do I like curry or stew? I like curry. Yeah, me. Okay, I'll go eat now. Thank you everybody for coming to today's stream. I'm gonna send you... Oh my god, hopefully she's still streaming. To Scarla. Probably. She's like me. We are the same. <laughs> Wait, did I... Oh, okay, my redirect is still there. Thank you everybody for coming to today's stream. I had a lot of fun playing Persona 5. Tomorrow we will be playing Power Pro. I'm sorry I couldn't stream last night. I had a lot going on yesterday. <laughs> I had a lot going on. I had a lot more going on yesterday than I thought I would. So I had to do a bunch of stuff. I had no idea, but we will be playing Power Pro tomorrow instead. So I'll be playing baseball tomorrow. Yeah! The rest of the schedule is not changing for the rest of the week. Unless something like crazy comes up and like... <laughs> I don't think so, but if they do... Shit. <laughs> but yeah, tomorrow we'll play Power Pro. And then the rest of the schedule will be the same. The schedule is on the... What is it? Free chat on my channel. So if you don't have Twitter, that's the pinned tweet on my Twitter. So if you have Twitter, you can check it there if you're interested. Or you can check it out on the free chat. Daya time. Literally about to flex all of my Diana Ace knowledge. I'm going to send you guys to Skyla who is playing Elden Ring. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, night, morning, wherever you are. And I will see you tomorrow. Oh, 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 tomorrow. Bye-bye. Am I going to speak? I don't know what to say at the end. Definitely could just like shut up and not say things here and it would work out just fine I could just be silent and not have to talk over this and it would be fine speech speech Um, I would like to thank my mom um, and my dad for watching my clips and sending them to each other I would like to thank my brother for nothing and I would like to thank chat for the world. Thank you 